Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> our lines, you guys, those are our lines. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Happy Sunday, happy, happy. I've got Jill, that random girl here with me today. She's been here for a couple of days, as some of you know. Hello, everyone. Um, We've been hustling and bustling and working and grooving and well, oh, that doesn't sound really. But yeah, okay, not yeah. not so much moving and grooving, yeah. but <laughs> but I have to tell you, tell them what happened last night. Oh, uh, yeah, Donna says she's gonna go take a quick little nap, and the next thing I know, she I went in there and I went Donna, Donna, but then I. And then I said, well, she's sound asleep, so I'll leave her alone. And I forgot that she couldn't hear me anyway, because she can't hear. Exactly. So she slept till what, 12.30? 12.30. I fell asleep at 8.30 last night. I said to her, we were, we were in the um, premiere, the live premiere that we did. And people were like, you going on tonight? You going on tonight? Yes, 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 I'm going on. So after the premiere, I said to Jill, I'll set the premiere for like, I don't know, maybe... We'll go on at like 9.30 or ish around that time. We'll go on a little bit later. I'm just going to just rest for a little while. And I went into the um, bedroom and I laid down and I came walking out at 12.30 out into the living room and she's sitting there in the dark and I'm like, why didn't you wake me up? She's like, I tried. <sighs> no, actually, you didn't say no, you tried. I she said... She said she tried this morning when I talked to her. She said that, um, she goes, well, obviously you needed the sleep because you were sound asleep. So I slept until 1230 last night. And then, you, I mean, and what you weren't up that long, we no, went to bed. I went right back to bed. So she's well rested, guys. Look out. <laughs> Eight hours today. <laughs> I'm well rested. I have to make up for last night and this morning, no auction. And T, where are you going? To the storage unit. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> so tell everybody your plan. Um, well, I don't know. Brian's meeting us there, and uh, we're going to just uh, take a few things that we definitely want and leave the rest in there, especially all the big stuff, and just take some pictures and say, come on down. First come, first serve. Best offer. Deal. When she says Brian, she means her son, not Mr. Buys a lot. Oh, yes, yes, we should always clarify that because everybody's so used to me talk about the other Brian. Yeah, everybody I think associates the name Brian with Mr. Buys a lot. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, and he has come to her uh, oh, storage yeah. before, so it, it wouldn't be a surprise that he, you know, would show up there. And um, so you guys, so this and that colors were planned no we're not planned we're not <laughs> planned up nope, the other way yeah we're not planned we got on the screen and jill was like i need a pink top so but shrike you're wearing red not pink red. right yeah mine's yeah. hot pink and yours is really yeah. hot pink yeah so funny t, t got left I'm just hot. <laughs> t didn't have a chance to put on her pink shirt <laughs> I don't have a pink shirt here with me. Actually, I do have a very pale pink shirt, but I wore it the other day. So, oh, I do have a hot pink shirt that I'm wearing tomorrow to my rescheduled three-hour stress test. I'll be really stressed by then. Yeah. Excuse me. I think that vinegar is making me sneeze. Let me go no, rinse you know. it out of the sink. Oh, I don't know. Look, it's like making my eyes watery and everything. She bought some shrimp. And she's cooking it with vinegar and apple cider vinegar, water, and old bay seasoning. An old bay seasoning. Oh shrimp boil. It's a shrimp boil? Yeah. I don't make it that way. I just usually just sh uh, shrimp it. I usually just boil it. Yeah. That's it. It's got more flavor when you do it with this way. Really? Yeah. Let me go rinse oh, yeah. it. Up. Like that. Well, similar, not exactly the same, but yeah. Oh my God. So the, the whole place smells like vinegar right now. And it's like making me sneeze. No, no shrimp for you. If you're going to complain about it. Oh, I won't complain about it anymore. Cause I love shrimp. <laughs> All right. You guys, 84 degrees and partly sunny here in Florida. I see the sun shining. Absolutely beautiful. 
And uh, today is 7-Eleven. You know, it was uh, interesting. I, um, I went on my Facebook real quick this morning, which I hardly ever go on anymore. And it was three years ago today that I had my stroke. You know, ended up in the hospital and I was going to have surgery tomorrow, three years ago, because a lot of my friends, you know, in my memories came up, um, you know, well wishes and praying for Donna and hope surgery goes well. And wow, like three years ago, it felt like it felt feels like it was like maybe last year or the year before three years goes by so fast. And it's funny today or yesterday, I have to look at the actual date, but it's the two year anniversary of auctions for you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I have to look at the exact date. In fact, I don't know if Junebug, I can't see the chat guys unless I switch modes, but if Junebug's here, she knows what the date is exactly because she made that plaque for me um, that hangs in my background. So Junebug, if you're here and you remember the date, let me know. I think it might be June 12th. I'm not 100% sure. Huh. Kind of forgot. All right. Well, thank you everyone for coming in. Good morning. Good morning. And if anybody is new in the background and watching, here is the link to the registration. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to register. Please do put your city state zip code and very important, your phone number. And there is a new section that asks, how did you find our channel? If you want to fill out that part, that would be great. We just love to know um, who we're getting shout outs from and who's recommending that people come join us. It's, uh, it's a nice little feature. And I think Schreiker deserves the credit for that. He's the one who suggested that we put that on the form. <laughs> Thank you, Schreiker. I think it's really great. Um, that we uh, that we know that if you fill out the registration form, let me know in the chat. Just say filled out or done or registered. We'll go over, take a peek at it, um, and we'll give you a wrench. Um, please only the wrench is only to be used not to time anybody out or to do anything else, but to uh, be able to either bid or take advantage of some of our buy it nows uh, offers that we occasionally have. Um, and offerings. Okay, let's say hello to our friends. Hello, May. Thank you for being here. Good morning, May. Nance P. Hey, Nance. Lindsay Ann. You guys, Lindsay Ann is going to be helping calling the auction today. So Shriker's going to be chit-chatting in the background. He's got some personal stuff that he needs to take care of, but Lindsay Ann's going to call the auction for us today. So thank you, she's uh, after today, Lindsay Ann, thank you. We plan on staying live for a just, while. Yeah. Just about all day today because we have no intentions of leaving the cottage. I have a ton of shipping I have to do. Um, invoicing I have to do, organizing I have to do. Jill brought some things. So Jill will be selling some of her own stuff today. When, when she shows, I'll let you know if it's hers or if it's mine. Um, and that will determine whether or not you use your gift certificates or not. So don't be confused. I will put it out there that some things are hers. She will be invoicing and shipping on her own from her own address. Yes. Um, yes. Doing all of that. So um, we'll relieve each other kind of like the way T and I do when T and I are doing auctions. Um, and you never know, maybe when T gets to the storage unit, she might find something that will be so irresistible that she can hold up and say, who wants to buy this? Right, T? For sure. Right? Yeah. You can uh, we actually just got to the storage unit, so I am going to say goodbye for now. Okay. And I'll come back in a little while and see if I even have reception in the storage unit. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Pop on. Let us let right. us see. I, I mean, I think everybody would be really interested in seeing like what you're up against, what you have left, what you're staging. So it doesn't have to be all auction today, you guys. It's just a place for everyone to hang out, have a good time, nice friendly chatter. And um, yeah, we can like make that part of the show to you. I think people would love it. All right, sounds good. Bye, honey. All right, see you later. All right, bye, guys. Bye, Jill. Bye, Shrekker. And there goes T. So, Mr. Frank Perez, hello, 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 sir. Good morning, Frank. 
Misty's Adventure, best YouTube comment maker on YouTube. Oh. She never fails. She always leaves a comment on every video. Nice. Yeah, she, Misty. She did say you. Frank's going to go help her at the storage unit. Is he? Yep. Oh, good. Oh, wow. I didn't. Did T say that? I didn't hear yeah, her say that. That's what she said. Oh, shh. Don't tell her I wasn't listening to her. Yeah, she might have said it before we went live. Did she say it today? I yeah. didn't hear it. I while asked her, we, she said Frank. While we were live, she said it? No, I think it was before. Oh, we were we were like running around doing stuff before, so I didn't I didn't hear you. I wasn't listening to your conversation with her. So, um, Joanne, hi, Joanne's got her coffee. Nice. Are you ready for another cup of coffee? Or are you good? I'm good, but I can make coffee for you. She's so nice. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> She's so good to me. Yes, you are. You're, you're so good to me. Thank you. You're Jill and I have been friends for. Uh, for a while now, and she's uh, still tolerating me. Yeah, yeah. I still come Why, back. She still Why is your hair back? so long? My hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, she she said this morning, she said, um, will we have time for me to cut your hair? And I, I, we just, I had too much going on this morning. I couldn't do it, but. It yeah. will be cut before I leave. I want it to be like this short, like that much. Mm -hmm. But I think this time I want you to put like some like Farrah Fawcett waves in it. More layers. I think so. Yeah. I kind of like your hair. Yeah. You know, some more waves. So Farrah I can, Fawcett. Yeah. She's got her Farrah Fawcett waves going on today. <laughs> I want Farrah Fawcett waves. I want to look like a Farrah Fawcett. So yeah. I mean, look at, you did give me layers last time, but yeah. look at how long they've grown. Yeah. And I have not touched it. You know, when, when she saw it last time, I used to go into the bathroom and tip my head upside down. I'm very low maintenance, you guys. I tip my head upside down and just chop, 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 chop. I, I never go to the hairdresser ever. So anyways, it is what it is. Um, let's see who else is here. Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Look at Thomas. Yeah, he had a little makeover. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Thomas. Welcome in. Beetlebug, hi. Hi, Beetlebug. Mr. Turtle Trader, Yay. Rise and Shine, Donna, Jill, Schreiker, Lindsay, Ann, and everyone in the chat. Hi, Turtle Trader. We were up at a, you slept in a little bit. I was up a little bit earlier than you yeah, were. I was up a little after eight. Yeah. Oh, Anthony has a video out. You guys go out there and watch Anthony's video. He said, thanks for watching my video. I didn't know. I, I don't even know if I'm subscribed to you, Anthony. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know that you put up content. So you guys go su subscribe to uh, our friend Anthony. He's a great supporter of the channel. Hi, Anthony. I knew you put up videos. <laughs> Shush. Jeez. Talk about throwing me under the bus. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anthony, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Greg Lusk. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here with us this morning. Good morning, Greg. Good to see you. All right. Let's see who else. Let's see who else. Lindsay Ann's dropping the links. I'm just going to bypass them for a minute, Lindsay Ann, and say hello to our friends. There's Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Good morning, Heidi. How's the temperature in New Hampshire today, Heidi? To you guys, you can go ahead and put your numbers in the chat since we're not bidding on anything. Put the state and the temperature. I'm really curious. So South Florida, it's 84. Wasn't it just 82? It looks like it went up two degrees. I told you, like this time of day, it starts going yeah. up. Yeah. Hi, little K. Little K's in the house. Little, little K. Hello, sweetheart. Kimberly Garcia. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Donna, laugh out loud. What, what did I say? <laughs> I don't know what I said. There's Pam. Hello, Stitch It, out on the river fishing. Nice. She's still at the cabin. Good for you. Enjoy, sweetheart. Enjoy. Camille, good morning, everyone. Sounds like it's going to be a great show. Wish I could stay all day, but I have a couple of errands to run. Hi, uh, Camille. Hi, Camille. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my God. Storage mystery boxes. Hi, Erica. What is responding Jill? to something? Jill's shipping policy. So, okay. So I'm, um, I can say it. You can say it. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. It's, I, 
free shipping. So there you go. <laughs> what other policy That's did it. you need? Yep. <laughs> Everything free. <laughs> <laughs> Free shipping. <laughs> Period. And <laughs> destroy you guys. Free shipping. That's it. Unless you're out of the country. Uh, yes. Unless you're out of the country. And um, even if something goes for less than, well, you have all smalls. So everything that you have will be like uh, probably under a pound to ship. Yeah. So it'll only be three, four dollars to ship it. Right. Yeah. She just brought little small things. Lots of jewelry, you guys. Hi, Kim D. Greg Glass says, hi, pretty ladies and Schreiker. Oh, thank you, Greg. I know. Greg's really sweet. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel also because um, I do auctions on my channel. It's been a, a month or so, but I will get back into it eventually. Yeah, she's not as crazy as I am. All day marathons and uh, all night marathons and every day, twice a day. <laughs> but she does do them. Hi, Junebug. It was the 12th, T. If you're still watching, it was the 12th. Hi, Ozma. Hi, Ozma. Good morning. T. Scott. Hello, hello. I saw that, Greg. I, I'll try that next time. What did you say? I see? never have a can of beer around, so, but yeah, that, to add it to the shrimp. Oh, well, there was there was beer in the refrigerator from when Chris the Goose came to visit. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't drink beer, so it's probably going to stay in there until he comes to visit again. Yeah, I only buy it when I'm going to make chili. Hey, Michelle, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Let's see. Hi, Junebug. Yes. Is that the kind of feathering you're wanting on Michelle's picture? Is that the kind of what? Feathering, yeah. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yes. Okay, did I miss anybody? Do you see anybody that I missed, you guys? If I missed you, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going back up the chat because it did skip, and I don't want to leave anybody out. So, D. Scott. I said hi to D. Okay. There's Mary Naz. Hi, Mary Naz. Oh, thank you, Greg. With her big, beautiful eyes. And Sylvia. Sylvia. <laughs> oh, she's, she's picking up yep. my, uh, I don't know. Good morning, you all. Donna, I might be something today i already bought the little buy something buy something i might oh yeah buy something i bought the little burke makeup bag can you combine the items for me for shipping it out yes sylvia i was gonna ask you honey if you wanted me to um wait and combine the shipping or ship it out i was gonna let you decide whatever you want to do hi d hewitt 75 in North Georgia. That's Ooh, pretty, that's nice. That's, yeah, that's, cool. that's nice weather. Nora says it's uh, 80 in Central Texas. That's pretty good. Hi, Nora. Dee says 75. Colorado, 61. 61. That would be nice. I know. That's nice weather. Uh -huh. North Carolina is 84. Wisconsin is 72. Nice. New York City, 73. Oh, it's cool in New York City. Thank goodness. That way it won't be so stifling hot for T to work. You know. She's I'm, in a storage unit. It'll be stifling hot. I know. <laughs> Nevada, 103 right now, but it's going to be 118. God, I couldn't deal with that, that heat. 78 degrees in Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth. Dallas, Fort Worth. Thank you. I didn't know what that meant. Washington, 73 and overcast. Nice. Well, wow, I mean, the 73 cool. is nice. That's cool. Kyle. Hi, Kyle. It's Kyle Taranzio. Hello, Kyle. Where have you been, Kyle? Greg wants to know. 78 in North Dakota. Well, that's kind of warm for Fargo. Greg said he just subscribed. Yay, I know. I saw that. Thank you. And there's Jill's uh, link, you guys. Thank for those you, of you that want to subscribe. Today, okay. I'm going to be bringing a lot of silver jewelry. So rings and earrings. And I've got some other things, too. When did May and Kyle become best friends? <laughs> when did I miss that? How did you become best friends with Kyle? 
That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Froggy, 71 in Maine. Ooh, that's cool for Maine. Oh, God, I would give anything to be in Maine right now. Yeah. Hi, Froggy. I love Maine. I love Maine so much. Oh, oh. such great memories. There's Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a nice day. Mississippi Golf Coles is 85. Ooh, I'm sure it's warming up soon. Yeah. They probably don't. She probably doesn't get that nice breeze. Like we were sitting outside last night and uh, Jill was like, cool. well, I'm so close to the ocean here. So Jill was like, wow, that breeze is so beautiful. I always have a tremendous, beautiful breeze here. It's really awesome. It's really, really awesome. The breeze. Okay. She says it's perfect. There's mm. nose picking. Nose picking. Is there anybody here that enjoys fishing? Lots of people love to fish. Yeah. Um, who was it just a Pam minute? Stitch it is fishing as we speak yeah. on her river that she has her cabin on. And I actually have fishing trophies. Do you? Really? Mm -hmm. From when I was younger. We used to go um, deep sea fishing. My husband um, used to go, when we lived in Maine, my husband used to go out to, um, where was where was the um, the movie, The Perfect Storm? Where was it? Um, it was way up by Vermont, Maine, somewhere. I mean, yeah, what, what is the name? Yeah. Wagon? No. Um, What's the name of that? Well, you guys, what was the name where the perfect storm was? And I used to get so nervous because they would go out. Um, he never brought our boat, but he would go out with his friend's boats. Um, way, way out. Bermuda Triangle? No, 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 no. It's in the north. It's oh. in the north. It's um, out there on guys, the bank somewhere. Yeah, tell me, you guys, tell outer me. Outer Banks? No, the Outer Banks of South Carolina. Oh. Um, who remembers? Who remember was the movie The Perfect Storm took place? Anyways, they would go out there tuna fishing. Um, so my husband has those, um, and yeah, Gloucester, but way out in Gloucester. What's what's the name of it? Gloucester's in Massachusetts. Um, it's not. Is it Stellwagon? You guys, I can't remember. Anyways, he has those. You know the the huge gold. Pin reels, like in the big, huge rods. Hey, Zuli, welcome in. 74 in California. Um, he would go out there and they would go out on like two, three day fishing trips where they would just fish like 24, 48 hours at a time on, you know, his friend's big boat. Because if you get, if you get, if you know how to process and is anybody has anybody told me where it is yet? No. no. Uh, you know how to process a tuna? Um, he's only caught small tuna. My husband's only caught like, there's a certain tuna and a certain way to process it. And you bring it to market and it's worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, Hi, Zuli. It's the Chinese market that buys it. And they're worth a ton of money. Um Super Dell TV. No way. Are you kidding? How are you? How are you? How are you? Super Dell got me to a thousand subscribers. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was Very um, nice. Yeah, it was. Um, um, oh, gosh, she used to come into the chat all the time. I swear I'm like losing my memory. Um, I some someone reached out to him and kind of told him about me and told him about my story. And he says he comes in and he lurks. Um, hey, KK, welcome in. Greens Vintage, welcome in. Hi, KK. But he hardly Hi, ever, vintage. you guys, this is someone that you want to go subscribe to. Grab his link for me, Schreiker, and put it in the chat. Super Dell has always, always been so incredibly good to me. Um, nice. But he hardly ever comes in the chat. It's like I have a celebrity in the chat. Because you make such a big deal about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have a celebrity here. Thank you, Super Dell. Thank you for all you do and all you've done for my channel. And so Super Dell's channel, you guys, it's like cut the cord type of channel. And if you guys remember Brad Voigt, Brad Voigt, I met on Super Dell's channel too. He came over to 
our community from um, Super Dub. Cut the cord. You mean cut the cable? Cut the cable, but yeah, it's like cut the cable. Like he teaches people like new electronics and yeah. how to be nice. able to stream different channels on your TV. I have no idea what he's talking about. Like I have like when I when I watch him, I'm like, oh yeah, it's like whew. I go in, I say hello, you know, and just uh, throw him a five dollars for a cup of coffee and and just say, I'm thinking of you, and then I leave. But Super Dell, thank you for being here. Thank Good morning, Shelly. And there's his, you guys, take a, take a, um, you, you can't click on the links anymore, but at least take a screenshot of it and um, go back and, and. Um, you can click on that link. Yeah. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah. And go subscribe. Okay. Okay. Um, Hi, Loot Raider. Loot Raider. Good, good morning. morning. Yes. Gloucester in Maine is where the film was, was made, but there's a certain area. Is it called Stellwagon? Someone has to know. One of you movie buffs must, need to know. Yeah. Um, Lindsay Ann is going to be helping call it the yes. auction. Yes. Um, let's see. I said hi to KK. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. And, yes, Lindsay Ann's going to be helping in the chat. Stan is worried about her coming here. She is live now. Let's see, what is this uh, two stands fishing watch? I don't know what this is. What's nose picking dropping? So their fishing grounds are at the Grand Banks of Newfoundland, but they went out to the Flemish Cap. Oh, for glo for the gloss, for the, uh, so what's it called? The Grand Banks of Newfoundland. The Grand Banks of Newfoundland. Yeah. No, that's not where he would go. I, I it, wanna... it, they continued on out to Flemish Cap, which is much further east. No, I want to say... They ran into trouble. I, what, where's Stellwagon? No, I, that doesn't come up anywhere for me. It doesn't? Not in that movie. That's what we would do. We would go out on a fishing tournament and be out on the boat for a couple of nights and fish. Yeah, that's what he used to do, too. I don't know. I'd have to ask him. I'd have to ask him, can you feel how it's getting hot in here now a little bit? I'm, I'm gonna fine. put the, I'll put the fan on in a minute. It's usually right around noon time. From noon to like three, it gets kind of hot. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Um. Anyways, yeah, he'd like mm -hmm. talk about talk mm -hmm. about a, a fishing warrior. Holy cow! Like I, you know, and I know I've told this story before. He cut himself when he was out there fishing one time with his friends. He gashed his hand, and he took out the first aid kit, and it had a stitching kit inside the first aid kit. And my husband stitched his own hand closed because they were way out in the middle of the ocean. He should have had some super glue with him. Oh my God. And you should see the scar from like when he did it. It was jagged and ragged. Yeah. Oh my God. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but can you imagine stitching your own body closed? I mean, talk about like, talk about like a Viking. That's where my kids get it from. <laughs> He's like a Viking. My husband is like, I would have been like, turn the boat around, turn the boat around. <laughs> I need to go back to land. Please turn the boat around. <laughs> Hey, Donna, did you get my text last night? Loot Raider, I don't know if I got your text last night. I, I looked at my text this morning. I'll look again. I have the phone set up now, so I see, can't. See Green's the message there? Found out yesterday that I'm going to be a grandma. No way. Congratulations. Oh, there's Congratulations. nothing better than a new baby. You're so lucky. Awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Shell UK, welcome in. Oh my gosh, to hold a baby. We were somewhere. I don't know where we were. We were somewhere. I was with my kids and um, there was a brand new baby. And I'm like, oh my God, I just want to hold that baby. And my daughter was like, mama, they're going to think you're a weirdo if you will go over there and ask them if you can hold their baby. <laughs> don't do it. They'll probably say no. I know. But I'm like, I just want to hold a newborn baby. Oh my God, I love Nothing brings me more joy than holding a newborn baby. I have to say, 
I know some people probably think I'm crazy saying that, but there's nothing like holding a brand new life. Oh my God. It's just the most incredible feeling ever. The most incredible feeling ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Lindsay, and let's go over some of the rules, honey. Um, I know you've been dropping links along the way. I'm I'm not going to go look for them. If you want to um, drop them for me, that would be great. Um, here's my phone number. You guys use it. Don't be afraid to use it. This is my email also. But don't um, order her any pizzas. Don't order me any pizzas. Um, Especially not with anchovies or, you know. I would prefer a text message. Um than an email if you can. Sometimes the emails get lost because I get so many emails. Sometimes they end up in the spam boxes. It all depends on your computer. Um, oh my gosh, don't you agree, beetle bug? Smelling the top of a baby's head is fountain of youth. Right? You get it. Beetle bug feels the same, the same as I do. Right, May? Thank you, honey. And no haters on the phone numbers or trolls. I know. I put my life out there. I put my phone number out there. And a lot of people just, you know, take advantage of it. Your time will come, Donna, Grandma. I know. I can't wait, to be honest with you. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. So, let's see. Um... All right, please say out if you're done bidding. If you come back later, if you want, you can. Be sure you're on live chat, not top chat. The bidding increments, you guys, are $2 up to $50, $5 after that, and then um, $10 after 100 This is an auction, you guys. No returns, no refunds given. Be sure you know what you're bidding on, please. If something does arrive broken, I will put a claim into the post office, or if something arrives misrepresented, um, I will make good on it by 200%. Um, be sure to be on live chat, not top chat. And um, what else? We'll go over uh, registration one more time. If you're here watching and you'd like to register. Um, shipping. Shipping. My shipping is uh, free shipping for uh, $30 gets you free shipping at my auction. I sometimes will bring something for $10, $15. I will hold it aside for just a couple of um, Loot Raider, I have a question for you. Do you want me to email you? Oh, okay. I thought that was for me. Um, I will hold it aside for two or three auctions and um, me put my chair up. I feel like I'm sitting on the floor. There we go. I will hold it for two or three auctions. If not, you can pay the shipping on it if it's under three dollars. If it's under thirty dollars. Sorry, there's a sneeze coming. Um, yeah, so that's my shipping. Did I confuse everybody enough about my shipping? I feel like I was like all over the board explaining that. Free shipping, thirty dollars is basically it. Um, if it's under $30, I'll hold it for you for a couple of two, three auctions. Yeah. Um, here's the registration link, Lindsay, and thank you so much. You're doing a great job, honey, dropping everything. I really appreciate you. Um, you're, uh, yeah, you're doing great. So that's it. I think that's everything. And um, for the most important one. What's the most important one? Pay for what you win. Oh, yeah, you guys. So it takes me a minute sometimes to send out an invoice. But when you do get the invoice, please pay it. And um, I know that you've looked at it because on my end, a little eyeball appears on the invoice that tells me that the invoice was viewed. So if you can't pay the invoice for any reason, and it doesn't matter what the reason is, I needed to buy coffee filters. I don't care. Just tell me. Just reach out to me and say, Donna, I'll pay my invoice Friday. I'll pay my invoice. I don't want that. I want the invoices to be paid right away. But I will I will cancel the invoice after 48 hours. And I had to do that this week with several in, with several invoices. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. If your invoice does get canceled, there are some 
auction channels that, um, yes, communication is key. If your invoice does get canceled, there are some auction channels that give no second um, chances. If your invoice does get canceled and there was a miscommunication or whatever, just reach out to me, you guys. You can still buy from me, um, but your next payment will have to be um, pay it now. Okay. So, yeah. What else? If there's anything special that you guys want to see today, you can let me know. I have some ephemera. I have some old postage. I have some postcards. I have jewelry. Ha oh, jewelry has a bunch of jewelry. Jill has a bunch of jewelry, so I probably won't be showing any jewelry today because Jill has a ton of it that she'll show. I have Vera Bradley. I still have some pocketbooks left. I have clothing lots. I have some beautiful um, um, shoes that I can bring, some really nice clothing lots. I'm going to put together a dibble lot or two. I have awesome plush that I can bring. I have this precious moments collection, which is beautiful. I may even bring one or two pieces of my beautiful glassware pottery that I have. Um, okay, everybody vote on what you want to see first. First lot, type it in. Um, I'm going to make my first lot that, that I don't know if you guys saw my video yesterday when we were at the um, Jill. Yes. Can you grab me that little basket that's on the kitchen table there? From the thrift store? Yeah. Did you watch that last night? I, just a few pieces of it, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what these are, but I did buy them, and um, they were pretty pretty interesting. So I'm going to put these on the table and show these right out of the gate and see what you guys – I think it was just um, really, really interesting. And Julie's heart, hey, what are you doing here, lady? So nice to see you. Thanks for coming in, your girlfriend, Julie's heart. Julie Hi, Julie. Hart. There she is. Hi, Julie. So you have to get Jill on the channel to get Julie to come. I in. know, right? <laughs> Got to get Jill on the channel for Julie to come. Thanks for coming, Julie. It means a lot to me. Thanks for being here. Love you. Oh, Julie. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Susie. Oh, that was nice. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Okay, so this is what we have, you guys. Um, I have no idea what this is, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good sized basket. Let me know what is inside here. Um, I I said like they're marked. This one's marked a dollar fifty nine. I said to Jill yesterday they almost they almost look like they're um, they would go on top of a like a cake like cake decorating things. Um, but they almost look like they're too small for that. There's See, nothing written on the bottoms of them? Uh, we looked, right, Jill? Let's see. Well, we looked through them. We looked they're, through they're plastic, not metal, right? This one says five on it. This hockey player says number five on it. I don't know. Let me see another one. I'll see if I can see anything. Let's see if some anything says on this one. This one says Tara Toys. This one says Tara Toys. Here, you want to use my eyeball? You're going to start this at what price? Um, it's probably weighs. Oh, no, they're pretty heavy, actually. Uh, how about if we started at $15? Yeah, I think that's what this says, too. $15. I paid $9 for them. I, only, I bought them because I thought they were, they were interesting. So, yeah, that's what they are. But they've been, I think they're like if you were going to make a village of, you know, something, you can use these in there too. They look like they're pretty old to me. They don't look like they're, um. They're saying cake toppers. Oh, they are cake toppers? Yeah, they look like old cake toppers to me. What's that one say? That's got some writing on it. I think it says the territory. Tara toys, but the tape's kind of in the way. Yeah, there's tape on it. So is it T-A-R-A -A, toys? Yeah, I think so. This one, we all know who this is. This one looks like it may be newer. 
<laughs> Beetle bug is like village people. Oh, I could maybe write, read that one, maybe. Henson. This one Jim says, Henson. Yeah, it says Hen Henson. Uh, yeah, I see the big bird. I'm not seeing the other ones, though. It's like something's broken off the bottom. But yeah, Jim Number Henson. 33, Tower Toy Company. If there's no interest, it's fine. We will, uh, like, this one's definitely vintage. Look at that one. Oh, look what Loot Writer wrote. Terra Toys was founded in 1977. Oh, cool. Yeah. So they definitely are old. They're cool. That's uh, like a gymnastics girl. Aerobics. And they, they're involved in a lot of different things. Hot Wheels and Barbies and all kinds of stuff. So Ariel. So Disney. I thought they were really interesting. I found Terry them. Toys, Tots, necklace, activity set. Okay. I mean, this is perfect for someone who wants to list smalls. You could you could get a box of envelopes and list these, take pictures of these, and list them, and put them in a in a shoe box. And there's all your inventory, and just number them. There's a whole world of people that collect smalls out there that love smalls. You just put a little tape measure down and then, you know, they can see what size it is. And um, it can also be used for like- Is that a volleyball? What did you say? What's that? Is that a volleyball player? A beach volleyball player? Or a watermelon. Is that a watermelon? What is that? <laughs> I think it's a ball. <laughs> They're so cute. I think that they're adorable. Here's a little jet fire. You see how small they are? I mean, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. Little suitcase. People that have, um, I would use keywords like um, dollhouse, dollhouse miniatures, people that have dollhouses um, or, you know, make little villages. They don't necessarily have to be... Um, so you can see that as a cake topper on that one there. That would fit right in. What do you mean? Well, as a as a, you know, a beach goer or a surfer, that would yeah. work pretty good on a cake. Do I show the skier? What's the plastic bag ones? Ah, oh, skateboarder. I think. <laughs> yep. Let's see what this one says. This one says 1990 Bakery Crafts. There you go. Yep. So. They, they had a whole ton of, whole bunch of these, right, Jill? I just got these. I mean, I just, I, I bought three bags just because I thought they were so unique. And I know some people like to list smalls so what's that like a shot put or a bowler i don't know well you wouldn't wear that those clothes for bowling why not you would i don't know gymnastics the skier you saw the skier so you have you have multiples. I think the, the seahorse is awesome. You have multiples of the same ones. Oh, there's Ernie. So you got Ernie and Big Bird. 
no, you saw the skier. What's this girl doing? Hiking? Hiking, yep. Yeah, there's a backpack. I like the hockey player. Was there just the one? I thought there were several hockey players. Um, I there a whole team. I don't know if there's a whole team. I don't know what she's doing. Pledge of Allegiance? Maybe she's a teacher. Has a classroom of kids. Who knows? I don't know. It's not. She's got a fist. She's holding up a fist. Mm. I don't know what she would be. I have no idea. Is this the same as the last hockey player? No. He's different. Yeah, he looks. Colors. He looks like he's from a different company than the other ones. Like he looks oh. older to me, doesn't he? Hold the other one up. It's right there in the blue. Right side. Yep. No, they look the same. No, no, no. They look older than like the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, right. Yeah, right. they look older than these for sure. Yeah, and this one looks like about that same era as those, the older ones. All right, you guys. Well, thank you. Is that, they, what I kind thought, of bottle was that in there? Huh? A miniature bottle. <laughs> Champagne. 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 Yeah, so <laughs> I thought I thought that they were pretty unique. Oh. Uh, Ernie. There Ernie. he is. What is what's his name? The garbage man? Grouch? Grouch. Oscar. He's the grouch. Raider says that fist chick is in the evening wear, day wear, active wear set. What is that? The fist, the chick with the fist. Evening wear, day wear, active wear set. She must be too. Yep. Would that be evening wear? I w um. Or day wear. I Oscar have... Grouch, right. Oscar, I couldn't remember Oscar. Oh, yeah, the grouch. Oh, yeah, Oscar. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so there's, I guess, a several. There's that one. He's different. He's looking down at the puck. So there might be enough for a whole team in there? Maybe. I didn't look. I didn't look. Little mouse. All right, let's call it, Lindsay. Okay, we got Amy at 55. Anybody else coming in? Everybody out? It's unique. Unique little set. All right. You're assuming we know how many hockey players. Ozma, she know that she knows. Ozma, you you know the answer to that. Yeah. yeah, Ozma. Oh, Jill, I need my little table. Let me um set everything back up, but we can put it over here so that it's not um like right there, so it's not in our way. And I'll try to move all this stuff out of the back so that there's more. Like moving okay. area. Yeah, we don't really need that chair because there's gonna be one of us sitting down yeah. here. I'm not gonna be sitting with you when you're showing. Put um put me on the screen. I don't know nothing about sports. <laughs> Ozma. <laughs> I didn't know you knew how to talk like that. <laughs> 7-Eleven. I think um, today 7-Eleven gives away free, free, free um, Slurpees or something on the. Oh boy! Yeah, 7-Eleven does. Very tight. 
text the kids. So yeah, you guys, if you want a free Slurpee, I'm pretty sure don't don't hold me to that, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure 7-Eleven gives out uh, free Slurpees today because of the date. Thank you, Amy Billings. And congratulations. Jill, are you ready? Uh, yeah, give me just a second. Um, let's see. It sold for, sorry, I didn't look. Um, let me go up. 55. 55. Small toys. Lot number one. All right. Let me move this over and let me get. Do you want to come on or you want me to show something? I'll go for it. I'm going to do this as a one off. Thank you, Amy, so much. So this will be a one off. Um, let's start it at 10. And you guys have seen this before in the teddy bear, but you haven't seen it in a bunny. Check this out. Hey, Carl. You get invoiced by Jill, Carl. And yes, she's she's in she's showing her own things. So for those of you that are coming in late, when Jill is showing, she brought some stuff to the cottage to sell. So you can't use your gift certificates. Jill will be invoicing. She's just here visiting and she brought some stuff to sell. Make it a working, working little vacation. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. Hmm. Where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you. Where am I? <laughs> here I am. Where are you? Peekaboo, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Hi, cutie pie. That's so cute, isn't it? It's adorable. So it's brand new with the tags. It's a gund. Uh, her name is Flora and uh, has good batteries in it. So it's like set to go. Very cute. It's so cute. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. Do you? Can but I didn't know it did this. Can you tie them in a bow? Oh Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Oh my god. Do your ears flip flop? Can you use them as a mop? Are they stringy at the bottom? Are they curly at the top? Oh Can you god. use them for a swatter? Can you use them for I a swatter? It. Do your ears flip flop? I gotta do a short with this before I ship it out. This is like so Yay, cute. Do it again. Do it again. I love singing with you. I wonder if he plays a different Hello, song. Baby, let's sing together. Let's see. Do your ears hang low? It's the same one. Yeah, so he has one song and then he plays Hello, and then he plays Pick the peekaboo. Where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you. Oh my God, it's so stinking cute. You? Yeah, so <laughs> it's adorable. I just love it. And it's super, super clean, you guys. It's brand, brand spanking new. Um, and yeah, it's got its tags. It's beautiful. I love it. What a nice, I, I see, I, I come across these toys and I think to myself, I should put these away because in like 10 years, you know. When you have grandchildren? Yeah, when I have grandchildren, oh, hopefully it won't be 10 years, but um, they're probably, I mean, think of like the value of these, you know, in years to come. You'll have more. Right, I love, <laughs> I love these animated toys. I absolutely love these animated toys. 
don't know what else she put up there. She changed the batteries on a lot of them. Susie is out. Little K is at 15. 50, sorry. Looks like we're going to be giving it to Little K. Little K loves these animated toys. I don't blame you, Little K. I do too, honey. Wow, guys, 90 of you here this morning. Thank you so, or afternoon. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Like I said, we're going to be running and broadcasting pretty much all day. So feel free to come in and, and go out. We're going to be here all day, all day. We're not leaving the cottage today. Today's a working day for both of us. So, all right, we're at last call and it is going to little K for 50 little K. I love it. Little K. I'm going to do a short before I send it to you because I think it is just adorable. Huh? It yeah. It's really cute. I, I don't I think the song is maybe longer than um, one minute, but we'll see. Okay, and we're sold. You want another plush? No, you can go ahead and um and set. Sold, sold, sold. There we go. Thank you so much. Sold to little K. So adorable. Okay, I'm going to turn her off. I'm going to put her here where she will be safe. And I'm going to turn it over to that random girl, Jill. Thank you, Lindsay Ann. Thank you. Do you have everything you need? Uh huh. Um, I believe so, yes. All right. So you know how to, um, if you want to show... Um, if you want to show detailed, what do you have that you're showing right now? Jewelry. No, I know, but where is that? Um, it's right here. Okay. So if you, if you want to do, look, the screen, if you want to do this, right. And you want to take it over to here and sometimes it takes a minute, but look at the detail that they can see. Oh Yeah. Right, and you just put it in the screen like that. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to bring it back over and show yourself on camera, I mean, you can put it right up, but the red the red table shows that much more detail. Oh, these are the ones that don't have backs? Yeah. Okay, here. I got it. You got it? So you guys, these earrings don't have backs. Jill asked me if I had um, backs. I think I threw all my backs in my last earring lot that I sold um, so that they wouldn't hear. These are um, these are from my pearls, and these are gold. So I can't let you um, include these. Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Here. I don't. No, but you can use these to um, secure them so that they don't fall out. Okay. But earring backs are really inexpensive, you guys. You can buy the earring backs or just use backs from other earrings. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just get this on here. And I've got, um, yeah, these, these backs don't fit it. Um, let's see. Of course, I had everything in my hand until I walked over here. There's supposed to be two pairs. Oh, well. Okay. So, these are the earrings. They're sterling silver. They do need to be cleaned a little bit. And I think that that is possibly lapis. And I'm gonna start them at 15. Whoops. Can you find the camera, Jill? <laughs> yeah. Which way is it? So that is black or a gray? No, it's it's a blue gray. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Take one off. Okay. 
You might have to pull away a little bit and come back in. There you go. That's good. Anything written on the back? Are they signed or anything? Yeah, they're they're um, marked nine two five. Um, M L X or K L X. Let me put that there. There's supposed to be actually two pairs. Let me get the other pair. Yeah, there's two pairs of earrings total in this lot. Let's see what I did with the other pair. Yeah, they're marked 925 MLX. And there they are. And then the second pair are also sterling silver, and they have a stone in them. Both of those. They're thick. Now that's an interesting looking stone you have there. Yeah. Any ideas what it is? Nope. I'm sure somebody that's in here. Yes, both sets are sterling. This part, this pair is marked uh, sterling MLX can kind of see the blue a little bit there now yeah. kind of variegated and then we have these and these are marked um, I believe Mexico okay. yeah it does kind of look like Jasper And yes, the the second pair, this pair right here is marked 925 Taxco Mexico. Yeah, maybe a picture, Jasper. Okay, we got Julie at 15. Anybody else coming in? Thank you, Julie. Looks like there's quite a bit of sterling there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Saxton. It's lots of different reflections with the lights in here, so sorry. And that that right there is just the, a variegation in the color. Okay. If, if there's no more interest, we Julie's can... heart came in at 19. Oh, thank you. Julie. Thank you, Julie. Oh, you're doing them to together combined. Uh-huh. Nice. What are those? Are those abalone? No, I think these are picture Jasper. Pretty. I thought they were. Very pretty. Yeah, if you want to change the picture on any day, just turn them 90 degrees. Yeah. You have something new. <laughs> Saxton comes in at 21. Thank you, Saxton. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 
I have um, I have some Judith Ripka I'm going to bring later and definitely some Native American pieces. Um, I have everything written out, though, what it's marked and all. Um, so I'll be able to tell you. What happened is I took those out of their little bags to be ready when I came over here. And then I lost the little bags on my way over. So but I found them. Let me know if um, T shows up in the bottom screen. We'll let her in. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Thanks everybody for being here. It's I'm having a good time here with Donna. How many thrift stores you go to yesterday? Um, we went to well, we went to the um, Habitat for Humanity, and then we um, went to a thrift store, which we were thinking about going back today because I guess that. 11 o'clock they open today and certain things are like 50 cents but yeah. is the habitat place without a lot of building supplies and things in there um yeah there was yeah she did a video on it and for those of you that are not aware julie's heart also has auctions on her channel from time to time so um go over and join our friend julie she uh she has auctions also on her channel Okay, so that is going to be sold to Julie for 23. Yeah, I think Julie um, actually has an auction tonight, I believe, with um, the Treasure Hustlers. Okay, is it sold? Now it is. Okay, great. 23 to Julie. Thank you. Okay. Next piece I have is it's running it's by Running Bear. It's a bracelet. It's 925 with turquoise. It's marked um, RB925. And I'm going to start this at 20. Now, does it have any markings anywhere? Yes, it's marked RB925. RB. And the mm. RB stands for running bear. Running Bear. All right. Is that a Southwestern uh, designer, maybe? Yes. Native American type thing? Yes, it definitely is. There it is all the way around. I'm going to try to put it on, but I don't think yeah, maybe I can. It is not a real big bracelet, but it, you know, it is bendable. Does that help at all? Nine to five. Vintage Native American. You see the bear outline. It's running bear. If I can get that 
piece of turquoise in a little better. There we go. Thank you guys. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Sylvia. where it's marked. It's marked here on this. Yeah, you probably have to put your hand behind it in order to get that. Oh, there, it almost came in. You can see the 925. Thank you, guys. Robert Vicente is the RB. Navajo Silver. Yes. Okay. Thank you, D. I think it's really cute. It's, you know, it's dainty, but it's still big enough to, you know, give you that cuff look. <laughs> This ring was going to be next, but I shoved it down on my finger, and now I can't get it off. Get it so, off there, yeah. <laughs> I have to find some soap or oil. Uh-huh. Thank you, guys. And um, I will get your information from Donna, or you can send me an email to... Um, my email address, which is jillp4 at yahoo.com. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Dee. Awesome. So that's going to be to Judith. Oh, thank you for putting the email in. Sure. Yeah, there's my email address. Hopefully I got it right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Looking good, Lindsay. Keep it up. Doing a good job. I'm sorry, I ran to go get this ring off. Did you get it? <laughs> yes, I got it off. Okay, thank that's going to be lot three. <laughs> Are you calling me? No, uh-uh. Okay. Okay. So let me move that out of the way. Okay. This ring is marked 925 and it is signed 
VS. It's a size seven. And it has a little red stone in it. I don't know if you can see the color of it. Yep. Is it just the one? Yep. The one stone. And then this, there's right here and here on those pieces, it looks to have a gold tone to it. So I'm not sure if that is gold or if it's just colored gold and it's all 925. But it's a it's a really cute ring. But it does not have any gold markings on it. Not that I could see, but it is oh, kind of yeah, it doesn't have as far as I can see. But it's, what are you gonna start it at? Oh, um, I'll start this one at twenty. Twenty dollars. Is that finger smaller than the other? Yes. <laughs> I stuck it on my middle finger on the other hand, so And that is a red stone. Yep. And if no one's interested, we can pass it. No problem. Oh, we just got to start it. Somebody's going to be interested. It's marked a VS. Any ideas what VS is? Who that is? I don't. Julie's in for 20. Thank you, Julie. And Judy comes back with 22. Wish that red would show up a little better. Right. Yeah, that washes it all out. Yep. No good. No bueno. So what kind of uh, design were they going for with this piece? Um, it's usually called Brutalist. Brutalist. Brutalist? Yeah, that's a type of, when they do the oxidized silver, on the piece um it will fall into that category so do, are they going for a more worn look maybe? um i no i don't know well yeah they're they shade it you shade know right. to have different tones it's kind of like to me, it's a little bit Renaissance also. It, okay. it seems to be like twigs. You know, that's what I think of. Twigs, vines, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like a wrapped around. Is there a, is there a hole behind the, the stone or is it just solid behind the stone? No, nope, there's a hole behind it. Yes, Amy, she does occasionally. I'll drop Jill's link for you. Can you see where it would be? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good size, too. Yeah. Just not letting a lot of light through there. It must be a thick stone. Well, it's a thick ring. I mean, it's a heavy ring. Does Donna have a little scale there next to her computer? Sometimes hmm. she does, sometimes she doesn't. Let me see what this is. Oh, yeah, she does. It's eight grams. Size. So a, little over, a little over a quarter of an ounce. Yeah, size seven. Whoops. Yeah, that camera goes away sometimes. This fell out. Oh, okay. There you go. Donna, the 
the um, camera went out on the phone. Elaine's in for 30. Thank you, guys. I bet she can't hear me. Donna. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the camera phone went off. The fan, okay. Yep. Thanks, Elaine. <clears throat> yes, it's a size seven. Elaine, welcome. Julie's out. Anybody else? And sell it to Elaine for 30. There you go. Thank you. And Judy's back in for 32. There we go. Now we're back. I won't I won't talk. Now I hear it absolutely. Yeah, you, you'll have to hit the mute for that camera. Okay. So it'll get really nasty here in a minute. Got it. Okay, Elaine, what do you think? Two for 10 for 32. And Elaine's out. Out to Judith. Okay. All right. Call her down. Awesome. Thank you again, Judith. Thank you. Okay. The next ring I have is, um, it's different. I, I like it because it's different. It's a size eight. It's marked S J, but I'll go over that in just a minute. Once we get this call. S J. Yes. S J. Yeah. She is um, digging around. That's for sure. Oh, sorry. Well, that's okay. It's just say, Said it sounds like you're, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is a size eight and it's turquoise, like an untumbled turquoise. Yeah. It's rough around the edges. Yep. Yeah. And it is nine two five and it's signed S J. You can see the the prongs on it. And I'm going to start this one at 20 also. Don't touch that bag. There's a lot of broken glass in it. Oh, she just said she broke something. There's a lot of broken glass. So yeah, you can see the writing down there pretty good. Yep. What's the back of the thing look like? Solid? No, it's got a big hole in it. Yep. Although there's not much light coming through that one. No. I thought it was very unusual. Yeah, you don't see it untumbled very often, right? Right. But it's still got the sparkle in it. If you can see it, you know, little sparkly edges.
size eight, 925 silver, and it's got a nice heavy band on it. Yeah, she was destroying things. I'm not. <laughs> I'm finding treasures for you guys. Oh, she's finding treasures. I'm not destroying anything. Thank you, Christine. Welcome in. Hi, Christine. Okay, we have Sandra at 20. Anybody else? What is that? It's an untumbled turquoise. How do you know that? Because I researched it. Yeah. No, Nance P. I'm actually going through a box of green. I think it's uranium glass. I'm not 100% sure. Do you have a black light? <laughs> Who? Me? So we get to see the, the uranium glass? Oh, do you have a black light? Um, I don't. Oh, darn it. Yeah. I have, she just, I'll order her one because it's just. I did, but my daughters took all the black lights when they had their graduation party. I have a black light flashlight. With you? No. Oh, yeah. Not with me, but. Just, just get a black bulb when you go to Walmart or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looks so much cooler in the black light. Okay, we're about to sell it. Anybody okay. else? Okay. We got Sandra at 20. You better hurry. All right, we're doing Sandra. Sandra at, Killian, yep. At twenty? Twenty dollars. Okay. For lot four. All right. Thank you guys. And she will invoice every, all the winners. But yeah. you can email her if you like. Yes, you can. Put her email sure. in. Are there any Judith Ripka? fans in the house thank well, you sandra I'm a fan of all judy's what what are you looking for <laughs> <laughs> well i have some nice judith ripka bracelets but uh i'll bring those later let me look for something else here I'll do these. Let's see here. I have some very unusual sterling silver earrings that are that are not cleaned real well. They're marked uh, silver, Mexico. And they are screw-on earrings, but they're little, and they've got the strings on them and everything. I bet Bo and Chessie didn't see those. No. They're not here. I thought they were very unique. Certainly. So I'm going to start this lot off at uh, 30 and it's going to be this pair of earrings. You can see they've got the screw back. And what else? What else does it say on the back? It's Anything? it says silver, Just Mexico. Silver. Okay. Yep, and it's actually right around there. The yeah. These are definitely vintage, possibly antique. And if oh, I yeah. think they, they look old. Yeah, if I could get it to show well enough, there's actually the strings are silver on there. How many strings are there on there? 
Uh, four or five of them on there? There are four or five. I can't tell, but I know That's there's amazing. One. They're still on there. Yeah. Well, they're silver. You know, they're silver bands. Yeah. So I've got that pair and another pair of vintage. Uh, and these are marked. These are also the screw on. And these have abalone. And these are marked um, Mexico 925 Tax Co. As in T A X C O? Tax Co? Yep, T A X C O. That's pretty uh, common marking for vintage jewelry from Mexico. Yep. Greg's in at 30. Thank you, Greg. This is for both sets, everyone. Yep. And they're both screw backs. Yes, they're both the screw back. Do they still make screw backs today? Or is that just something from I'm yesterday? Not, I'm not sure if they do. I always got the impression that's something they wore back in the you know 30s, 40s, 50s. Yeah, possibly. Let me go here and see if I can do this to where you can see. See the strings? Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, it's marked down there. Okay, Sandra. And then let me show you one of these. Well, Jenny, I'm told this is going to be an all day marathon. From the sounds in the backgrounds, it sounds like she's a lot of stuff's getting out. She's so getting weird out. out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, we still have Greg at 30. Anybody else want to come in? Oops. Yeah, these are definitely very, um, very unique. Whoops. I never would have imagined that they would have tried putting strings on. Yeah. Yeah. And I have not tried to clean them. Yeah, they're a little, a little dirty. Yeah. It's going to be tough to clean in those small areas anyway with those strings on there. I guess that's what Q-tips are for, right? Yep, for sure. Thanks, guys. Let me go back over here. So we've got two pairs. The guitar. And the abalone leaf. All right. We're sold to Greg Lust for 30. Thank you, Greg. Are you ready, Donna, or you want me to keep going? I guess I will keep going. 30, Greg Lusk. Okay. All right, let's, let's knock out one of these Judith Ripka bracelets. So here we go. Sterling Silver. Diamonique, 
is how they call it. It's got the lever that you use to open it. Where would you like to start this at? Um, I'd like to start this. Uh, I'm going to have to start it a little bit higher, um, like 50 $50. Yep. And it is all silver? All silver, 925, uh, sterling silver, Judith Ripka. If you're not Ripka. familiar with her, you need to, you should be. Ripka as in R I P K A? Yes. Yes. All right, Greg, here you go. And how about a weight? Oh, that's a good idea. So it looks like a pretty good size. Yes, it does. <laughs> Julie's uh, in for 50. It's just under 27 grams. Wow, almost an entire ounce. Yeah, it's heavy. And you put it on. That is shiny. Yes. And they, Judith Ripka uses, they're not considered, they're considered very high end cubic zirconia and they're called Di Diamonique. There's quite a few little ones in there. And it's really easy to put on and take off because this part folds out. Yeah, I really like those levers like that. Yeah. And that way you don't feel like you're bending it out of shape trying to get it on every time. Exactly. And there we go. Let's see. Where's the other marking? Yeah, you guys should look these up. It is very nice, and it's it's would fit any size wrist basically because it's so easy to put on. Is it sterling? Yes, it's uh, twenty almost twenty seven grams of sterling silver nine two five. Oh, that's beautiful. Diamondique. It's Judith Ripka. Hey, Kyle Elliott, this is Jill, that random girl. She's showing some of her things. So as a reminder, you guys, um, anything that Jill sells is her property, and you cannot use your gift certificates. Right. Wait, let me switch cameras here. I'm going to go full screen. She came to spend the weekend, and she's... Um, Zuli's at 60. Push the um, lens over a little bit, a little bit more. Nope, the other way. And Julie's out. See all the shimmers. And that is a Judith Ripka, Judith Silver. Yes. Yes, Kylie, you are out of Jill Bills. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful hinged cuff. Okay, we're going to count it down. If nobody else is coming in, Zuli at 60. Thank you, Zuli. Thank you, Julie. Thank 
to everyone who's bidding. Yes, Diamondique. Well, lighting's not so great. Thank you, guys. That's going to be lot six. Zuli, okay. Zuli at 60. What's wrong, D. Scott? You're not coming to Christmas in July? Judith Ripka. And we're sold to Zuli. All right. Thank you, Zuli. Appreciate it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let me slide out of the way. Let Donna in here. Sorry. See you guys in a little while. Get all your crap and get out of the way. <laughs> we got to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I it was, have, nice, it was nice, pretty crap anyway. So. Yeah, it was pretty crap, wasn't it? <laughs> At least from what I saw. It's raining bad here, is it? Oh, it's so beautiful here. I ran into a problem with the Christmas in July marathon. What kind of problem would you run into? Hasn't said yet. I asked. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> I have a lot of ephemera. So I'll show you what I've got in the lot. I'm going to put this camera on. You're going to start at 25? Sure. And let me show you what I have. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So we'll go through it together. Um, oh, he's saying his OBS software won't let him into StreamYard. It's what? His OBS software won't let him into StreamYard, he says. Um... Well, you don't really need the OBS. Just go straight to StreamYard. Yeah, you just need to, um, you just need, when when we drop the link, all you have to do is click on it, and it will just bring you right into, uh, if you want to try it now, I don't mind. If you want if you want me to drop the link and you, you want to come an on. account or anything, you just click on the link and come yeah. straight to StreamYard. Scott, if you want to try it and do a quick test, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody would mind. Um, it's not like I'm on a time crunch today. We're, we're doing this all day. So let me know if you want me to drop the link. That goes for anybody who's going to try to come into the marathon. Just I can make, drop sure your, make sure your camera's on. You have to make sure your camera's on. And your name matches your camera. Um, I, I want to see a person because so you have some nice old envelopes here. What year are you seeing there? 30, 38 on that one. 1938. From California, Burbank, California. 1940, pre war, right? 1939. You're a YouTube name, Shopaholly. 1939. Yeah, you want to turn off your YouTube or at least make sure it's muted when you come into StreamYard. 1933. Look at the writing on that. Beautiful. 1926. This little one. 1925, 525 Park Avenue. This one, 
has that pretty paper inside. I would look inside these, you guys. 1961. Illinois. Okay. Let's see what else. We've got the United States postcard. Franklin Street in Boston. No way. 1895, you guys. Look at that. This is from 18... 18 is it an actual envelope or is it just a card? It's just a card. Wow, that's nice though. Yeah. Undivided isn't, back. Isn't that unbelievable? That's awesome. Nineteen what twenty-two maybe? This has got something inside of it. Should I open it? It hasn't been cut at the top. Nope. Hasn't oh, been no, it's a seal. That's going to oh, be a nice surprise. There it is. There it is. There it is. It has a letter in it. It's got one cent on it. Nineteen thirty-five. Look at this paper. How it's like wrinkled up. Yeah, it's probably just the paper, not moisture or anything. It's probably just yeah, but it looks it feels like rice paper. Right, special paper. <clears throat> this has got looks like something in it. All right, we have Heather MC at twenty six. Let's see what this says. Dodd Mead Company Publishing. Yeah, somebody's writing a book. What's it say? Acknowledge your letter of September 5th. We have no objection to you using the five lines from page 162 of Music and Sinning Towers in your reader. It is understood, of course, that the usual credit will be accorded our book, the author and ourselves as publishers. So what is that? Uh, somebody was doing a review of a book and they would ask for permission to use a part of it. Nineteen sixty two modern portrait. Photographer. No Any picture. pictures in that one. <laughs> no. Nineteen thirty. Route one. Danville, Virginia. Okay, so you get those letters. Oh, wait, there's more. Whoa, 1893. 1893. See if there's anything in it. No, there's nothing in it. 1841 finance company. It was probably a mortgage payment. Ooh, that's a nice stamp. 35, so getting ready for the war. 32. Well, oh, I can't know. 1935. 35, yeah. Black Heritage. That's a beautiful stamp. I think I remember someone saying a long time ago, if you put a stamp upside down on a love letter. Okay, hold on. That's what I thought. They were, it's 95, not 35. That's why they were 32 cent stamps. So they're not using 32 cent stamps in the 30s. 1954. 21. 1921-1941. Wonder where that came from. It's going to Selma, Alabama. Private Robert McCaslin. That's World War II, right in it. So somebody was in Europe writing writing home. Really? How awesome is that? Yep. Where'd it come from? Oh, it's somebody in stateside, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I 
1971. Typewriter, 1976. I don't know if these have anything in them. No, I don't have anything in them. No nose pickings. There's no letters in the envelopes except for that one. So far, that's all I've come across. Hello, Thomas Klein. 1961. Hey, Thomas, thanks for coming in. Okay, so now we have some old greeting cards. And I didn't look, but let's see if they're written in. Yes, they're written in. That one is anyways. Oh, cute little bunny. Happy Easter. Oh, my God. That's like the smallest card on earth. It's not even a card. It's just like a. Well, it may win on a present or something, you know. 1930. Day. William and Ed Edward. Should be a whole pack of cards in there. Yep. What do you need to know about the upside down stamps, Holly? Was there an envelope with one? Upside. Oh, it means it, it, years ago I I was told I don't know when I was a young girl that upside upside down stamps on a letter means I love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that was a bill, so I don't think they were saying I love you. <laughs> So these are um, front and back photos. They're not really postcards because they have photos in the front and on the back. So it looks like just a picture book of <laughs> Gettysburg. Uh, they really wanted to hear that story. Now, I always heard if you put it on upside down, it's a protest against whoever you're sending, you know, like, like it's a bill or to the government or something. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So two, two different sides there, love or hate, whichever one you want to choose. Right. This is beautiful. That's a beautiful poinsettia. Is there a lot of glitter on that one? Yeah. Yeah. I love the ones with a lot of glitter. This one's beautiful too. pretty all right and then you get these cards that are in here the state of maine i want to go i want to go i want to go philadelphia eagle a greeting card that has a little envelope that says father on it yeah missing that letter though kansas city so you get a collection of postcards i'll just show them quick front and back they're in these leaves here's another one mother with a little is that like a little added envelope that they put in it, or is that the way yeah, they come? You, you jot a little note. No, it's, they come that way. You just jot a little note and put it in there. I, I've got quite a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> Horse and buggy. Old, sweet misery of love. What in the world? Ah, sweet misery of love. What in the world is that? Never heard of uh, misery being lovely. You haven't been miserable in love? Yes. <laughs> what, what, was that? what did you ask? I didn't hear you. you <laughs> You've never the been miserable in love? Oh, <laughs> uh, huh. well, I guess. 
Uh, Holly Googled it. It means they love you if it's upside down. Ah, see? So what I heard was right. Well, depending on who you believe. I mean, we're talking about Google here. Pups for sale. It's a mix of old and new in this lot. So you get all those postcards. And then here's some cute little birds. Oh, I wanted to show. Oh, it's on my phone. I can't. There was a new bird on my tree this morning. I didn't recognize what kind of bird it was. She's so 1940s, isn't she? I don't know who she is. K someone. Francis. Let's see if we can make out what that reads. Hope this finds you well. How is something? Give my love to. Expect to see. Let's see if this has got a postmark on it. That looks like a fountain pen, doesn't it? It's probably a little bit older since they're writing on the front, unless they just ran out of room. Yeah, see, that's an undivided back from 07. 1907. Under what box one? A private mailing card. Can't write on the back except for the address, so you have to write on the front. Oh, really? Is that what that means? Yeah, on the undivided backs like that from 1900 to 1907. That's why you'll find white space on the front a lot of times on those older cards to write your note on. Oh. That definitely looks like a fountain pen. Yeah. My gosh, their writing was so beautiful. Much different than today, for sure. Ah, you've got some humor. That's me just trying to make a buck. So they caught you late last. There'll be good news for mom. The stork. <laughs> no more stork. Oh yeah, Shelly, it's true. My my post my post lady at my house and the one that delivers here, he knows all the dirt. Oh, that's beautiful. What Let's kind of tree is that? Um, it looks like a magnolia. Okay. That looks like a magnolia tree. Yeah, Kay Francis was a Broadway actress from the 20s. Oh, thanks for looking that up, Elaine. Ocean City, New Jersey. So these are more like, um, and then there's a mix of old ones in the back. And here's another sleeve. I'll try to move a little bit quicker. You know how I get caught up looking at these things. I feel like I've seen that postcard before. Or that's something. The, that's the Hancock there. In the, in the, or something similar anyways. Yeah, there's a early one down there. Kansas City. Holly, did you find out? No, I didn't. Speaking of nosy neighbors, right, Holly? <laughs> Holly, you're so funny. I have not gone over to check. Good morning, Susan. I feel uh, I feel bad going over and checking. You can't help but to know the dirt because people meet you at the mailbox and spill beans all day long. Like we want to hear it, not. <laughs> Susan was a mail carrier. Oh, that's right. What's it? Barely able to write now. I've got a big bear behind. And why is she naked? It's the nudist camp. You see the sign? Oh, it's a nudist camp? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I wonder what the other side says. Let's say. Maybe they were visiting the nudist camp when they wrote that. Doesn't say much. <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> Doesn't say much. Well, I guess there's not much to say whenever you got to cut. The front side looks like that. Hmm. What in the world? <laughs> uh. Okay, so then you get that. And, oh my gosh, there's more. I didn't realize I put that many in here. You get those. <coughs> And these, which are older, so you get those. And here is some more. <laughs> Greg. Hurry up before Marilyn gets here. That's so funny. I always like those large letter ones like that. Okay. And then in like addition those. to that, you get this Sudbury Auto Parts Company, 1953 car heaters. I guess it's a book manual on how to fix um, Geo Myers, Harrisburg, Berwick, I don't know. It's an auto parts company. And then this Johnson Brothers Victoria Sunliner um, brochure, 1953 some nice ephemera here 1953 cars it's beautiful here is the special world of cadillac 1973 who doesn't love a nice cadillac i've always loved cadillacs oh my gosh i love cadillacs i still do here's mg that's such a hippie picture, isn't it? Yeah, it's certainly 70s. Little MG convertible. And then here is a Buick 1947. There's a nice one. Let's open this one up. Let's see if I can bring my camera a little bit higher. You can see it a little bit better. Very cool. Does that say fireball? <laughs> sure does. Here's another one. Beautics Greatest Cars. These are in excellent condition. Let me just tell you. Beautiful, beautiful shape. They're uh, they're perfect. I um when I woke up yesterday afternoon before I went to bed, I turned on the nurse flipper and I was watching a little bit of her um let's pack these orders and she sold two pieces of ephemera on eBay and I was shocked at how much money. I mean I know ephemera goes for good money, but yeah, she sold them for some pretty good money. This is just an, it's an empty envelope, but it says the beautiful Chrysler silver anniversary models, but there's nothing in there. It's just the envelope. I don't know if there's a market for just that. Here's another really great Oldsmobile. Oh my gosh, don't you love the old pictures? For sure. Oh my gosh, they're so awesome. Look at them making a handshake. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. I wonder if car salesmen were the same back then as they were. Oh, Jill heard me on the phone yesterday to the car salesman, right? He, right, Jill? Yeah. Yep, he called me. And once again, from the finance department where I took my daughter, and I, I said, you know what? I almost reported you um, and your practices to your home office, to the owner of the, the company. I said, what you did to my 18 year old daughter was completely disgusting and unexcusable. And he apologized to me and asked me what had happened. And I told him 
how we went in saying that we wanted to spend a certain amount and put a certain amount down and they let her test drive a car. And then after she test drove it, they said, oh yeah, we can't put you in this car for this much, but we can do it for this much, which was double across the board. It was awful. Oh, Cindy, really? She says her father drew illustrations. Okay, we got Heather at 111. Oh, Heather, 111, honey. Thank you. Buick's greatest cars in 50 great years. Really, Junie? You don't like researching ephemera? I really enjoy it. It takes me a long time to list when I start researching it, though. <laughs> so I like mm -hmm. looking at it all. 1953. Oh, look at the station wagon, you guys. I loved a station wagons when I was growing up. This is beautiful. Let's see. Here's Mercedes Benz, 1968 Mercedes Benz. These car books are amazing and they're in amazing condition. So this is what the car books is like what you would get when you'd go to buy a new car, right? They'd give you this to go home with. That's right. The pamphlets at the dealership. And they're all in such great condition. Someone took very, very good care of these. Beautiful. Beautiful old ephemera. I'm going to have to pay it, Jenny. I'm not going to have her take the vaccination. It's actually $1,500 a year. Just have to have an. I just have to have an extra auction a week <laughs> to pay for it. I'm surprised DeSantis hasn't uh, made that illegal in Florida. I know Jill said to um, send him a uh, anonymous, an anonymous copy of that letter. And I'll tell you what, if I do send him a copy of that letter, it will not be anonymous. But I'm afraid she'll right. lose her scholarship. Yep. Now these little books are pretty good here. School. That's why they don't have the Santa's doesn't have any control over it. It's a private school, yeah. So DeSantis doesn't have any control over it. They can do whatever they want. They told me the only way I can get out of her having it and not paying the amount is if it was for religious reasons. So what is religious reasons? Like what do I have to be like a certain religion or what does that mean for religious reasons? Good morning, Cat D. I guess it's afternoon now, depending on where you're at. I don't know what that means. It's like if, if what if, religion doesn't allow I, shots? I'm not sure, but it's the same kind of people that don't have their children vaccinated when they're young. Yeah. You know. This is 1932, you guys. It's called The Wheel. 1932 publication. Good morning, Carolyn, or Marilyn, <laughs> Carolyn. Uh, hi, Marilyn. I think for religious reasons, you have to have a reason. I pull charts in the medical field and see what lots of children's refusals for vaccinations are religious reasons. Yeah, but what religion? Like, what religion reason? Like, I don't understand that. You have to explain more than that. I was going to say, you don't don't have to tell which religion you are. I, I can just say for religious reasons, I don't want her to have it. And then what if they say, okay, show us proof. <laughs> proof it's of what? Okay. Oh, this is a poster, you guys. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. This is amazing. Check that out. Look at that. That's a big poster. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see what it says for publication. 76 Holiday Coop. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it said something like, you know, on the on the actual. Well, they're certainly know. not from 1976, but. 
That's got to be 40s or 50s, right? 50s probably. This is an 88. The peach ceramic. This is a 98. Is that too loud? What is that? Oh, that's the AC? Yeah, no, that's fine. It looks like it's 1950. So Amy says, all you have to say is that it's against your religious beliefs. You don't have to give them an explanation. All right, I'll try. Yep. Um, I kind of, I don't know if, you know, it's all that truthful, though, so... Well, that was the same thing as with the mask wearing you know you go in a store and say well my doctor says i'm not supposed to and that's pretty much all you know they can they can't really do anything else about it and a lot of people were doing that What kind of car is that? It's a Plymouth. It's awesome. Donna sent you a message later on when you have time. Okay, John, I'll check. I didn't check my emails all day yesterday. I kind of stayed away from emails, but I will check. All right, D. Scott, we'll hook you up here after this lot. X-ray checks for different cars. All right. There's another X-ray, separates facts and fictions. Economy Compact Cars, 1963 edition. The Falcon, the Comet. So all those cars. And then finally, sorry, this lot took so long. I enjoy looking at them. This is from a the C8 Cox Auto Repair, established in 1936. It's 1959 Rambling Station Wagon. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that station wagon. Now, that's a car you don't see around so often because you know why? Families had that car, and the kids probably beat the crap out of them. <laughs> so you don't see them very often restored. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, you have to be a, a real car guy to restore a, a wagon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so. I think that most of them just got so destroyed from, you know, kids being in them. All right, you guys, that's your whole lot. That's a nice lot of ephemera. Lots of great pieces in there. Nice combination of stuff. Postcards and pre-world stamps. and. All right, we got Heather MC for 131. See if Marilyn wants to bump it up. Donna, you're right. We need a vaccination against untruths of all kind. Boy, would we all have our eyes opened. Yes, that's that's the issue, Zuli. And that's what the $750 is supposed to cover, is her being tested every two weeks. And I mean, my argument is, is if that's what they're requiring, then I'll just send her to CVS every two weeks and she can be tested for free. Why do I have to pay the, the school to test her? Right? I mean, let's think about it. You can go to CVS and have it done for free. For free, yeah. I can provide, you know, information. All right, we have the ephemera. Your religious, pro, your religion prohibits you from getting the vaccination. A lot of people believe the vaccination is Mark refused to get it. You'll just have to sign paperwork if it's anything like the county schools. It's a private school. 
I know. They are, Cindy. I mean, you know what? I don't care. If I was forced to take it, I would go take it. Um, I'm not taking it voluntarily simply because I don't even get the flu vaccination voluntarily. I just never have had the flu shot. <clears throat> it's just something I've never had. My kids were all vaccinated because it was mandated by the state in the United States of America. All those vaccinations are mandated. All right, um, Marilyn's out. We're going to call it down to Heather MC for 131. Okay. Um, so as far as a young girl, I know there's a lot of information out there on the internet, and you can't believe everything that you read. I know that. But um, they don't it's not FDA approved and they don't know the repercussions. And the one thing that I did read was that it causes infertility. And my daughter wants to have kids like, you know, yesterday, she definitely wants to have a family. And I just, um, not forcing her. She's 18 years old and she can make her own decisions. And if her decisions are not to have it, then I'm going to honor her wish. That's it. Period. I'm not going to force her to do it. And I'm not going to steer her in one way or another to do it. Right. Yeah, Jenny. we really don't know what the long-term effects of it's going and to And she's be. a young girl. She's 18 years old. I mean, I've lived my life. I'm 57. Like, I'm, I'm not afraid to die. Like, I'm fine with the life that I've lived, I've raised my children. Of course, I want to live to see grandchildren and walk them down the aisle and get them married, you know, and be there for them. But and the the death rate for teenagers is just microscopic. I mean, it's almost zero. You know, so there's yeah. very very little chance of it. All well, right, so, Heather MC. Heather MC, thank you, sweetheart. I mean, she has a whole her whole life to live, and I just, you know, told All right, me. Scott, are you ready to try it out? Let me see what Elaine says. She says, "Told my boys if the college requires them to get the shot, they don't have to return. Thank God they don't require it." Wow, you did, Elaine. You said that, and Elaine's had it. Elaine's had the shot and her husband's had the shot, but her boys apparently have not. All right. D. Scott's ready if you want to put the link in. Hey, Junk Trader. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hi, Valerie. There's so much misinformation on the internet. Internet. I had COVID in January and still have had long-term issues. Don't wish COVID on anyone. You better stick around long enough to see me spend all my... <laughs> It's called cottage cash, <laughs> Kyle Elliott. Hmm. It's cottage cash, honey. <laughs> it's not Donna Bucks. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll stick around long enough. H4 Tech, hello, welcome in. You want to drop the link? You want me to? Oh, I can drop it. Okay. Do you have it ready? Sure. Go ahead, you can drop it. All right. Don't watch this if you're easily upset forced vaccinations in Argentina. Make sure your camera's on when you come in. My youngest can't get vaccinated. We ended up in the ER with her when she was a wee tiny girl after she was placed with us. My sons have all gotten the shot, even though they had COVID. H Hubby and I haven't gotten the shot. Sexton says, yeah, we haven't either. Marilyn, I will have Donna send you an email. What does Marilyn want? Uh, they were talking about splitting that last lot up. Oh, okay. Cat D, <laughs> what is cottage cash? <laughs> Whoa, Cat D. Cottage cash is something that I offer here on my channel, and I basically give away free money, a lot of it. And I've done it 
four times a Shriker in two months? Uh, three or four months, but yeah. Three okay. months? Well, I've yeah. been here. I've been in the cottage three months. I've done it four times in three months. I've done it four times in three months. So um, basically what I do is I give hundreds. Uh-oh, Bolo Buddies. <laughs> basically what I do is I give away free money. Um, James Cisco, hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Courtney, thanks for coming in. Um, so for those of you that are watching in the background, so usually what I do is I do increments and I'm getting kind of close. I kind of, I kind of thought maybe, 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 maybe I would do it today. I don't know. I was talking to Shriker about it. Um, I don't know. Stay tuned for the end of the show. And I don't know what time it's going to be over, but maybe just maybe. Um, it depends on what's coming today. I've got a huge load coming. You know, I like to do it when I get my big mega lots so that I can share. Donna needs a video bumper says cottage cash. <laughs> so anyway, so what I do is uh, the smaller increments are you, you, uh, you buy $100 cottage cash gift certificate. You get $150. You buy $200. You get $300 worth of cottage cash. If you buy $500, you get $750 worth of cottage cash. And at first, I um, at first I said that you couldn't use them for buy it nows. You could only use them for auctions. But now I let people use them for anything. And um, the only thing that's changed is that um, now I'm asking the money to be either Venmo, Cash App, or Zelle. Zelle. Thank you. Or Zelle to me, um, not PayPal. And if you do send it PayPal, I'm asking for an extra $10. I'm getting a bigger one this time. <gasps> Bolo buddies. Okay, D. So Scott, funny. did you uh, figure it out? Did you click D. Something? Scott, you need to turn your camera on. Oh, he's in there? Okay, good. Yeah. You need to turn your camera on um, in order for me to let you in. And you go right into where it says Cam and Mike on the bottom of the screen, and that will turn on your camera. It can be a little confusing the first time. Yeah, take your time, D Scott. We're here. We're not going anywhere. Okay, so this ephemera lot sold to Heather MC. One thirty. Heather, um, for one thirty-one. Yes, just um, just uh, send me a text, um, or email. Let me know what you guys are gonna. Don't make it too hard for me, please, 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 to split it up. Um, oh, I think they were gonna try to do it themselves. I don't know. Heather put her email in the chats for Maryland. So, and I will charge you, and not not to sound petty, but if I'm mailing it to two different people, I will charge one or the other shipping because um, you know it will cost me money to ship out to two different people. So, I hope you understand that. Every you know eight to ten, twelve dollars counts. Trust me, folks. Yeah, Heather says she'll take care of it on her end. Hey, buying space. Hiring, buying space is here. Hi, Myra. Hi, Nancy, honey. Nancy came in too. Who did? Oh, Nancy. Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Welcome in, honey. Thanks for joining us. Are those stamps? You get the stamp book and you get all of these stamps so i'm going to hold the camera like this have you counted them yet oh please <laughs> so some of them were very neatly cut um and they have 1950 1950 um someone took the time to 
1958 to neatly cut these 1951 where do you want to start this one at 25 dollars 25 and then just know that a lot of these stamps are the same they must have been from like some sort of like company and they just would cut the stamps what's that 19 i can't read it can you no i can't oh here let me put it on the big screen maybe that will help i thought maybe 1900 but yeah 1900 19 well, that doesn't make sense though for 10 cents that'd be 40 cents that wouldn't be 1900 that's durango colorado So that'd be 50 cents on a package. Let's look at another one. I can't see the dates. Mm -mm. Just can't quite make it. Okay, it did not work. I picked up the audio, but my camera didn't access. D. Scott, you might have something blocking your camera. Your camera might be on in another application, which happens. You need to shut down all your um, applications. So look at how big this box is. This is my hand, and it's completely full. Oh, but let's just, look at the red ones. They look different. Just beware that a lot of them are th of the same, same era. Mexico. Okay, that says Mexico on the stamp itself. Oh, did it? Yeah. I'm going to invest in a quieter air conditioner, Jill. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I when I have a few dollars. extra dollars. <laughs> it's really loud, isn't it? It is. I know. I'm going to see if I can make it through this summer with just that one. And then maybe when they go on sale, I'll buy an inexpensive, I mean, a, a better one. This says Correos, Mexico. Correos. Hmm. It's really hard to read the date on any of them. Yeah. I went to Ohio, it looks like. I so if they're packages from Mexico to the U.S., that's why the postage was higher. So it could be early 1900s. Durango, Colorado. I don't know. Can't can't make it out on any of them. I keep digging. What's that one? That's Germany, maybe? Or Denmark? Let's try this one. Oh, Correos means post office. Okay, post office, Mexico. They have a really bad stamp. They can't read any of the canceled dates. I wonder what was sent with all of these similar. Okay, here we go. Maybe? Well, not for me. I don't know about you. Nope. We can see the day, but not the year. March. Yep. 1933. March of 33. March 16, 33. Could that be right? Yeah. That might be the time as well. The date should be the very bottom line there. Okay, there, there you go. What's that say? That says 30, 33 or 38 or 32, 32. That's there you go. That one's the 32. All right, so that's it, folks. This is what I got. If there's any interest, $25 bid. There's no interest. So if you bid 25, you get this whole lot.
GGO would be Durango. Heather's like, okay, nobody bid against me. <laughs> yep. They are beautiful. A lot of the similar ones, I mean, they, they'd be a beautiful craft project for, um, I would I would probably set the, separate them out in lots and put them on junk journaling stamps. That's, a, that's how big the box is. You can see it, it's enormous. Um, this box measures it measures 13 by 14 13 by 14 and it's five inches deep so it is and it's jammed it's packed should we give them to heather for 25 dollars looks that way for the stamps it's raining there, Steve. It's beautiful and sunny here. We had rain this morning. It's still a little overcast out. Going once, going twice. We're going three times. We're giving them to Heather. Heather, you should be able to make some good money on this lot. Separate them out, honey, and write junk journaling stamps. People will buy these up. I did yeah. remember for you uh, mentioned at one point you're going to run a stream where people can practice coming in the stream yeah. yard, getting ready for Christmas. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not doing it. Oh, you're not going to do Christmas now? Is it canceled? No, 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 no. I'm not running a stream. Oh, you're not going to. No. If somebody wants to try their camera or their uh, microphones out right now during today's live, since we're going to just be um, on live all day long, they can just let me know. We'll drop the link. All right, yeah, if somebody wants to try it, just say so. Make Don't sure your camera's it. on. Can you go over the cottage cash? Um, well, I'm not offering them, Courtney. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'm not offering them, but I'll go over I'll go over them. So you're just teasing the people by bringing it up again. Yes, yeah, you can hey. try, geez. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'll drop you the link if you're ready. Scott, I need to see your face. Oh, he came back. Okay, you're coming on. Okay, here you go, D. Try that one. We can see you. We can't hear you yet. <laughs> Take your time. You're all right. Check your mic. Yeah. Um, can you, you hear me now? Yes. Okay. There okay. You <laughs> this uh, is hello, D. Scott. Hi, Donna. Hello, I tried D. Scott. Um, Oh my God. Oh my What's God. What's going on? Where are you located? It, it, anyway? it's... <laughs> <laughs> the only recommendation, the it's only recommendation I can give show. you is D Scott, can you hear us? Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. I do. Okay. Yeah. So the only recommendation I would give you is to put a light in front of you. Like I have a lamp in yeah. front of me. And if if I turn off this lamp, you see how dark I am? You That's remember. how dark you are. So you need to put there a nice, go. great lamp. Good. Better. Okay. Try Let's holding start. something up to the screen. My flashlight. Okay. Yep. My flashlight. All right. I would say try uh, get a little closer. Oh, Oops. Turn that off. People have light issues. <laughs> okay. I'm getting... Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> 
Okay, wait. Okay, I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It is echoed. Um, so Donna, your voice is being delayed. I mean, I hear you good, and then you. Uh, yes. Well, I have to. Go, I would have to go back like this. Well, you okay. got the main part down, right? You got the video, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You look good. Um, thank you. <laughs> you look good. Um, do you have thanks. your, do you have, we don't hear an echo. Usually if your YouTube is open, there would be an echo, but we don't hear an echo. Do you okay. have your YouTube open? I, um, yes, I think I do. Okay, Hold turn on. off your YouTube. Turn it off or put it on mute. Yeah. The okay. reason why he, we don't hear the echo is because he's got headphones on. So he's the only one hearing the echo. Okay, so you're in the... Okay. Just close your YouTube app. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Um, okay. Now you muted yourself. Now you muted, yeah. Got that. I can't close the app because it's got me on StreamYard. No, StreamYard opened up a completely different link. Different exactly. Tab. Yeah, you're so, on a different tab with StreamYard, so you can close your YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I can't find it. Look I up in the top. Find it. Look on the top and and see where it said where you see the red arrow and click on it and just shut it down. Oh my gosh, where am I? It's okay. So yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Yeah. Oh, let me try this then. Okay, let me try this. No, I just wait. Just go go to where your little arrow is on the top, where your where your pages are, and just okay. close just close the YouTube. Okay, can you hear me still? I can hear you. Okay, I hear you too. Is it? And, um, not yet. It won't echo. Did you close your YouTube app? Uh, um, I, I muted it. Oh, you there muted you it. That works yeah. too. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that works okay. too. So you're good. Okay. All right. You're ready, ready to go. Ready for you're, ready, you're ready to <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> okay. All right. Everything is slow, but it's but okay. I just need to test this, um, just to, to see how to see how this thing works. This is not exactly how I wanted to do, but it's working. Um. So you're not going to do the Christmas in July. We, we are, are going to do the Christmas in July. We are. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what yeah, I was everything. saying was, what I was saying was, the last two years, what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. T and I made a special live, not live, special, special. Um, uh, it was like a two or three hours that we set aside of our time to let everyone come in and test their equipment before they came on as guests so that when they came on as guests, we wouldn't have to do this during the, the, the show. So we decided we weren't going to do this, but since I'm doing an all day marathon, if there's some people that want to come in and test their equipment, I'm allowing it. That's what I said. That's yeah. why I said we weren't doing the test, the, the equipment stream. Yeah. Okay. Too, too much time. I'm too busy. <laughs> you see yes, how, you are. You see yeah. how complicated it can be, right? <laughs> imagine yeah. Doing, imagine doing that over and over again with 25, 30, 40 people over and over again. And then yeah. building a schedule to fit all of those 30 people on a schedule. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just too much. You know, with her move and my mm -hmm. move and, you know, everything else, we just can't do it. So, yeah. all right, buddy. I'm so glad All to right. have met you face to face. Same here, um, Donna. <laughs> and we will send out more information about the live. It's um, I have to do the thumbnails for that, so I got to find time to do that and make hotel reservations. Jill, that was supposed <laughs> yeah. to be yesterday. Didn't do that either. Oh, you're so, busy. You're busy. You're yeah, just I'm a busy, busy woman. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get off this thing. Nice meeting you, Donna. Same here, darling. Striker, you're doing a good job, and I Thank and you. I and I enjoy watching your work. So I'll I'll, I'll stay tuned with you folks. Okay, okay? We'll, see, right. we'll see you in two weeks. All right. Okay, bye two bye. weeks. That'll work. Okay, bye bye. bye. <laughs> okay, so D Scott, you need to put your um, you need to put your uh. You're muted. D's collections. Sorry, D's oh, collections. You need to put your camera on. 
50s. It says camera not connected. All right. That's okay. Take your time, honey. I'm here all day. So when you get it together, you can, um, I'll see you and I'll see your camera. Okay. So I'm going to do a one-off. I don't know if this is uranium glass glass. Oh, this is a marathon selling event. Well then I better share it, but only if you're offering cottage cash. God, the pressure! The pressure! Media or plush lid? All right, I'll go get some media. I just found some in the back room, and I'll do some plush, too. Okay, this is what I'm going to show you. Um... Uh, I, green glass. Yeah, it's green glass. I wish I had a black light so that I could show you whether or not it is uranium glass or not. This is how big it is, official measurements of the auction. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It has this kind of acorn. Um, it looks a little bit green to me to be the uranium glass, I think has more of a yellow tint to it. So it's just green glass. I don't know if it glows or not. Um, I did buy it in a lot that was sold to me as uranium glass. But when I got it back here, um, a lot of the pieces I discovered were not um, uranium glass, but just beautiful green glass. So, so where do you want to start then? 15. 15. Yeah, nose pickings. We'll do that during the uh, Christmas so everybody knows who everybody is. And I just gave this a quick wipe moments ago with a um, just a little wipey. I imagine that once you clean it up, it will be really beautiful. Yeah, I really like that, uh, the top, the finial. They're beautiful. That's all right, Holly. I doubt if you look that bad. Come on in. I'm all sunburnt and everything else from yesterday. Cutting the grass? No, the auction, standing out at the auction. I forgot my hat yesterday. Oh, shoot. I got burnt to a crisp. No interest, you guys? Put it away? Is the flesh light you were thinking about bringing this tote that's over here? I can't hear a word you're saying. Can you safely ship two pieces together? Yeah. Want me to show another piece with it? Started at 20 instead of 15. That way your shipping is covered. 30. I'll have to start 30. it at 30 if I do two pieces together. I was saying. The red just doesn't give it justice. No, it, it kind of. Well, Donna, Donna's in for 15. Let's just leave it at this one piece then. What is that? Plush lot? Oh, that's sold. That's sold, and that's sold. That one's not sold. And then, yeah, that's not sold. You want this over there? The bag, yeah. That bag's not sold. And then I have all the plush behind me, too, that I can sell. All right, let me get another piece of um, glass. All right, hold on. i got to go into the back room and get another piece of this green glass. I'll be right back. Don Schreiber came in at 15. So I'll do these two and start it at 30. Okay, new opening bid is 30. So let me put myself on the screen and show you. 
I have this one. Is that a candy dish? Yeah. And then this one. Is that a juicer? Yep, it's a juicer. Now, this one is lighter than these. So you'll get all three pieces. All right, Donna's hands are dirty. See how that one's a different color tone? Yeah. So this one could be uranium glass. Yeah, I can say the lighter looks much more likely to be uranium than the other two. But I have to tell you, even if this isn't, it is, it's absolutely stunning. I don't know if um, the camera is doing it justice, but I think when I hold it up here. Yeah, Heather thinks the juicer is as well. Can you see how beautiful that is? Bye, Julie. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Julie, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Where's your black light? <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Heather's got the juicer. That's why she knows it's uranium. This one says, it says on it, C-L-E-V-E-N-C-L-V, -E -E says something, C-L-V-E-L-A-N-D, Cleveland? Amy's in for 35. Cleveland O, USA. And then it has a series of numbers of 009. Oops, it's this way. Um, e O B R O Brody. F O F O Brody Company. M S 6000. Brody Company is this one. Imperial Glass, it says Brody Company on it. So I don't know. So that one has stuff written on it. And let me see if this one has anything written on it. Because I haven't I haven't looked. I just unpacked these and all that breakage that you could hear when they moved this stuff from the storage unit to my cottage. I watched one of the guys literally take the bin and the stuff was packed just okay and throw it on the floor and crash. So I just threw away a whole bunch of this green glass which is sad. Okay, this has got a marking on it. Let's see what this marking is. It says F. It has a shield, has a shield with the letter F on it is what this one has, a shield with the letter F on the, on the old juicer. And let me look and see if the bottle is marked because I didn't look. See if there's any markings on this. This one, um, I don't see any markings on the bottom. Sometimes they're on the neck of the bottle. Did you guys know that? No, and I don't see any markings on the neck of the bottle either. Or on the cover. I 
I see something. It looks like maybe, I don't know if it's bubbles in the glass. It says 1-1. One, one, no, it says 1-1-S. One, 1-1-S one S. One, one S is what it says. The cover says 1-1-S. One, one I don't know if that um, means anything. All right, we've got a high bid of 37. That's Federal Glass, the juicer. Oh, is it Cindy? Thank you. All right, so you get three pieces, and my camera fell out. So for those of you that are coming in late, this is what we have. We have this beautiful jug urn. Um, what, would and, hmm? what would you put in that? And here? Yeah. I think it's just decorative. Okay. Then we have this. You wouldn't store your wine in there then? Um, I wouldn't know. It doesn't have a cork around this. I mean, unless it used to have a cork on it, I don't know. And then this here. So you get three pieces. Me, what I would do for it, and in, in when I looked at it and I found it in the bin out back, I thought no Jackson, no dead people. <laughs> I thought it would be beautiful to put a um, pothos plant inside of it. You know, that just grows with water. I thought yeah, it would be beautiful. Get to the, top. the top is really nice. The yeah. finial. Yeah, the lid. Yeah, the finial is really nice on it. So. Right, Heather, it would look beautiful. I, I debated, like, maybe, because right now I'm just using a, just a clear old wine bottle that um, I have. So the green would look so pretty. Okay, let's call it. Um, who's winning it? Donna Shriver? Yep, a 37. Donna Shriver's got it for $37. Unless we have a sniper. Let's close it. Let's close it. Let's close it. Julie, you want to come back? Sure. Did Dee get her camera on? Nope. Jill? Yeah. Would you like to come back? Yes. Okay. Come on on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a two minute break. You go ahead. I'm going to do the same. And put Jill on and the I got to fix this camera that fell out again. Sold, sold, sold. Thank you, Lindsay Ann. I brought you that. Oh, Where's okay. That? I'll do it afterwards. Okay. I'm just going to put this camera back on for you because it fell out. Okay, okay. Just take me one minute to do Thank it. Thank you. All right, folks. And it's back on. Getting to be a pro at it. All right. Here, just put this, um, just grab that for me, and I'll grab these two. And that way you have the table. It's all you. All right. Jill will be right up, you guys. Put it down right here. Yeah. Okay. Hello again, everyone. Let's see. Remind them in case you have some late arrivals that they can't use the cottage cash. Okay, I I am selling my own items today, so um, yes, Lindsay Ann, it will be my lot seven, right? Um, so no cottage cash or Donna dollars or bottleino bucks um, for my lots, um, and I will invoice you. And shipping is free. And what else? Uh, you can send me an email 
if you want to, or I can get your information from Donna. And no, I, I'm going to change it up. I've got um, Disney pins. And I put them all on one of Donna's placemats. She doesn't know. But this is what I have. And I'm going to start this at $20. There are some that are from Hong Kong or Shanghai or somewhere. There are some limited editions. There are some numbered. Those two guys are cool. And if there's no interest, we can pass. But these are good sellers. This one, this one is a special edition, limited edition. And there's like a mark on the back of how many were made. There's a few that are duplicates. Are you able to see them okay? I guess Shriker left, so I'm on my own. That gold one there in the corner, that are in the middle there, that gold Mickey, that one has a special marking on the back also. They all have their backs. Thank you, Cat D. Thank you, Saxton. Let's see here. Add to stream. How many pins? Let's see here. There's 39 of them. There's a lot with the hidden Mickeys. This guy is on a gold pin also, and he had something special written on him. And this guy too. Whoops. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Amy. This one, you can't really see that well. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Amy. That is a, I believe, a Japanese or Chinese from Disney overseas. And that teacup is very special. All right, we're at 50. See, read what that one said on the back. Hong Kong Disneyland. I don't 
know if you can see that, but. And since we have hit 65, I'm going to add, got a couple other ones to add. And so I'm going to add these three. Got Donald. Is that Jiminy, Jimmy the Cricket? And I'm not sure who that is. These are special edition. So there's three more. So that's a nice little set right there. Yeah, that makes. What, how many did I say there were? One, two, uh, 39. 39. So that would make 42 with these. Is there anything anybody would like to see close up? Yes, 42 pins. I just want to thank everybody for being here and supporting us today on our auction marathon day. Do you get Donna's placemat? I uh, would say no, but I have um, a, they all have their own individual bags. I can hear myself repeating what I'm saying on Donna's phone. Let's see, Disney pins. You can you can give them this a set of four, isn't there? Didn't you get those out of the kitchen? The placemats? Yeah, I don't know how many are, are in the I just grabbed one. Oh I only see three. Did you take another one out? No, I just grabbed one. If I find the fourth one, the white robot thing. Mickey and Minnie are cool. Yes, they are. You can include and there's the actually um, two of the Mickeys. You can include the placements. And if you guys really want to, then you can include the placement. A hidden Mickey. When I'm at home, I usually will use like a cloth napkin. Not sure who those two guys are. I'm sure you guys do. Nice job with the shrimp. Thank you. Yes, they're all official Disney pins. Yes.
Maybe I'll have the little Mickey back. So 42. Disney pins. Official Disney pins. And if that's, I mean, we are, the bidding stopped, we can close it. Got Cat D at 65. And Cat, you'll have to let me know if you want the placemat or if you want them back in their little bags. All right, we're sold to Cat D. All right, great. Thank you, Cat D. And it was for 65? 65. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Cat D. It's a good price for those. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. I love listing them. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And I am going to jump back to jewelry for just a second. I have a beautiful pair of earrings. They are sterling silver, and I'm not sure what the stone is. It is it's got sparkle to it and swirliness. And I'm going to start these at 15. And they are marked uh, Mexico 925. So is that a gray stone or a clear yeah. stone with gray in it? It's a gray stone or it's um slightly let me make my put me over here. No, oh, the lighting isn't very good over here. Okay, so I guess that's why we're showing over at the <laughs> right. table. I'm figuring it out. See, one of them looks much more solid. The other one looks a little clear. Yeah, this one has more swirl up in here. It, if you could see them in person, you could see it a little bit more. They are very nicely made. Okay, I can add another pair. That would sweeten the deal. Or we can pass. Let's see here. Labradorite? I don't think it's Labradorite. It's not dark enough for Labradorite, I don't believe. Do we have any interest? Anybody? Starting at 15. All right. We got Cat D at 15. Okay, thank you. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's 
such a big pile of stuff here. We got Marilyn at 20. Thank you. Oh, these are now these I'm gonna put add another pair. And these are marked R R T Sterling. Shelly wants, <clears throat> Shelly wants to see those other ones up close again if you can. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh. There we go. Had a little freeze up there. Okay. Then we have these. There you go. You can see it's like an egg shape. Yeah. And these are marked RRT. They are signed RRT Sterling. And they have kind of a camera's not really doing them justice. They have. Well, um, is it clear with something inside? I'm assuming. <clears throat> yeah, I think it is. And it's got a little bit of a greenish cast to it. But it's very uh, sparkly. I mean, not sparkly, but they're. They have a lot of stuff going on on the inside there yeah for sure you see they set up like that i'm not sure who rrt is but um i have found some other jewelry marked like that and it does sell well you can see kind of the scalloped edge around the stone Kind of. There you go. You can see that little scalloped edge there. Yeah. It kind of reminds me like of a hatching egg or something. They're very quality pieces. You can see the signature. Is it just one R or two R's? There's two. That one's a little bit faded, the first one. Here we go. Okay, yeah, now you can see them. So we've got these two pairs of earrings. Sterling silver. Yes, Purple Barn, two pairs, both pairs. Yes, both pairs. This pair I do not have backs for. The second set. Yeah, the second set. Thank you, Purple Barn Emporium. Thank you, Marilyn. Two dollar increments. Again, thank you guys for all, all for being here. Oh, 
Thank you, Marilyn. Hi, Wes. Well, I see plenty of other earrings marked RRT, but I don't think anyone has said what they actually mean. Yeah. It is. Hmm. There's Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, Wes. Hi, guys. It's me. Hi, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Got these two pairs of sterling and silver earrings. This one is marked RRT sterling. They are vintage. And these have a like a sparkle swirl to the stones. Oh, Rebecca, are you opening up your uh, auction wins? That's fun. That makes for a fun day. Okay, looks like the bidding's slowing down. So if anybody is interested, get your last bid in. We are going to start to close. Oh, there's Rebecca. Thank you. So you don't have a UV light there, right? A UV light? Yeah. I, does Donna have one? I don't think so. Then no. <laughs> uh, you didn't pack one? I didn't pack one. Actually, with the ring light, they show up really well. Yeah. I'm surprised she doesn't have a ring light. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Marilyn. And there's the marking on that one. All right. We have Judith at, at 50. $5 increments now, please. Thank you, Judith. Yeah, I saw that also, Sylvia. I was just trying to figure out who RRT was, and I couldn't find anybody that said. There's but there the were, there were there was a lot of reference to Navajo and South. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. Is someone trying to break into the house? Are you okay? It's Donna. <laughs> They're asking if somebody was trying to break into the house. Oh. All right, Rebecca's out. We're down to Judy and Marilyn. Okay, ladies. And you're bidding for both of them. Oh, I'm here, Jean-Pierre. All right.
right, Judy's out. Okay. We got Marilyn at 55, so we're going to count it down unless somebody wants to jump in. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, everyone that was bidding. And we said it was Marilyn. Yeah, we have Marilyn at 55. Okay, great. I have a very, um, let's see here, which one do I wanna bring? Oh, let's bring this ring. Thank you so much, Lindsay Ann, for doing all this calling. She's doing a good job. Yes, she is. The next ring I'm going to show is a size nine, and it is um, marked ESPO, which is uh, Joseph Esposito. And once I see the sold, I will show you. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. I've got this beautiful size nine ring. It's Marked 925 ESPO. I'm going to go over here to this other can. Well, let me see. I think I could do it with. Let me see. Oh, let me look at that. That's beautiful. Is Donna going to be bidding on this one? She just took it and she's putting it on her finger. She doesn't have to bid on it. She's just going to take it. <laughs> You want that one? It's beautiful. It's an amethyst. Um, it actually is marked on the inside 925CZ. So I think this um, is some kind of cubic zirconia. Yeah. Oh, actually, I can do it. I, was, I forgot what I was going to do. Let's see if I can show it this way. Size where nine. To, where do you want to start it at? Uh, we can start this at 20. The stone is a beautiful purple color. And I'm going to go over here and show it in front of this. Size nine, Joseph Esposito. Well, that shows some nice color to it. Yes, it's beautiful. It's got a lot of shine. You can kind of see how it looks. Very faceted stone, so it reflects a lot of light. Doesn't have any scratches or nicks or anything on it. Let's see if I can find the markings. There we go.
Can you see the? Yeah, at least they made it easy nice. to see on that one. Yeah. And then I think over here is where it's got the. Um, yes, Marilyn, uh, Jill will invoice you. Yes, I will. There's the ESPO. Thank you guys for bidding. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate all you guys. Okay, if everyone's out, we can start to call it down. Okay, what do, what's the bid at right now? At 47 with Marilyn. 47, so we would need uh, 49 to continue, Kat. Thank you, guys. Okay, I have more jewelry, or I can uh, do a lot of Hot Wheels and race stuff if anybody's interested in that. Thank you, Marilyn. I'm, I'm betting on the Hot Wheels being popular. Okay, all right. Let me get those. Okay. Maybe I can show them here. Okay, so I'm not sure how many are in here. I'm not sure exactly what all's in here, but we'll count as we go. And I'll start this at 25. It's 2001 Hot Wheels. I guess I can show them on this other camera. That's an interesting looking one. Yes, it is. Is that a surfboard on the top? Yes, it is. <laughs> there it is. Super hard. Wow. Okay. Collector number 056. Is that a, is that a Woody? Is that what they call them? No, that that one's not. 
That's a 32 for delivery. Uh, can you check the back for a year on that one? That looks yes. like the 90s somewhere. 2000. 2000, exactly. Yep. And we've got the Select Hot Wheels, Elliot Sadler. This is also 2000. We've got another Hot Wheel. 1959 Chevy Impala, 2000. So fast. Let's just like a... Two thousand one, and then I have these also racing. Got the little car going into the back. And some other Hot Wheel. I think that's like the other one. Thirty-two. This one says sedan delivery. All right, we got Greg at twenty-five. We've got this one, Brickyard 400 winner, Good Dale afternoon. Jarrett. Treasures. Pardon me? I uh, was saying good afternoon to Vintage Treasures. This one's 1996. Good afternoon, Vintage Treasures. Welcome in. Um, we've got this one here. This is 2000. Hot Wheels Racing. This one, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've got probably another 10 more to go. We've got Finger Hut Racing. This is... I don't know. I'll have to look a little harder to find the date on that one. Got another Precision Products Racing. The opening door ramp and the little car. Got this one, Quality Care Racing. Then I've got... Let's see, this little mini racing champions, small little tiny car, 1997. I've got this Hot Wheel. That is ice cream truck. <laughs> Come and get it. Saucy Sanders. Oh, it's the Rolling Roundup Rodeo Grill. Let's see. What's this one is Matchbox Haynes. This one. This is, let's see, what year is this one? Is 1991. I've got this one, 1994. Loy Allen, Hooters car. Got another ice cream truck. So there's two of those. The Meineke. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the thing. And a Hooters truck. Uh, 
That's a pretty large lot. Yes, it is. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven of these. Seven tractor trailers. Yep. Yeah. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and that's another duplicate. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. 22 pieces. Greg's in at 35. Thank you, Greg. And Rebecca's in at 50. Thank you. Well, remember, Saxton, we're using that phone as a camera right now, so she won't get it for a while. Yes, I. Her phone is her phone is right here as my camera. What year did I say this one was? Oh, this one's actually a a, a rebel. Yeah, rebel. Nineteen ninety one. Thank you, Rebecca. Are you gonna? All right, Jenny and Greg. Oh, Greg is out, okay. You want to continue, Jenny? Okay, we're going to count and call it down. Awesome. Got Rebecca at 50. Great. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And there's Joe. Hello, Joe. Hi, Joe. Start picking these up. Thank you, Jenny. What are we talking about? Nude nudes. Somebody's got new pictures. And remember, everyone, Jill will invoice you. Yes, I will. We'll give you a, I'll give you the email address in case you want to contact her. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, everyone that was bidding. Thank you, Jen. Okay. All right. 
Now I have a very, very cool um, vintage ring that's coral and sterling silver. And let me let you see it. That's cool. Isn't that that's beautiful? Whoops, sorry. And that's a lot of silver. Yes, it's a lot of silver. It's a stone. Let me weigh it here. Has uh, Jill bought anything from you before? Or uh, Rebecca? I think maybe she has. I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. It's terrible. It's uh, just over 16 grams. It is a piece of coral. And I want to start this at um, 35. You can see all the squirrel work on it, all the design. Oh, the size, that's a good, good thing to find out. I did not clean it because I didn't want to damage the natural patina on it. What I mean, I cleaned, cleaned it. Pardon me? What was the size again? Yeah. Let's see. I didn't write that down. Eight or something. I think it is an eight. Donna. Let's see her ring sizer here. Do you, where's your ring sizer? I lost it when I moved. I haven't bought a new one yet. See if that fits. All right. Donna's going to check. It fits my pinky, so it's probably a seven. Okay. I think it's, to me, it's seven a little a bit half. large for a seven. I think seven and a half. Yeah, maybe seven and a half. Let me switch over to this camera. Download one from the web, and I still haven't done that either. I just thought it was so cool. You can see the the variegation in the coral. It is real coral. Sterling silver, beautiful ring. It is, you know, chunky. And I think it, it makes, looks... makes me think of cowboys. Yeah. Like the whole thing looks like a, a saddle. And then mm -hmm. you kind of got a rope around the uh, the hat section. You know, it looks like a hat sticking up in the middle. Yeah, a little bit. I, um, to me, it looks kind of renaissance. Medieval. Yeah, medieval. See the design is all, not all the way around, not to this part. It has a very small 925 stamp in there. I don't know that you'll see it, but it is. There's no, oh, okay, Marilyn's in at 42. And there were no initials or names or anything? No, there aren't. I think it, I think this is a Native American piece. A vintage Native American or antique almost. 
Who are you fighting, Marilyn? Yes, it would definitely give you the upper hand in a fist fight. <laughs> And maybe an assault charge too. Yeah. <laughs> With a deadly weapon. <laughs> it could maybe be considered like a brass knuckle or something. Yeah, very well could. But it's very artistic. Well, that's a nice color. That's like a orangish red, right? Yes, it is a a, cor a coral stone. Completely real natural since a you know the coral isn't like translucent so there is no hole on the inside to um solid back there yeah okay Marilyn's at 50 we need five dollar increments please And Rebecca's out. Anybody else want to bid on this one? It's gorgeous. It's definitely one of a kind. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Well, you brought some pretty nice pieces with you. Yeah, thank you. An awful lot of silver. Yes, I have tons of silver. It's kind of my, um, it's something I enjoy collecting. Yeah. Although I never wore this piece. I, I haven't had it that long. Oops, excuse me. Let me turn it this way. That's the other side. It almost has like three initials right there at the top. I keep seeing GOP or something. Yeah. I thought yeah, those are those are kind of a class ring at the at the first. <laughs> yeah. It actually kind of looks like a bullhorns to me. Bullhorn, yeah. You know. No, it's um it's coral, Andrea. It's a coral nine two five. And we're sold. Oh, Andrea, you missed it. Uh, okay. She's gonna, to see, she's gonna get to see some more good pieces. Yep. Okay. So that one, Marilyn. Yay. For fifty. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have a, a very, I think, let me see which one this is. Yes. This piece is really neat, I think. Let me start over here. See you later, Rebecca. Okay. This is... I did not clean it completely because I wanted to, to show the patina on it. The stone is is pink, but on the back it says silver. Um, 
925 Jerusalem Sterling it says silver Sterling 925 and then Jerusalem on this side let me move over to the other well I might be able to show something here it is a pendant or you know a necklace okay uh, what are you gonna start at um I'm gonna start this at 30. whoops there we go there we go it's very intricate Is nine three five nine three five Judy's in for 30. Thank you. Let's go back over to the other camera. They were pretty chatty on the back of that pendant. Yes, you normally don't get to see that much information. Huh? Yeah, I mean, is it like a Star of David? No, I guess it's not a Star of David, but I thought it might have some sort of, the Jerusalem made me think it was religious, but yeah. maybe not. Oh, well, I'm sure there's some meaning in there if you can read it. That stone is pink. And it's very multifaceted. Yes. And then... There it is from the side. And then the back. Are there Pokemon glasses and jelly jars behind you? <laughs> there could be. I don't remember seeing them. Well, you didn't see them. I, I got them. Um, who's asking? Carl. Yes. He Hi, saw Thelma. me. Good to see you come in. Hi, Thelma. He's asking uh, because he saw me find them at the thrift oh, store yesterday. Thrift store. All right. Yeah. You going to sell them here shortly? Um, I wasn't going to, but I might since we'll see how late we go. Now, this stone is pink. I, I'm, I don't know how to make it show more true to color. Let me try another light here. Well, Carl says if you're going to do it, you better do it soon. Okay. Why is he leaving? Yeah. Okay. We got Greg at 56. We need 61, Marilyn. And I did say this says 935 on the back. Yep. 925. 925. And like I said, I. I went over it very gently with the polishing cloth, but it hasn't seen any harsh cleanser or I, not that I use harsh, but I just wasn't sure how it would come out inside. And I liked the patina look of it. Yeah. The darker areas. Yeah. And it'd be a real bear getting it out of the little area. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why it's designed that way. It's designed to be darker in there. Let me go back to this camera. There, it shows a little more pink. It's marked silver, sterling, Jerusalem, and nine three five is that is that good amy wait, wait, wait. i know amy asked to see the back sure you got it Did you weigh this one by chance? I don't remember. No, I haven't. 
can I do with that? Uh, seven point two zero grams. Oh yeah. Thank you, Donna. Show them the back. You can go way up close with that so they can really see it. There you go. Okay, Jill, you need to grow another arm. Mm. <laughs> Is it Argento? Argento silver. So it is um, is nine three five silver. I've never heard of nine three five. I've only heard of nine two five. But it's a sterling on it, right? Yeah, it says sterling silver, and it oh. says nine three five. Silver comes in a lot of different. Uh, yeah, it's more pure than nine nine point two five. Nine point three five would be what more. 935 parts silver yeah, compared to 925. 93%. Yeah. It is a, an antique piece. All right. We have Marilyn at 61. Anybody else coming in? You're going to shut her down. Okay, looks like Saxton might know what she's talking about. Nine three five is Argentium silver. Yeah. Thank you, Saxton. Thank well, you, thank Carl. you, Sylvia. It's a beautiful piece. You can see on it would the size. Did I see a measuring tape in here? Let me see if I did. Yeah, with the top, it's an inch and a half. Thank you, guys. Ah, learning a lot about... And how much did it sell to Maryland for? 61. 61. Okay. You ready to slide in here, Donna? If you're ready. Yeah, I am. Um, Kathy said thank you for the silver information. What was the silver information? Well, because it's marked 935. They, it contains a larger amount of pure silver, depending on its grade. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, are you going to do the Pokemon glasses, please, he's saying. Okay, I'll have to go get them. He's so. going to leave for the airport. Carl, we'll still be on when you get back, probably. <laughs> we're going to be on all day. Yeah, I'll do them later, Carl. Can you? Are you going to be promise, back later, I, Carl? I promise I won't let her show them until... You're back. You're back. He's like, I'm leaving soon. He wants them. He's like jonesing for them. Do you want to just do them for him? I got to go get them out of the car. Oh, they're in the car. Yeah. She, she put them away, Carl. She put them in the car. Yeah, they were going home. on eBay. She wants to put them on eBay. He wants to. Yes, Lindsay, number six for Donna. I don't know. All of her crap is all over the place, so I don't know oh, what please. number I'm on. <laughs> please. Yes, I did borrow your table. You're right. No, it's fine. Well, it's, he's going to be fine. gone for three hours, so you have to wait that long. Okay. We'll be on. We'll still be on. Sure. Be on. 
Ebion, that's what that was. Denali had um, a speech problem when he was a baby, and he, when I just said he'll, we'll be on, it reminded me of he used to have his own language and he used to say, Ebion, Ebion, and Ooh. that used to mean leave the light on. <laughs> Ebion, Ebion, and just when I just said it to her, we'll be on, it reminded me of those days. <laughs> Ebion, so cute. Baby talk. <clears throat> Speech therapist. Uh, he was going to go to college saying, I need a tubby. <laughs> I know, Shelly, but marathons only last four hours. What? Yeah. Don't you watch these marathon runners? They're done in just over three hours, you know? <laughs> no. We're staying on. We're not. We already decided we're working all day today. Today's a work day. We went out for a little rendezvous yesterday. Today's work all day. All right, somebody's going to have to call me in some pizza then. Right? <laughs> I just made some uh, frozen raviolis just to, like, snack on. Mm. Not a marathon. Just got to do the pickup at the airport. Carl, go do the pickup, honey. I promise you we won't show them. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. We'll be here. Go we'll ahead. still be go on. We're, uh, we're on for the long haul. Carl's like, Pizza? Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza broadcast until 10 p.m.? Hmm, maybe. What? God knows you brought enough stuff to be able to go on until 10 o'clock, <laughs> right? I mean, what's And if she it? runs out of her... No anchovies, Shelly. Please, no anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> and if she, uh, and if she uh, runs out of her stuff, she can show my stuff. Yeah. Can you, can you pass me that big bucket of books right there? I'm going to do um, a lot of children's books, you guys. I just put them together. That's what all that ruscus was. Um, <clears throat> so I'll put the second camera on. We'll start these at $30. Shipped is the start on them. And I'll show you what I have, and I'll pile them up on the table. Um, most of these books are new. I did find some that had some writing in them. Look, your favorite, Schreiker. My favorite? I thought it was a fan favorite. <laughs> it was Denali's favorite. Okay. Um, so I bought a whole bunch of these books a long time ago. I have about two huge cases left of them, um, different ones. <clears throat> they were like leftover from the book fair, you know, that they have at the, at the schools. So, okay. Good, good night, Curious George. What did you say on the start? $30 start. $30. It's approximately 18 pounds of books. Dr. Seuss, ABC. Um, Susie Zoo, Rainy Day Friends. Here's a Disney Winnie the Pooh, Home Sweet Home, number four. My kids had these books. There was the whole entire um, series of them, but that one's just Ho for a Hat. That's an interesting book. Um... Here are some good summer summer reading stuff. This is the Common Core uh, workbook and phonics. I think they've gotten rid of the Common Core, though, haven't they? Have they stopped trying to teach our children that craziness? Um, first grade activities. It's fancy pinks. Fancy pinks would know. Um, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Um, look what I can do. It's a older style Sesame Street book. Here's a first grade subtraction book. I don't believe I was doing subtractions in first grade, but I don't know. This is a portable file word walls. And I just noticed the price on this one is $9.95. That's crazy. It's a Scholastics books. Where's Frank? Does he have his fire truck? Big Frank's fire truck. Yeah, Frank left for a while. Scooby-Doo and the Pizza Prowler. He might be watching from the storage unit. No, he, he, Jim G. He, wasn't, he wasn't going today. Oh, he wasn't going today? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Welcome to Florida, Jim G. It's a, sh it's a sharing day. Um, whose mouse are you? Wildcats, a fold out book. Uh, 
Ah, oh, there goes my stream. Let's see if I can enter it back. Isn't it funny? My older phone doesn't do that, and my new one does. So weird. It heats up. Well, it's made of four hours, so it's not terrible. No, it's fallen out twice. It used to do it every hour. After an hour, it'd be gone. And it's only, fro it's only froze up a couple times, so it's doing better today. Is that? It should be doing better, like, every day. It's a brand new phone. Well, it's not like you paid ten thousand dollars for it or anything. Close to it. <laughs> Very close to it. I'm gonna leave it unplugged for a little while. Yeah. And see what happens. All right, let's go back. We might have to deal with the whisper a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it unplugged. Um, here's another Dr. Seuss the tooth book. Um, how about a little Paw Patrol, Holiday Helpers, and here is a Hello Kitty paint with water. Cute. Um, Happy Birthday Coloring and Activity Book, Sesame Street. This is Felicity's Cookbook. Um, next, we have clothespins and crafts. La Mariposa, Scholastics. I don't believe it's Spanish. I think it's just Disney Bambi. I wonder why lemons taste sour. Robin Hill School, number one snow day. Sophie and the Bad Rat. Here's an old Dennis the Menace. Duck for President. Sounds like a good idea. Buncula? Bunnycula? How do you send it? How do you say that? Bunnycula? Endangered animals. Bunnycula. Sunset. Of the saber tooth. It's a magic tree house book. Magic tree house again, 27th uh, Thanksgiving. A and Z mysteries. Another, I think, probably, nope, it's not a scholastics. A to Z mysteries again. Thanks, Katty. Oh, here's another one of those. I don't know if it's the same exact one, but how to do homework without throwing up. Here is a dog man. Here's a ghost eye. Pirates of past new magic tree house. Magic tree house dinosaurs before dark. Here's a little Archie book. Here's a super narwhal and jelly jolt. Disney Princess Tales, Disney All Around the Farm, Little Baby Mickey, Oh Boy, Boston, it's a book about Boston, Phonics, this goes with those leap pads, I Can Read, Number Two, Dirt on My Shirt, How full is your bucket? So scholastics. Disney Lady and the Tramp. I don't do peas. I love peas. Frog and Toad together. Almost done, you guys. Is there any interest? You Not guys yet. just squish super. Um, how do you say that word? Um, um, I can't see it anymore. <laughs> Super amoeba. Amoeba. Okay. <clears throat> Jake and Drake, know it all. The big one O. The big one O. A through Z mysteries. Hot D's. Hello, my friend. Eagle, 
down. This one is like brand new. It doesn't even look like it's been open. Who was John F. Kennedy? This one's brand new too. Dragon Masters. This one feels brand new. Also, Haunted Hayride. Ready, Freddy, second grade. Fox investigates, investigates a web of lies. Skylanders universe. And to wrap it up, we have the extremely L.Y. funny joke book. Oh, Carl needs this one. He may have wrote that one. What did the writer get after doing the tough course in the rain? An obstacle. <laughs> what do big mountain snowboarders call December to February? What do big mountain snowboarders call December to February? Peak season. What do bikers call their annual scrapbooks? Gear books. <laughs> That's right. Those are Carl jokes. Those are Carl jokes. <laughs> For sure, those are Carl jokes. I should keep that here at my desk so when he tells a joke, I can read one out of the book. <laughs> the perfect time for pandas. Disney Mickey Scout takes a trip. And last but not least, we have an animal planet, Ocean Animals. That's it, folks. It's about 18 pounds worth of books. Uh, thanks, Jim. Yeah, we are. We're going to keep going, too. Okay, Jim, go out and do another one. Or go fishing. We'll be here when you get back. Promise. <laughs> All right, we got Pat D's at 30, no other interest. Oh, teacher approved books. Yep. They are. Anybody who uh, lists on eBay, kids or parents are going to be looking for these for summer reading. Yeah, I mean, most of them are scholastics from the book fair. Going once, going twice. Hi, Heidi. Last call. Looks like Mr. Pat Dees is going to get the bundle of books. Right. We're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Not quite. Now we are. Mr. Pat D's. Thank you, Pat. $30 for the box. All right. Waiting to see what I found. What? Hold on. I don't know what I did with that. What are you looking for? Yes. Yes. All right. I found some pulp. Fantastic Mysteries. 25 cents. Where are you going to start these? August 1952. Um, let's start these at... Let's start them at 30. Pulp Magazine. They're pretty awesome. This so one what, is. Uh, what was the year of that first one? Um, this one was 1952. 52. This one, yes, Erica, I'm going to do them, promise. October 1952, Fantastic Mysteries. The Bat Flies Low. Oh, go back down there. 
Who was that? Sax Romer that wrote that one? What's that? Who wrote that? Um. No. Yeah, Sax Romer. Okay. Yeah, he was very popular. Sax Romer. Yeah. Know. He wrote a lot of mysteries. But this one's in excellent condition. The binding. Look at. Look at. You can see the. Um, 1947. E. F. Dimson wrote horror. This one is 1949. Ah, now the good covers. Elmer wrote this one. Do you know Elmer? <laughs> I don't know Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, the drama. This one is The Machine Stops Before I Wake, March 1945, right after the war. Look at this guy. No, don't take her. Please, she's mine. I'll do anything. <laughs> don't take her away. KP's in for 30. Did you get coffee? No, I don't. I made myself some tea. Can you refill? What? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you okay? Yep. Um, June 1945. Oh, boy. Octopus. Octopus attack. Weren't you talking about that earlier? I was talking about octopuses. Yeah. I was? Beginning of the show. What was I saying about octopuses? <laughs> the fishing boat that went out. What movie was that you were talking about earlier? We were talking about octopuses. We were Didn't talking an octopus about... get them? <laughs> no. I don't know what got them. I don't know what made them get those. That's it. We don't know what got them. It could have been an octopus. <laughs> I don't think they have octopuses in, in uh, the northern waters. Do you? Uh, I don't know. Octopuses live in warm water. They don't have octopuses right. up there. I know they have giant squids out there. Why not a giant octopus? I don't know. I know that they have giant squid, but let me tell you something where they have incredible octopus and it's like a staple in the diet and we, we would have it like almost every single day is in the Mediterranean Sea oh, yeah? between Sicily and Italy. Yeah, yeah. the Mediterranean like is loaded with octopus. Is it good? Bad? Oh, are you kidding? Me? Oh, you liked it then. Okay. Oh, God. My husband makes octopus unbelievable. You boil it and then you make it with um, garlic and olive oil and fresh parsley and lemon and you make like a cold salad with it. Hmm. O-M-G. We usually do it, it's because it's kind of pricey. We usually do it like um, Christmas, New Year's, you know, special occasions. We do octopus. Yeah, KP, it's not quite calamari. We love calamari too, but um, we do. Why would, it, why would it be so expensive if it's there's so much of it out there? I don't know if you can get it in these waters. It's imported. You have to import it. But not from very far away. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's more. I think it's more of a like Mediterranean fish. It's just like. Um, I grew up eating sea urchins too. Yeah. Sea urchins from the Mediterranean. They don't. Um, <laughs> Are you ready to sell tea? <laughs> Are you coming on, honey? Sicily was cool, great food. So we would walk down like the boardwalk, like downtown, like the boardwalk, and the Mediterranean would be on the right. And you know, you walk arm in arm, you get all dressed up, and just all little cafes and shops and restaurants. And the fishermen would literally pull up onto like the docks and they would have these big, huge buckets of, they're called the lychee. Camille, are you in the chat? Or Edgefrida? No, Edgefrida would know more. Edgefrida would know about this. And they have, they wear uh, mesh gloves, like made out of metal. And because the, the sea urchins are all spines. Right. And they, 
pick up the sea urchin and they chop, 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 chop all the spines off of it, then give it a chop in the middle, scrape it up, and then serve it to you like right there on the dock. Right there on the dock, like 25 cents each. And they serve you and they serve you the sea urchin and you suck it down. OMG. I grew up, this is how I grew up. And I used to think to myself, if my friends in the United States could see me now, they'd be like, what the F, Donna? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Because when I would go to Italy, I would just turn completely Italian. And, you know, when in Rome, do like the Romans. Well, when in Sicily, do like the Sicilians. It was pretty awesome. It was a pretty awesome way to grow up. Let me tell you something. It was really awesome. Okay. This one here is 1948, and oh boy, she's uh, pretty risque there. Yeah, that's what these covers are known for. Some good authors there too, Murray Leinster. Lindsay Ann is throwing up. Oh my yeah. gosh, Lindsay <laughs> Ann. I love all, I, I, eat, I eat all food, all food. Raw seafood. There's the only thing that I won't eat or drink is milk. I hate milk. But other than that, I eat everything else. Uh, Camille says never had sea urchins. All right. Well, I'm going to start questioning your Italian heritage. Sorry, Camille. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my God. This is what your dream, this is what your nightmares are made yeah, out of. Look at yeah. that. Oh my gosh. What is he? City, City of the Dead. City of the Dead. Holy cow. 1948. 1948 again. Well, that's a better cover. The Lion's Way. She's beautiful. She's like burning at the stake. No, I think she's coming up out of the flame. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. What in the world? Look at this guy. This one is from 1949. Jill, did you cut this guy's hair? <laughs> joking. Which never one? mind. No, never mind. No, don't don't be saying it. that. She's cutting yours next. <laughs> she doesn't. Yeah, yours is next. She doesn't need to see that. I was only saying. joking. Uh, a Merritt, he's very popular. Okay, this one is 1948. Your camera's too close. Oh, oh, no. My camera's too close? She's having a nightmare, isn't she? Yeah, what is that dog doing, right? What is that dog doing? And last but not least is this one from 1948, and it is some guy's ugly hand. Does he have something growing out of his hand? Look at how they no, couldn't. That's a, that's a skull. The spider's coming out of the eye sockets, and the skull is holding the woman, and he's telling it to stop. Wait a minute. Tell that story again. Uh, I can't. It's a skeleton. There's spiders coming out of the eyes. And it's holding a woman in one hand. And this guy's telling it to stop. I know, but I'm talking about the ugliness of this hand. What's in the hand? Let's see. There's another picture in there if you can figure out what it is. What is up with that hand? It doesn't look normal. Like there's something in there. Yeah. Is it uh, a how many were there? Did you count them? No, I didn't count them. I'll count them now. There's um, one, two, three, four, 
four, five, six. Up to the end. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> seven, eight. What's that say? Oh, well, that's what I was trying to figure out. Mev Tech? Uh, I don't know. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And twelve. There's twelve in the nineteen forties and fifties, is that right? Yeah, forty seven and forty eight. The spines are really nice on them, you guys. Look at that. Yeah, they do look good. Very good looking. I mean some of the fronts of them have a little bit of tatter here and there, but look at the spines on those. They're gorgeous. They weren't made to last very long made out of very cheap paper bye carl bye carl drive safely honey okay we have frank at 55 anybody else I promise i won't sell any gift certificates while you're gone <laughs> do you really promise that <laughs> yeah i promise that <laughs> Okay, we're going to count her down. So nice, co nice covers in there. There's KJ. Ooh, KJ. KJ comes in. All right, I'm going to do close next to Erica. I know you've been waiting patiently, honey. And I don't know if Sharon is here. Was Sharon here at East Coast? She also likes clothes. I haven't seen her. Frank's back at 65. <laughs> Yeah, Eric has had to wait four and a half hours to see clothing. Erica, go take a break. They take a break. She's not been on break. Oh, she's been on break <laughs> for four and a half hours. Erica, wait a minute. Oh, Erica. Oh, I'm thinking Lindsay Ann when I said Erica. Lindsay oh. Ann. No, we've been on four and a half hours. Lindsay Ann, if you want to go take a break, honestly. She knows. You've got if you've got things to do, I don't expect you to. Um, why has Erica been on break for four and a half hours? Been waiting on clothes. Uh, I'm sure she's been listing and working the whole time. That woman's a hustler. Well, I don't know if that sounds very good, but she works hard, I'm sure. Don't sleep on these days. On these guys, yeah. You're okay, Lindsay? Okay, honey. Thank you. She just didn't like you saying you were going till midnight, so. Oh. I told her you weren't going to do that. Well, I mean, don't, you know. You you'll, never know. You'll, get, you'll get tired before then. You know that. Well, you know, I got Jill here. I can very easily look at she's putting my linens <laughs> back in the linen closet. <laughs> I've got one here. I can uh, I can very easily go lie down for twenty minutes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so late. I didn't realize you guys were being on this long all day, KJ. All day, honey. All day marathon. Midnight West Coast. Oh my. Kyle. Kyle, I found something I added to your lot today when I was digging. What, what was the last thing Kyle bought? Uh, the dolphin stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A month ago. That's been a while. And you haven't shipped that out yet? What are no, you because I needed to buy packing noodles. I only got one of, you know, the pool noodles. He bought pictures. Yeah. And I, I, when I went to the store, they only had one of the um, noodles, and I used it to ship out Don's th things. And I, and I finally just bought two more um, pool noodles. 
because that's how I ship out my frames is with pool noodles. Do you, you buy know? them at the dollar store? I think they've had them before. Yeah, but you know, you know what my problem is is I never leave here. Yeah. There's, I go days and days without leaving this cottage. Do you like? Do you realize that? Like, I probably should order my stuff on Amazon. If I leave here, it's like to go drive my daughter to the gym and then get right back because I'm on with tea and I'm like rushing to get back, or I run to the supermarket and run back. So I finally, finally got some pool noodles, and um, I got to send out his order. And that talking. Um, dolphins thing frank is at a hundred ding 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 goals 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 is it yeah my paypal has been for the same forever pet d's i've never changed it were you looking to pay for the books in advance i think that's what he's saying is that why you're asking But he does know you like to invoice. He always pays ahead. Okay, Pat, I'm going to be selling some stuff at Christmas. You could pay ahead if you like. Right? Send some over. All right. $100 to Mr. Frank. Frank Perez. Perez. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, darling. Okay, going to get the clothes. Are these the extra smalls and mediums? Yeah, these are still from that same Ralph Lauren Tommy Hill figure lot. Um, I have a few left. I'm going to um, roll out. Let's start bidding at $25 on this lot, and we'll see how many pieces I put in it. $25 start. Okay. These are brand new. Just the tags have been taken off of them. Um, these are a nice looking pair. These are Ralph Lauren, size two. She's ever kids like everybody go take a break. These are beautiful. They're dark, dark wash. These are the start. This is called Tweeds. It's a size medium. It's an argyle. Pretty colors, the blue and the green. And it's also a size medium. Next we have Tommy Hill figure size small. It's a striped cotton shirt. Brand new. New without tags. You can just touch them that they've never been washed. Now these look like they've been washed, but maybe it's like the way they are. It could be. Loren Jeans Company, size four. They're pinstriped. I had a pair of pinstriped jeans I absolutely loved. Um, here's a long sleeve cotton shirt, size small. Here is a Size mm, size small, Loren Jean Company, with the big logo on it. Thanks, Pat D's. Thank you so much. Nice cotton shirt, the nice embroidered lo logo on that. Here is a pair of black label, Ralph Loren. Black jeans, size two.
excellent condition. And here is, you don't have to check any of these for holes or anything, you guys, because these are all brand new. Um, size two, Loren. These are really pretty. They're high-waisted with the um, three buttons. Let me show you the buttons on them. Very classic. <clears throat> High-waisted jeans. They're really pretty. Um, next we have Loren again, size small with the buttons on the top, purple and black, purple with black. These are a, I think, stretch, yes, stretch cotton, and they are a size two. These are so pretty. They've got the, the rivets. Remember my rivet story? <laughs> and that's a, a little different closing right there too, right? The way they close? Yeah. They're classy. How pretty that is. Yep. Those are a really pretty classy pair of jeans. Well, they're not really jeans. They're like... You could use those for dress up or or dress down. They're nice. They're good looking. This is a pair of um, black. They've got stretch in them. They are Ralph Lauren again. And these have a different kind of closure too. Let's see if I can get this figured out. Hold on. Second, can you hear the air conditioner? Yes, not, not much, not much. They've got those pretty mm, shiny flaps, yeah, they're brand new in the pockets, and they also have cargo pockets on the side that you can access with the snap on the side of the pants. So it's a dual pocket. So you can put your phone in that pocket on the side or you can put your phone on that side, but they're, yeah, they're cargo, they're cargo pants. And they have a stretch on them. They're brand new and they're a size two. And they've got the nice wide upper band Oh, and then on the bottom, they have snaps, so you can tighten them if you want to on the bottom, if you want to tuck them into boots. Or they look a little wide, wider down there, aren't they, than normal? No, they don't. Okay, no. No, they're not wide. I think that snap is there so that if you want to tighten them, up. tighten them up so that you can slip them into a boot if you're wearing boots. So these are pretty. That's a pretty pair. And the, it's like a nice brushed cotton. This is a denim. And these look like they've been washed. Size two. Unless it's the way they're supposed to be. They might be like, you know, that stone wash type of stuff. And here we have Loren... Chain company size two again. I don't know how many pairs of jeans this woman needed, but obviously a lot because there's so many. And those have those famous Donna rivets on them. <laughs> those rivets right there is what caused all that damage. Car scratchers. Car scratchers. <laughs> Don't wear these pants and lean up against a brand new paint job on a car, whatever you do. Yeah, Donna rivets. 
Virginia asks, Donatella, who gets paid, eBay or me, from PayPal? I sold something on eBay and the people buying from me doesn't know. So they need to pay eBay. What do you mean they don't know? They have to pay the bill. They should have, they pay eBay and then you have to link a bank account to your eBay account for managed payments for you to get paid. Did I answer that correctly? Yeah, uh, people can still pay PayPal, but that money goes to eBay and then eBay pays you. I still pay through PayPal, but it goes through eBay first. I don't know about the, from me, he doesn't know part though. And yeah. For me, doesn't Is it know. Is it a brand new, Virginia, is it a brand new uh, eBay account? Show those last ones again. See the back again. I just did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it a brand new eBay account, Virginia? And did you list something really expensive? Because that's what, um, that's what, um, trolls and thieves look, look look for they look for brand new accounts that will go on and list something that's like two three hundred dollars fifty dollars even um yeah it sounds like you might be getting trolled yeah don't don't worry about any of that ebay will pay you don't worry about the rest of it yeah i'm thinking if you listed something and it's a lot of money you might be getting th trolled and they might be trying to convince you to do something you shouldn't be doing. So don't do anything. Yes. See? Yeah, Virginia, that's like the worst thing you can do. No, it's just a toy. Okay. Um, but don't, don't listen to emails or anything. Anything you need to know will be in your eBay account. Yeah. Only, only go to your eBay account. What's that? eBay will tell you when they pay. Yeah, eBay will tell you when they paid, and that will give you that. You won't get any information to ship their item until eBay. Don't ship their item until eBay tells you to ship their item. And don't communicate with them on Messenger as far as, like, your, uh, if your address, your phone number, you know, none of that stuff. Like, don't – everything has to go through eBay. Okay. Well, that's a weird question. Did you look to see if they're regular eBay buyers or how many, how many, um, feedback? Yeah. Feedback they have. What does that say? Loren. Hmm. Very and, not. Yeah. They look like something you'd wear on a boat. They have the cargo pockets on the side. They have all these wonderful. Um, I think they missed an opportunity, though. They could have put an octopus on there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or tuna. Sure. They used to go tuna fishing, not octopus fishing. Tuna fishing. Ooh, nothing like fresh tuna right out of the water. So delicious. Here is Donna Karen, New York, size 25. All brand new. Okay. So. That's a this lot of jeans. Is, yeah, it's a lot of jeans. It's going to have to go out in two bundles. All right. So this is what you get. You get, this is a massive reseller lot, folks. Massive. I'm going to count them for you. I think I got a little out of hand showing them. One. Two, 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten pairs of pants. And then one, two, three, four, and five. Five shirts. Ten pants, five shirts. And Cat D is at 50. Thank you, Cat D. Erica is at 55. Thank you, Erica. We'll add in one more pair of jeans for good luck. Tommy Hill figure. It's 11 pairs of pants, five shirts. Andrew's at 60. Thank you, ladies. Cat D is out. Andrea is at 60. Miss Erica, let us know. Awesome, you guys. 98 of you here. Thank you so much for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. You guys rock. Rock and roll. Please don't forget to go over and give a thumbs up on the video. Andrea's out. Erica comes in at 65. A lot of people have been hanging out for five hours. I know. It's awesome. I love you guys. 98 right now. Because if you're watching in the background and you want to register, it doesn't cost anything. Just ask that you please put your name, address, and zip code. And your phone number on the registration form. Only 10 more to go. What is she talking about? 10 more hours? <laughs> uh, to get to 111. Huh? To get to 111, maybe. I don't know. Oh, to get to 111. Oh, you've got... Um... Thank you, Thrifty Hooky. Thank you for being here. That would be awesome to get to 111. We used to always hover around 111. Okay. Yes, Virginia, just let eBay take care of it, darling. Hello, Karen. Welcome in. Hi, Karen. Okay, let's do some precious moments. This is um, Sweet Inspirations by Anetsko. Do you have your YouTube pulled up? My what? Your YouTube. Yes, Thrifty Hokey needs a wrench. Oh, okay. 
Thank you for checking. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Erica. Okay. Precious moments starting at? We're going to start this lot at 30 $30. There's that little plate. There's... See if we can see what year that is. 2000 even. What do you keep in there? What is that? A little pillbox or a little, oh, maybe for rings? Rings? I don't know. These are those items that, um, you know, they're from years ago, but if somebody had one of these and they're dear, you know, 1997, and they were, you know, something very dear that their mother or, you know, someone gave to them and it broke, they're going to turn to um, eBay to try to find them. So although to you, they appear to be like, oh, precious moments, whatever. To someone, someone's looking for this stuff. Someone is definitely looking for this stuff. Saxton, you just sit down and be quiet. Retract your message right now. <laughs> I'm joking. Saxton, <laughs> you have every right to be like, throwing up right now because you hate precious moments <laughs> here's a little happy birthday flower pot fine if you show media all right i'll go into the back room and see what i have for media huh i saw a big tub of it you yeah there is a big tub but it hasn't been i haven't gone through it so i don't even know like I have to like, well, I can go through it live, I guess. But don't carry that big tub out. Maybe just put a little um, smaller bucket. Or I'll go get it. I'm not asking you to get it. Sit down, sit down. I'm not asking you to get it. I don't know what you're saying. You know my hearing is so bad. I'm not saying it out loud. I don't want to sound like Pokemon. You don't want to sell the Pokemon glasses? Okay. Well, we'll just tell him that you're going to list them. Yeah. He's, a, he's, he's a reseller. He knows. Yeah. God danced the day you were born. You are loved. You are beautiful. You are a gift of God. This is a, a January piggy bank, but it's missing the, um, this is 1996, I guess. It's missing the, it's dirty too. It's a little Precious Moments pig, I guess. And it says count your blessings in it. to have and to hold. I'm gonna go through these and check that the CDs are in there. Oh, you will? Yeah. You're a good friend. Thank you. Country Lane. Thank you, Lindsay. All right, we still need a $30. There we go, Kim D's in for 30.
a nice big lot. It is. All right. That is a nice lot. My daughter put this all up here. She did a good job. Oh my. She did this whole display up uh -huh. there. She did but a I good mean, job. That's... She's gonna be upset when she comes back and sees that I sold it. That is so cool. Timmy's gift. There you have it. That's the whole lot. I guess I can put this in that too. I don't know if this is precious moments. It says a Nensco. Really? You're not even supposed to put thank you notes in a media? No, nothing. Really? Karen's at the beach. Hi, Karen's at the beach. Welcome in, honey. Wow, I didn't know that you were. Did you know that, Jill? And like in uh, media mail, you're not even supposed to put um, no. How about if I use like, how about if I use like a box that says like, uh, uh, Dunkin' Donuts on it. Hey, Joy Munkin. Hi, honey. Welcome in. Hi, Fancy. What if I use a box that says Dunkin' Donuts on it um, or creamer on it to wrap a bundle of records? That'd probably be fine. You think that'd be fine? Yeah. What difference is there if it's a cardboard box that says uh, creamer on it and a note that says thank you for your purchase even on the box itself mama girl i think the box can be you know whatever just the contents has to be media though mama girl says no advertising at all fancy pinks is out join mom and i didn't see you honey maybe you came in when um when i was uh taking a nap no, i'm joking been I here for a while i wasn't taking a nap Yeah, I never send comic books and I never send magazines. The only thing that I send media mail is um, <clears throat> my records. Yeah, I don't, and my, I don't think they say anything about the packaging itself that I've seen. Well, the content. you know, a lot of these movies, um, like, you know, like, you know, movies that you're sorting through right now. Don't they have advertisements in them to buy other movies? Isn't that considered advertisement? Like something like that would be okay? Yeah. An advertisement to buy, you know, another movie? 
Yeah, yeah, it would be. Huh? It would be. Is that the gray area? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> is it sealed or open? You know, if it's sealed, you have no idea what's in it, right? But if, if it's, it's open and you knew there was advertisement to buy something else, then yeah, that would be advertisement. Right. So you, would you so you get in trouble for that? Well, technically, I think you would. Oh, come on. See, Kat thinks you're getting too technical, too. Yeah, see, Mama Girl, I, I don't think the outside of the box is uh, is even mentioned in the USPS. I'm just making conversation. I know. I'm not getting technical. I'm just wondering, like, what the gray area is. Because you yeah. know how there's a gray area, like, to a lot of different things? Everything. Everything has a gray area, right? Yep. It's inside the DVD box. Yeah. Franklin Hill's like, all right, you guys, you know what? Everybody just chill out, relax. All right, here comes Bolo Buddies. Yeah, I'm really in trouble. Donuts. I need some donuts, Joe. <laughs> donuts. Now we're really in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are here. <laughs> the cops are here. Bolo. Some of the movies have um, advertisements in them. So what do you do? Open them up and take the advertisements out so you don't break the law? Bolo, is that what you do? Of course, you know, all movies have advertisement on the disc, you know? Yeah. Yes, so Bolo. Movies. So. No, never heard of that. Have you come across a DVD there with an advertisement in it yet? Just you know, to buy problem. other movies? <laughs> Every one of them. She has she's looking through the movies right now. She's Bolo says she's never heard of that. You've never opened up a DVD and there's a pamphlet on the side that says, like Walt Disney also presents, you know, this, this, and this movie. Isn't that considered an advertisement? Yep. Okay, Kim D, we're calling it down if you want to come back in. Like sometimes just dust jackets for books that have advertisements for other books. That's okay. Oh, Kim D's out. Okay. Sorry. Same with music records often have advertisements for other records. And that's okay too. Oh, Brad Boy. Brad Boy, you playing the policeman right now? <laughs> or are, are you the policeman right now? <laughs> hmm. No, that can't go media. No, that can't go media. Mm -mm. No nope. way. That is such a pretty picture, isn't it? With all that pretty stuff in it. I love it. Looks so pretty. All right, if you say so. No, I'm not big into precious moments. Oh, here's Susan, the real postal worker. There you go. I would call the post office. Yeah, you would call the post office, Courtney. I'm not calling the post office. I'd call Susan. She, she, she doesn't even clarify it. You only need to worry if they inspect it. <laughs> Trust me, unless the contents are leaking or squishing or rattling, they have to really suspect when we inspect, we don't open movie or disc cases. And go. so there you have it. We are we assume there are media from the cases. Yeah. I I did get in trouble once though. I sent um I was shipping movies and I was shipping um gaming discs. And I was shipping the um the gaming discs in prior a priority box. I was, yeah, I was shipping, I was, so I was shipping the gaming disc in the priority box and we were shipping a whole bunch of stuff, like massive amounts of orders. And then I put the movies in the priority box. And then when I went to print the shipping label, I had forgotten that I put them in the priority box and I printed out a media label. And I got a letter from the post oh, yeah. office yeah. saying, do not use our priority boxes to ship media stuff with media labels. Yeah, most of the time they'll just charge the recipient the difference between media and priority. They didn't. 
Yeah. They didn't charge the recipient. They didn't charge me. They just sent me a letter and it just said your postmaster. How long ago was that? Months and months and months ago. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Long, long time ago. But it was an honest mistake because I was shipping so much stuff that I just was like, yeah. we were like working like a, uh, you know, factory. Well, I mean, all of your labels has your ID on it. So they know if it's something you do a lot of, you know. Oh, yeah. You absolutely. did it one time out of a thousand. They're not going to. Yeah. yeah. In all of the time that I've been shipping, um, so ship I've been ship I've been doing this for three years. I've probably gotten charged for under postage rate, which I think it used to happen to me more with PayPal than it than it does with Pirate Ship. I think I've gotten charged for under postage rate maybe in three years, maybe five times, maybe in five times. Um, I've gotten credited for paying too much for postage, like maybe about four or five times. I always thought that was a myth that they'd give you your money back if you paid too much. No. Like, I know I've done it plenty of times and I've never seen no, it. No, I've gotten money back yeah. that it, they've said you paid too much for the postage and they give me my money back. That's great. And, um, and then there was that one letter that, you know, I used the wrong box for, yeah. and then I don't know. Have you guys ever called to get the priority tape? You have to call them. It's not available on the website. Not anymore. If, no, it's not anymore. Yeah. But you can call. You can call and you can request the priority tape. And um, yeah, see, Bolo Buddies has gotten money back quite a few times too. I can't say it's quite a few times. I wish I could say it was quite a few times. It's only been like maybe five times. Well, four I like times. To say it's never happened to me because I always pay the exact amount, you know. Oh. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, you know, that's what I like to say. Right. Um, but if you do call you guys, you call the number and the number that's provided under the um, shipping supplies is not a big nuisance to call. Like when you have to call about a problem with a tracking number or call your local um, post office, the, the supply number, they answer pretty quickly. It's, it's yeah. pretty good. They're, they're right on top of it, but you can order the tape, but they, they read you this big, huge, long disclaimer about how you're going to use this tape yep. and why you're going to use this tape and the penalty of law if you misuse the tape, meaning if you use it to like, if you're moving <coughs> and you, and you, um, excuse me, and you um, use it to pack up your boxes or something like that. Right. They make it like so official and then you have to like hold your hand up. You have to hold your hand up and you have to say, I so solemnly swear. I don't know what they make you do, but they make you do something. You know, where it's like, yes. <laughs> just yes. tape. Yeah. They're really protective of their tape. Right, Susan? Susan will tell you. They're super protective of their tape. Not so much their boxes. They don't care about the boxes. Local post offices are allowed detectives. If they're used, trying to charge shipping rates through pirate ship, local offices have no way to view commercial rates. So they don't even know what the F-U-C-K, no, what the contract between pirate ship and post office is. Yeah. Really, Susan? Yeah, that's interesting. They don't know what you paid pirate ship because they've already pirate ship has negotiated their own rates with the post office. Yeah, the bulk. Yeah, the bulk. So rate. if if you're printing, you know your own labels professionally, it, you're rarely going to have a problem with anything. If you're um, printing your own labels, yeah, at, at home, you know, on a thermal printer and all of that, you know, you're never going to have any problems. All I know is you guys using a professional service. So. Yeah, all I know is that I sh I sent um, I sent uh, Saxton a box, and the shipping on it was, and I paid the shipping. The shipping on it was 
astronomical. And I was kind of like at the mercy of the UPS office when I was there. The box was really heavy. I didn't want to bring it back home and try to like find a cheaper way or break it down into two. I just wanted to send it. And I sent it. And when I got home, I looked at the receipt and there was so many additional charges that they charged me at the UPS office. Just keep this in mind, you guys, when you're doing UPS. So there was so many additional charges. It was absolutely ridiculous. But if you print the label at home, right. it eliminates all of those. I, I think I paid like $40. I talked to you about it. Remember, Schreiker? I think I paid $40 extra on ground taxes, handling charges, store fee stuff. And I just sucked it up. I didn't have the energy that. And I told you how to even avoid, you know, the because on US UPS.com, I mean, you're getting a little bit better rate, but not a lot better than dropping them off at the store. I mean, if you go through Indicia or somebody, you get a lot better rate yet. Um, Kyle says comics have advertisements, so they're not supposed to ship those media mail. My post office person says that rule is dumb and wishes they would change it. Kyle, pay attention. We've already talked about comics. Where where did you go? Where where were you that when we were talking about comics? Yeah, no, comics can't go. Uh, magazines can't go. Comics can't go. Susan says I have a copy of the written di di uh, direct directive. Direct, direct, directive? Is that how you say it? Directive, yeah. Yeah, they are ignorant or just trying to catch short paids. No reason anymore. The automation is what catches that now, not the local level office. Yeah. What's the automation? The all the machinery, all the everything has to go through. Oh. It scans every package. It knows its dimensions. It knows its weight, and it knows what the label says. So yeah, that's what catches your underpaids. Yep. Um, Kyle says I'm watching soccer and picked up a pizza. Sorry, Kyle. I didn't mean to yell at you, honey. <laughs> Enjoy your pizza and watch soccer. I'm I'm so glad that you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Did you see the advertisement for the new kind of pirate ship that's out there now? Huh. Does it, did anybody see the advertisement? It came up on my um, Facebook advertisements and I clicked on it and it's a uh, bulk, um, yeah, soccer pizza and goals. It's a bulk rate cubic shipping company. I clicked on it for just a second and then I went off of it. Does anybody else know the name of it? I can't remember the name of it. Um, but it sounds like they're they have contracted with the United States Postal Service to do the bulk rate, you know, shipping rate um as well. Um well if they're just starting out, the rates probably aren't as good as what pirate ship gets, is pirate ship's been around a while. So they probably get a lot better rates than a new company would. I don't know. Maybe the post office is giving them the same rates and maybe they're going to add some extra perks and whistles or something to it. You know, there's it always... Sounds like Pirate Ship already does. Uh, Pirate lot, Ship, right? Yeah, Pirate Ship is awesome. Yeah. And it sounds like they do international really well. Yeah, they, they're they unbelievable, even with the international shipping. Oh, my God. I can't believe the rates that they can offer. It's crazy the rates that they can offer. I can't remember. I can't remember the name of the company. You guys, if anybody else has seen it in the chat, let me know. Let me just clear away the precious moments. Let me get a bucket of for the ornaments, not ornaments for the, um, I need an empty bucket. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Susan. Pirate ship's gonna have a better rate, period.
Saxton wants to see purses. Okay, I'll do purses next. I'm not so sure that that's the truth, though. Sorry about veering from the auction. No, KP, are you kidding me? I love it. I love the discussion. Don't even. It's awesome. You know, that's what um, that's what kind of makes us different is we have, you know, if there's issues or topics that, you know, we like to talk about it. Oh, maybe that's what I saw. I think it was Shippo. Hey, Popo. How are you feeling, Popo? I heard you were sick. And how is Renee with her broken leg? Jill told me. The Popo's in the, um, Jill. Yeah, hi. Joe is here. Hi, Joe. Joe, are you gonna, are you and, and Renee gonna try to come to the meetup next month in St. Petersburg? I don't have all of the details yet, but I'm taking my daughter to college and on the 12th of August. And that Friday the 13th, I'm planning a little um, meetup in uh, downtown St. Petersburg. Take a look at that and tell me if that's too, if that's scratched. If that's scratched. I mean, yeah, it looks kind of like surface scratched, but... People, oh, this is the Passion of Christ. God, I watched that movie like this the whole time I watched. Did you ever see that movie? What movie? Oh, what movie? The Passion of Christ. Oh no, I never saw it. You never saw it. I spent the entire time at the movie theater like this, like this, and like this. I had my ears closed and my eyes closed the entire movie. That's the Mel Gibson one, is it? Um. I don't remember who was in it. I worked at the post office and one day a customer was mailing a lot of media mail and we decided to check one and got a surprise. It was filled with drugs and drug things. Really, Karen? Go on, media mail. See, if they would have went priority, they wouldn't have had that trouble. What? I can't believe somebody would ship drugs media mail. I know. Oh, thanks, Greens Vintage. You're so sweet. Shippo. I think that's what I clicked on. I think that's the advertisement that I got. And I guess they're they're very, very similar to um, um, Pirate Ship. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Sounds like it. I'm doing much better than Renee. Poor Renee. Oh, my God. You know, I almost... I. Yesterday, I was carrying, was it yesterday? It was before Jill got here. I was carrying um, a big box into the back room, and I tripped over something, and I caught my, my shoulder up against the wall, and oh, my God, did I see stars. And it's like, I'm trying not to be a baby about it. Um, yeah, Jim, they may have saved 20 bucks, but they lost a million. That, that'll teach them. They probably didn't know any better. Yeah, I don't know. I think you got to know in order to use media mail to start with, don't you? Most people probably don't know about media mail. Thanks, Popo. Yeah, talk to Renee. I'd love to see you guys again. Um, Probably the Hilton downtown St. Petersburg. Those are good. All right, let's show them. Let's see if the if they want them. And that's August the thirteenth. Is that what you were saying? Um. Yeah. August the Friday, August thirteenth. Um. I know. Don't. Don't. Um. Uh, who Who won the precious moments? Oh. Uh, let's see. Joy at fifty five dollars. <laughs> Joy, congratulations, Joy. <laughs> that was lot nine. Lot number nine to Joy. Criminals are not smart. 
Enjoy his a credit. Enjoy his a credit. And it was one more time, tell me. Uh, lot nine, Joy Munkin, $55. $55. <clears throat> Holly, you still haven't found enough scrubs for your job? Jim, I just left the Goodwill, need uniforms, but left with teacups and saucers. Oh my God, you guys, I got the most beautiful teacups and saucers. Is anybody interested in seeing teacups and saucers? Time for another iced tea, sweetheart. Iced coffee. Iced coffee. I'm drinking hot coffee right now. Hi, Lisa. Hi, honey. Welcome in. You haven't, Holly? Still you tried to order them on Amazon. I could probably go to Goodwill and buy them. I always keep plenty of them around. My coffee is so delicious. Okay. Shriker, you don't drink enough. I never see you take sips of anything. Nope. You need to drink water or yeah, water. Is dry. What? My throat gets dry. Yeah, you need. Yeah. yeah, you need to drink water, yeah. not soda. Yeah, well, These you should drink water good. too, not coffee. But These, I might be a little more scratched. So. All right, some. we'll give them to them anyways. We just won't charge. We just this. We'll just say that this is like um, the freebie part of the lot, and they can decide. So Jill just sorted through all of the um, the movies. Oh, Marilyn, okay, I'm going to show some teacups and saucers. Marilyn wants to see some. They're so beautiful, Marilyn. They're so beautiful. Cat D says, drink water, both of you. I'm going to switch to water as soon as I'm done with my coffee. I usually always have water. What would you say, honey? These are kind of, these are, I mean, they're not, these are three more that aren't the greatest. Jill, thank you for coming and helping me all day yeah, like this. yeah. You're so awesome. I'm just not sure about those. Right. Whoops. So you're okay. doing DVD then. DVDs. D. Scott, you should not be drinking soda all day long. It's terrible. It's true. All right. So this stack here, she went through each and every one of them. And this stack is the stack that she said has some scratches in it. But I'm just going to include them anyways. Um so I'll well, show these, you what these are pretty resilient. Even scratched up, most of them will play anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, oh, they're good. Um, they're not real bad. Make sure that this is not my my uh, family stuff. Oh no. Oh, okay. I didn't go through that. Okay. I'll, I'll and look then through. These it. are video games. The, so. These aren't okay. the home videos, right? No, these are not the home videos. <laughs> so, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, and I can't remember what. So you're doing a lot of DVDs starting at $30. I am concerned about everybody's hydration levels. Okay, so this so this pile. Oh, I was going to say that some people have those resurfacing machines, and they put them in and cleans them up and cleans all the scratches and makes them like brand new. Yep. I know Jenny, Jenny has one of those machines, and she loves it. So, okay. Eddie Martin like so these are the ones that she went through and said are need a little bit of cleaning a Let little bit them. of attention and she looked at each and every one of them no passion of Christ oh Mel Gibson yeah oh my god that movie Did you only watch it once or did you go back and watch it again? Which one? Uh, Passion of the Christ. I saw it at the movie theater. Watched it once, never watched it again. I don't think I can ever watch it again. Right. It's just too hard to watch. Too heartbreaking. Okay. And these are the good ones. Turn those uh, titles sideways so we can see what they are. Okay. There you go. Thank you. All right. And these are the good ones. Harry Potter. Okay. 
I never saw Harry Potter either. Well, that's just a shame. Black Saturday. Jesus Christ Superstar. Faith it takes back. Fifteen big box of horror. Oh boy. The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Furious Seven. Jurassic Park. The Lost World. Annabelle Isle Icing. Annabelle Rising. Oh, Annabelle Rising. I believe. That looks like it might be a no, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising, sorry. Oh, Hannibal Rising. So that yeah. must be a knockoff. Um probably a rental. Yeah, it's probably a knockoff because it doesn't look like the original. This one is um, blue Blu-ray Hammer Gods, yeah. Hammer of Gods, Shotas, 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 or Shooters, Shooters, <laughs> King of New York, Twelve Rounds, Rebound. I'm not going to say that. The River Niger. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Warm blooded. Warm blooded killers. I was, I was brought up right. <laughs> and you got scared when I started saying it, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> this is the end. It doesn't have um, the cover on it, but the CD is in there. I have been sitting watching this auction since the beginning and the fraud department called me and said someone in Wisconsin just used my debit card 20 minutes oh, ago. Oh. Oh. This one is contact. What did they buy, June? Did they buy precious moment stalls? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Joy. <laughs> no, I'm really, really not drawing you into the bus. I'm just joking with you. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of big for all of them, but no, it's perfect. We can I can put it right back in there and hold down, you guys. I'm gonna plug in the phone because I don't want it to die. It's been unplugged long enough. Okay, varsity blues, seven seconds, hologram man. Paper soldiers. Malabooty until you die. Dracula, Dracula, Swordfish, John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Hal Berry. Yeah, Swordfish oh, that, is pretty good. That looks like a pretty good movie. It's pretty good. Jacked up, and then this one's thrills and chill and chills, and that's all of them. Okay, we got Jenny for thirty. Thank you, Jenny. So you get all of those, and then all of the ones in the back. Thrills and chills, Lake Placid three, Frankenfish, Loch Ness Terror, and Piranha. Can't tell which number. Two, two, yeah, probably two. I don't think I saw Lake Placid three. I like one, and I like Swordfish. That was pretty good. Ooh, I would like the tangy. Um mango also is it carbonated that's a good that's a good question it probably is carbonated if it's got fruit like a artificial flavoring in it yeah they're talking about the carbonated waters 
Yeah. Wow, 57 cents for a big... I try to stay away from that <clears throat> sweet carbonated stuff. Well, the carbonated water says it's calorie free. Nothing in it, but I don't know. Oh, really? The carbonated is horrible for your teeth? Yeah, I think it's got to have some sugar in it or something. Yeah, I love the taste of coconut water. Oh, by the way, you guys, my coconuts are still up on the tree. You better hurry up there and get them. I don't want them. What am I going to do with them? You're going to drink them. I I need to get, I, I have I have to get like a machete to, where am I going to get a machete? How do you open them? Have you asked Jill if she can climb up there? You don't even have to climb. You can just oh, you go and. It's not very tall yet, huh? No. Okay. I got to take a picture, Jill. I got to take a picture of you uh, reaching up for the coconuts. Yeah. In the backyard. And make sure she has a machete, machete in one hand, too. I Where am I going to get a machete? I don't have a machete. Out of all the stuff you have, you don't have a machete? I do not have a machete. All those units you as a, You know what? As a units. matter of fact, it's as a matter of fact, I, I, was, I, I the, that bad unit that I bought, that gangster unit, there was a machete in there. My, my son kept it. Uh, you, you do have access. Yeah. I don't know where it is. <clears throat> I'm sure it's in the garage. All right, Jenny's going to take this big lot for $30. Yes, she is. Awesome, Jenny. Who were you rooting for, Joe, in the movie? <clears throat> the cops or the hackers? <clears throat> she says we have a couple of machetes. Yeah, of course. Everybody does. Do you have machetes? Uh, I've got a lot of knives. I don't know about an actual machete, but... You have access to machetes, probably. Yeah, I, I've got I've got all kinds of tools. So that's not a problem. I've got some pretty big knives. I wouldn't call them machetes, but they're pretty large. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I know where Joe's going. Did you write the ticket? No. I did not. Use a hammer. I suppose I could use a hammer and... Um, screwdriver? A screwdriver. For a coconut? Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it? Get some fresh coconut milk? I guess. Do you like it? Not really. Oh, I do. Lot number 10. Of course they do, Steve. <laughs> Lot 10, $30. J-R-K-R. -R. There we have it. Lot number 11. Coming up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. What's it going to be? Comics. Comics. Oh, you haven't even done any comics today. I haven't done any comics today. What's this, Jenny? We probably have guns. You don't know one way or the other? What's that? Jenny. Why is Popo saying hackers? Uh, I asked him which side he was rooting for, the hackers or the cops in the movie. Hmm. Popo's going to have some time off pretty soon, right? Is he? Well, yeah, doesn't he work for the school? Uh, university, I guess so. Does he have the summer off? I don't think so. I think they work year-round. Oh, not Lisa. Does they have summer schools? and? Yeah, no, not Lisa. Lisa gets, um, you know, my cop friend Lisa, who's, yeah. who's a, uh, a school cop. Yeah. She gets some... Um, her summer starts, oh, I think next week. Is she, she gets a is month she off. College? Huh? Is she a college 
police officer? No, um, she's uh, high school. Right, right, right. Two different things. University's going year round, so he's 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 a college officer, I believe. Oh, I thought he was um, high school. Colleges are. Um, no, he's in college. He's college. Yeah. yeah, I I would have thought colleges would have had like. Um, oh, okay, Penny, I get you. Their own like security. That's what he is. Oh, I thought he was police department. I thought he was in the police department. Is he just? He's a uh, college security. Is that what she's saying? College security, yeah. Why couldn't you drill a hole in the coconut so you can drink the milk out? I want to. I just don't have a power drill, but I have a screwdriver. Yeah, you got to be careful beating on a screwdriver with a hammer on a round object. It will go a rolling. And mess up your countertop. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds also yeah. complicated. It is. It is. Not if you know what you're doing. Oh, uh oh. Look at this. The Vampirella comics are out. Number one. I was wondering when you're going to do this lot. I wasn't holding you, out or anything. I just. Did you put them all together? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, Hopefully. Let me see. So I just gave him for twenty five. I just grabbed him. Hold on. Oh my God! Some of these are like. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Courtney, close your eyes. <laughs> Courtney, are you here? If she's here, I can't show this lot. Courtney. Uh, excuse me, Voight. It's not called crap. It's called merchandise. <laughs> Brad. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully. So Courtney, the only one you get, Steve. That, uh oh, Courtney. Courtney, here. close your eyes. Turn it off. <laughs> just turn it. Just turn it off yeah. until after I do this yeah. lot. Courtney, they're just comics. That's all they are. Is just comics. <gasps> She's oh, like. God, sorry, Courtney. I can't believe you did that. She's gonna now. She's gonna take me down from all her groups. Yeah. She's like she's showing X-rated comics. Yeah. I swear to you, Courtney, they're not X-rated. It's it's just a series. Amy, this is the first uh, lot of comics we've done. If you're you may be lagging if you're seeing something different. No, Amy, honey, this is the first one. Steve is like, oh. <laughs> 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 you could either read that as, oh, or you could read it as, oh. <laughs> you, see, you, see, you see Mike comes in right at this moment, too. <laughs> pirate! <laughs> Hello, pirate. Pirate, I got some vampirella. Um, Jim G's got his big wide eyes open. He's like, I'm not missing this one. Right. <laughs> okay, so do I, do I need... I wonder if Carl's watching. Carl's gonna be so gone. I know Carl's gonna be so mad at me. He probably will. <sighs> I probably should have waited for Carl to come back. Okay, so this one's number 16. This one's number 20. Look at her abs, you guys. Oh unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah Joe, Joe's an officer, not security. Full, full oh my police. gosh. I'm telling you, she. I hope she left. Hey, Wes Robinson. You're hoping who left? I hope she left. Courtney? Oh, yeah. She I know she could be watching secretly. Here's number twenty-one. These are all bagged and boarded, you guys. They're like. What edition is that? Huh? What edition is that? Um. Yeah. Red rain. Red rain. Oh my god, they're all like really like bad. I'm sorry, you guys. This is this is a PG show. Everybody's being really quiet, except for the men. Outside, still daylight. Look at look at Kyle. 
Kyle's got big eyes open too. <laughs> Lindsay's like, what is she doing? That's it. I'm sure Courtney's taken me down at this point. Yep. I'm not I'm not being featured on any of your channels right now. I'm not selling these comics. Lindsay's underage. She can't be here. Oh boy. Are they are they like um rated R comics? Well, you had one open, then you got one out of the bag there. Open it and see. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, we got a bid for 25. Anybody else? <laughs> All the rib fractures up. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> You're laughing pretty hard at that. <laughs> oh my God, look at this one. Holy cow. Oh, Vampirella. Vampirella. Yeah. You can go faster, Donna. Okay, sorry, I was just looking at them. Um, this is one of three. This is three of three. This is number two. Mama girls in at 30. Number three. Number four. And we had number 32. one. Steve's at 40. Number five. Number one again. Here you have two number fours. You have one and two. Keep one. one. Keep, right? Keep one and give one to a friend. Your best friend. KP's at 50. Someone you $5, love. Five dollar increments now. <laughs> Someone you love. And then this one too. Keep one. Give one to a friend. Steve's at 60. Send one as a joke. Huh. Well, see, that one's open there. Why don't you take a perusal through that thing? Do it off screen, though. Yeah, you don't want to do that on screen. Uh, I don't? No. It's AP that bad? Here. Is it that bad? Steve's at 110. I don't know. You open it and see. It's not bad. Okay. At least not this page. There's probably some better and worse. <laughs> Goals, goals, goals. Yep, goals, goals, goals. Thank you, Steve. Okay, let me look through my box and see if I have any more so I can do all Vampirella because these are not Vampirella, but these are pretty big price tags on them. <clears throat> $7.50 Aster. I don't know what that is. All right. Good Lord. I'm going to put this down and cover it kind of quickly. I'm not a prude. I just don't want people to be offended. I'm definitely not a prude. That I can assure you. Jill is though. Yeah, yeah right. The uh, the Vampirellas, <laughs> the Vampirellas probably aren't, but the other series probably is the Vampironica. Vampironica. I don't know if you want me to read out numbers, but I'm just laying laying them out. Ooh, look at that with the everything's bagged and boarded, you guys, on this series on these comics. That's a big old lizard, isn't it? It looks like a lizard or something. You know who's going to show up in a minute? Who? Brian. Brian? Yeah. Why, does he like Vampirella? I don't know. I think they're calling his name. Yeah, don't open the Vampirotica. <laughs> don't open this one? No, the Vampironica, the other series in there. Oh, is there another series in here? Yeah, Vampirella and Vampir, Vampir Erotica. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that there was another series in here. 
Susan's covering her eyes. Wes Robinson says Jill is. She's kind of a prude. No, I'm not at all. I know. Hi, Anthony. She's, she's actually, hi, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. She's actually completely the opposite. Uh, Wait, what is that? Where'd you get that? I just found it. Oh, you did? Yeah. So let's put it up there yeah, because I have I was... a whole other lot of precious moments. Thank you for sorting and going through things. She's been such a tremendous help, you guys, honestly. Everyone that's come to visit me here at the cottage has been such a tremendous help. Did you make her sign the book yet? No, we have to get a book. We, ha we have to start that tradition. Before she leaves. Oh, yeah. Well, she's not leaving until tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to try to have uh, lunch with Jim G tomorrow. Oh. He's going he's gonna to drive down. Wow, this one's beautiful. This one is an amazing cover. Look how pretty that is. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. They really really can't tell on camera, but it is really pretty. What's is it different somehow? Huh? Is it a hollow or something? Is it different? Yeah, it's like I don't know if it's textured, but yeah, it's it's foil. It, there's like foil on it. Is this the one that you said is as no, X-rated? Uh, no. They're at the bottom of the stacks now. All right, hold on. I'm going to go look and see if there's any more in this box. If there's a lot more, then I'll, I'll do another lot. Yeah. But if there's just a few more, then I'll just combine it to this lot. So just give me a minute because I don't know what's in it. Okay, these are all, these are all different. I thought I saw one over here. The Vampirella? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were more in this box. Oh, no. You got them. I thought I saw one like random, like maybe one of my kids was looking at it or something. These are all old ones. No, those are like. Yeah, I saw like there was a stack there. I just took it. And then there was more in the box. Okay, so those are all the old ones. And then um, let's look in here. No, I think that's all. Oh, there's Star Trek, Fantasy Four, Fantastic Four, Thor. Ooh, you like this? X-Man, Iron Man, Batman, Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, D. Scott, I don't think she got a lot of rest. Mm -hmm. I think her and Jill's been out. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Uh, these are all like Fantasy Four, Spider Man, and uh, Batman. And... Yeah. No, that's it. That's it, you guys. That's all I got for the Vampirella. That's all of them. That's the whole stack. No more. You still so, did, I'll you give you. I'll give you a quick count on them while you guys. Um, decide what you want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. See, there's your other series there on the top. <clears throat> 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 
Okay. 2930. That's bagged and boarded. Yeah. 2930. 31, 32, let's cover her up, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 total, guys. 54 total of these. And they're all bagged and boarded and guaranteed excellent condition. Beautiful. Beautiful collection. at that crisp as can be i bet you could send these out to be graded saxton that would be called the overstreet comic book guide price guide Do they still make them, Schreiker? I don't know, but I doubt it. KP's at 200. Thank you, KP. So oh, they, do, they still make the vampirillas, Steve? Oh, Steve says they do. Hmm. Yeah, I know they're still making Overstreet, but we're talking that they're still making vampirilla. Lindsay says, goals, goals, goals. There's true. He's usually bidding on comics. Jill, I have all those beautiful coats, and a lot of them are like your size. I wonder if they'd like to see some of the coats that I have. Maybe I'll have you model some of the coats. Okay, looks like KP's winning it. Should we sell it? Hmm. Did everybody else go out? I wonder what the stories are about. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you read one to us? You want me to? No. Is it bad? I don't know. Uh, one of those series is. Here's one, here's one that's open. Wait, what's the title? Oh, God. I'd have to put on my glasses and everything. Ever since mm -hmm. I was charged by Mother Litham to be mankind's redemption, I have left evil. Draw me where it will. Here, near the notorious Velvet Canal in Amsterdam, mortal sin has become a gluttered institution. But there is deeper evil here than human authority can recognize an unknown I, I can't read some of these words, you guys. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. Oh my gosh, she's like butt naked in this one. Well, they were still being made in 2013, so they're probably still being made now. So I auditioned for the proprietors of the notorious Pandodonium, a trio known in this old town's Parker uncles as the family um so it kind of looks like so what's the story about donna um yeah it's 
it's a little bit X-rated, you guys. <laughs> You'll end up in confession in the morning, right, Jim? It's a little bit X-rated. I'm, um, yeah, I'm not gonna read any more of this. It's kind of inappropriate, to be honest, <laughs> but it's okay. Some people like that kind of stuff. And that's the tamer version there. Yeah, I had no idea that that's what this was all about, honestly. By looking at the cover, you didn't have any idea? What? By looking at the cover, you didn't know what it was about? No. Why don't you tell me? I think I probably did. You did not! Well, when you walked past them that one time, I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looky there, there's the Vampirellas. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me what they were about. <laughs> All right, we're at two thirty. Anybody else coming in? Who's Everybody who's at two thirty? Yeah, that was a nice one, exactly, Frank. <laughs> she didn't get to the other series. No, I stopped reading, Frank. Paul, hey Paul, long time no see, Paul. Good to see you. You gonna read them in lava lamp, maybe? No, I'm not gonna read them later after the live Saxton. I am not. Do you hey, want me to Taylor, read? Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to read them during lava lamp? <laughs> Late night comic reading with Donna. It would be comical because I can't pronounce half of the stuff. Paul's watching soccer in the auction. Who's winning, Paul? I bet it's Italy. You don't want to spoil for anybody. Heather M. sees his story time? Nope, story time's over. Sold, sold, sold to Paul for 230. Awesome, Paul. Lot number 11, vamp. All right, I'm going to do another lot of comics. Is that okay? Well, yeah, sure. Steve wants to see Spider-Man now. Okay. All right, I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to grab a, a stack from this. It's random, you guys. I'm not going to, like, go through and figure them all out. So it's just random. As soon as you want you to throw a pair of shoes in with them, too. No shoes? I have shoes. I have beautiful shoes. I have shoes right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show some shoes. Okay. This one is called Legendary. This one is Assassins, number one. This one is Bruce Wayne, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Here's The Simpsons. Here's another Simpsons. This one is Aster. That has a foil cover on it, does it? Yep. And this one's Aster, too. An Aster again. An Aster again. The man called Axe. And again, I 
the man called X. It's number three, number two, that was number one. We had number zero. Here's number four. Here's number five. And here's extremes of violet. Zero. Extremes of violet number one. And extremes of violet number two. Here is Batman Com Confidential, Girls' Night Out. <clears throat> and then we have a jo Jonah Hex, Spectacular. Uh, Jonah Hex. What? I said you, you, you named it right. That's good. Jonah Hex? Yep. Riverdale One Shot. Curse of the Spawn, Sandman, Morpheus, Orpheus, Orpheus, Hawk Girl, Phantom, the Phantom Stranger. Showcase Flash, presenting the Flash. It's got a little gold millennium thing on it. Don't really know what this is, but it was in there. Just a card announcing a new comic. It looks like a ninjack. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man. Number 273, comic interview, sex and violence in comics, who is to blame? Will your favorite comic be banned? X-Man, I guess they were talking about Vampirella when they did that one. This yeah. one's called Cable. Here's another X-Man. What was it about, nose picking? What's that? No Spick and said YouTube just shoved a commercial in the stream. I asked him what it was about. Was it about Vampirilla? Was it? I don't know. <laughs> huh. I don't know. X-Man. Oh, if you if you go out, um, if you go out and come back in, the, the video is monetized. So you'll You'll watch a commercial. You'll have to Maybe watch that's one. Yeah. what happened. Maybe he left and came back. Yep. X-Man. Here's the Hulk. Here is Silver Surfer. So you got quite the mix here. This one is Dark Horse Presents. I don't know what that is. Cheryl Blossom. Archie. Archie comic. Here's another X-Man. Here's an Incredible Hulk. Here is a, yep, it's a comic. Hellboy. What if Conan walked the earth today? Marvel Comics. Sandman, Distant Mirror. Kathy Bride and Wolverine. Kitty Bride. What is it? Kitty, Kitty. Bride. Yep. Kitty, thanks. Um, here's another Hellblazer. And there's a Coyote. Power Man and Iron Fist. Astro City. X Force, the Red Star, you go for that one. Chrononauts. All right. Sandman, Sandman again. Let's 
Sandman again. These are all bagged and boarded. Sandman. Sandman again. Can you see any numbers on those Sandman? Um, yes. They say that they're the earlier ones that can make a difference. Number 60. Number 58. All right, that's good enough. Number 54. That's good enough? Yep. Okay. This is number 23, the New Mutants. This one is number 24, Hellblazer. Number 29 is Hellblazer again. Number 153 is the Swamp Thing with a swastika on it. Number 67 is a Sandman. 62, 61, Phantom Max. Number four. X-Men is number four. Oh, there's two on here. There's Doom and there's X-Men. Oh, I didn't look to see if some of them had two. I guess I could go back and look. Zero Hour, Beyond Mars. Hero Illustrated. That's a pretty cover. Hard Case, Stormwatch, Ultraverse Prime, another Ultraverse Prime, Hard Case, and Blood Hunter. And that's all of them. Hi, Kathy. Hi, KK. Six hours. You haven't seen anything yet. Right? <laughs> It's a marathon. And that's the whole stack. All right. Steve's got it at 40. All right. <clears throat> I will be Kathy. No, my, my own, my own personal record, I think is, I think the longest I was on with T was T will probably correct me, but eight hours if you're watching t was it eight hours i think it was eight hours or nine hours that we did straight i know it's a lot but think of like someone so so this is my job and if i was going to work i would work an eight hour shift 10 hour shift right Usually shifts are 10 hours with an hour break for lunch and, you know, half an hour break in the morning, half an hour break in the afternoon or 15, 15. Usually they're 11 hour shifts. So I'm not doing anything. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. What did Paul say? She doesn't have any more uh, vampirilla though, Paul. Want to make that soccer match interesting. 30 if Italy wins. 30 if England wins on my lot. What? 30 what? 30 more? 30 or minus 30 comics. Oh, uh, I don't have any more, Paul. That's what I'm telling him. He doesn't, he, you don't have any more Vampirilla. No. I don't have any more. It's all I have. They are done and done. But that wouldn't be a bad thing for you. I mean, if you're voting for Italy, right? Rooting for Italy. Wait a minute. Say that again. If you're rooting for Italy, that would serve you. Oh, I really if, don't care. If you're rooting for England. The only reason why I would be rooting for Italy is because I'm Italian. But do you think I know anything about soccer? <laughs> soccer? I can't even say it. It's soccer. With the, soccer. With the Zaka. S A K. S-A-K-K-A, Saka. 
Um, football. Yeah. Add thirty or subtract thirty. Uh -huh. All right, Paul. I'll do that. I'll do that. So if Italy wins, you get to take thirty away. I get. I get it. If no, if Italy wins, he he adds thirty dollars to the lot. If Italy loses, then I have to credit him thirty dollars for the lot. Well, right? you, don't is that, to, you don't want to do it with money. You want to do it with products. Is that how we're doing it? That's what he was. I think that's what he was. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. I'll just, yes, I'll just do it in credit. I'll just do it in cottage cash. He'll spend it. Paul will send, spend it. All right. He's just All right. We're gambling, guys. We're gambling. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'm a gambler. I'm an entrepreneur. I take risks. You don't know who you you don't know who you're messing yeah, with. Yeah, we don't even know if the game's over or not. <laughs> he yeah, but we yeah, yeah, but we got 87 people in the chat right now that's gonna tell us who's who the winner <laughs> is. Uh, oh, how do we know the game's not over? Yeah. Nobody tell Donna the score. <laughs> well, um, I, knew it was, I knew it was tied in overtime a little bit ago. Eight, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right, still one to one. 17, 18, 19. Some of these have two on them, 20. It might come down to kicks then. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20. 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six. I bet Greg wasn't here a while ago. Seventy six. No, Greg missed it. Lindsay, uh, Greg has the high bid at ninety nine, not Steve. Greg came in first. Seventy six. Seven. One ten. Seventy seven. 78, 79, 80, 81. Steve's in at 125. 82. 83, 84, 85, and this is all taped together. About 10 in there, whole series. Should we open it? Sure. I need scissors. Be right back. Um, probably a run from one to ten or something. Hungry? 
So it's Marvel Digital. Let me see. Hold on. I still take together. Greg, were you here for the Vampirella or did you miss it? Yes, yeah, I took the bet. It. You took the bet. Hi, Jean Pierre. Um, Marvel Digital Edi Edition. Who is the watcher? So you've got. Yeah, numbers, I'm number zero, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Number seven and number eight of that All series. Nine. All nine of them. Okay, that puts you at a 95 or 94. You need six more. Is this slot 12 or 13? 12. Okay, that's what I thought. Drew's out. Uh, Amy, you, you probably just don't have a good connection if you're getting buffering. Slow internet. <clears throat> Amy, you either want to connect it to your house Wi-Fi if you're home or disconnect from your wi house Wi-Fi and run on your so, whatever yeah. service you have, Verizon or whatever, because sometimes inside people's homes, depending on the roof or how the house is built, um, it's hard to watch YouTube because um, you get buffering. So you might want to run on, if you have unlimited Wi-Fi, you, want, you might want to run on your Wi-Fi instead of your house um, Wi-Fi internet. Okay, who's winning? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Steve. Steve's at 150. All right, Steve. Oh, she said Shriker, what causes it? And I answered I answered for you. It's all right. I'd already answered her too. So would you have answered the same way? Uh, I did pretty much. Huh? I did pretty much. Oh, you did? Yeah. But yes, I will agree with you. Sometimes even here, inside here, for some reason, with the straw, I pay for really strong Wi-Fi on my phone. Um, oh, Steve, I'm using my phone for um, for a second camera because I gave my daughter my other phone, and I'm not getting it back because she gave it to a boy. Oh, no. Yeah, she gave it to Desi. Desi is... Desi's like part of the family. He's, you'll meet Desi because I'm going to put Desi on one of these days and he's been working for me. He's, he's going through a little bit of a rough time and he smashed his phone and he can't buy a new phone. So I'm letting him use that phone and um, I'm going to turn on the service for him yeah. this week and he can work it off. Justin, cellular data is not Wi-Fi. Thank you for clearing that up. Yep. I will, Steve. I'll call you. Are you going to be awake after midnight, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he is. He's in lava lamp a lot. So okay. sold, sold, sold. All right, Missy, are you ready? Joe, you go ahead. me go ahead. Okay. All right. He's probably been going to bed earlier these days because he's work. He's back to work now. Did he get his leg all healed up? 
Can you turn your mic up a little bit? I said, did he get his foot all healed up? Did he get what filled up? He he had a broken foot or something, didn't he? Did it did it get healed up? Oh, his um his um he got his cast off, but he still had his I think he got his cast off, but he still has to wear his boot or something, is what he said. Oh, he's still in the boot, yeah. He's still in the boot. No, Carl's not back yet, Jill. Okay. Put these away. Okay. And let's do, let's start with these. I've given these all of the twist test. And you know, you guys, these are the small sizes. They're brand new. Never been leather upper size five and a half bass. These are green. They're called Weegens. <laughs> Never heard of them. They're look at the way they're constructed, all leather. Yep. Leather upper, leather bottom. Beautiful shoes, brand new. They are a hunter's green color, and they're a size six. Nice pair of loafers. Here is another pair of Weegens. Yep. Weegens by Bass. Yep. And these are black, all leather. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Never been worn. Brand spanking new. What's your next pair? Uh, start at 30, Lindsay. Yep, yeah, we're going to start at 30. And then. These have been worn. They're, um, I mean, maybe they've been worn for a minute. That's the name on them. They're great looking boat shoes. Yeah, Dex shoes. Slip, yeah. slip ons. They're a little bit dirty on the bottom. Well, maybe not. I guess they're not dirty. Are they dirty? No, I think they just have some scuffs from maybe other shoes or something. No, they're not dirty. No dirt on them. No. They're beautiful. And these are a size six. Cute boat shoes. Penny loafers, yes. They're definitely penny loafers. Uh, all women's, right? Yeah, all women's. Saxton's in for 30. These are really nice. These are beautiful. These are called Prevo, pre I. P I P R I V O, Prevo. Are they water shoes? No, they're all suede. They're all suede and leather with a. Uh, look like rock climbing almost. They're beautiful with pink 
on them. Very nice. Very pretty. One, two, three, four, five. Vintage, yep. And here's another pair of Prevo. What size were those last ones? They're all six, Susan. These all came from that, that storage unit I bought with all the clothes and all the shoes and all the pocketbooks. And, oh, Prevos are made by Clark. It's a line of Clark. They're all size six, five and a half and six. Ew. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that. Uh, I'm not cleaning it. Well, don't set it on the other one. Set it over to the side. <laughs> Susie's at 35. They don't look like they've ever been worn. No. I don't know well, what that is. Just look. the one time, it looks like. Just like, I don't know what that is on that <laughs> shoe. It's ew. Well, see if it smells like anything. Six pairs. No, you see if it <laughs> smells like something. Jeez. Uh, Good thing I keep my wipes handy over here. <laughs> I'm sure they'll clean up just fine. Oh yeah, they're cleaning up. I've got I've got the the wipes going on it. It's like almost like um like baseball field clay, which is really strange because they don't look like they've been worn. Heather's throwing up. Yep. <laughs> Heather, don't throw up, honey. I'm gonna clean them. You're gonna be fine. It is. It's like um Bag it for evidence. Nose picking. What are you, the FBI all of a sudden? I think those look more like golfing shoes than baseball shoes, but I don't know. I don't know that you'd wear it either way, but. Yeah, they look like golfing shoes. You're right. Who won't lick it? Uh oh. Game's still tied at the end of overtime. Going to penalty kicks. Count, uh -oh. it down, vintage. Count it down, Paul. Let us know each one. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right, Susan. Jill, if I win this bet, we're ordering takeout Chinese food. <laughs> what? If I win this bet with Paul, we're going to order Chinese food. Okay. What if you lose it? What are you going to eat then? Uh, something frozen in the freezer. Uh, ramen? <laughs> yeah, ramen noodles. Why should I suffer All right, high bid is it for Saxton for 37. Just gonna steal this. All right, six pairs total. Brand new. No, Saxton, they changed it to, to uh, Bucks, not uh, Comics now. There, I cleaned it. The ew is gone. The ew has disappeared. No more ew. You don't have to worry about it. I did it for you. Took two seconds. Which just goes to show you, if you get a pair of shoes with ew from me, just get your wipes and clean it. Uh. Yeah. Ew happens. Carl's back. Carl. Carl, you're going to be upset. She yeah. sold the glasses. And some Vampirilla. Uh-oh, both teams made the first kick. Down to four. Four left. I'm joking, Carl. 
Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Is it going to be me or is it going to be Paul? It's going to be Susie at 39. <laughs> Susie's winning the shoes. All right. Well, let's call it on down. Unless Saxton's going to come back. Nope, Saxton's out. We're from the United States of America. Vampirotica. <laughs> the bet is if Italy wins, then I um, add $30 to his comic lot, which he paid $230 for. So his comic lot will be $260, but he has a gift certificate. So, and Elizabeth, hi, honey. And if I lose, then I take $30 off his comic lot. That's the bet. It's a good bet. People will be wanting to make bets with me now. Yeah, all I was going to say you're starting something now. I know, uh -oh. right? Uh oh, you're down a kick now. Uh oh, uh oh. Did Italy miss, or they haven't kicked yet? Put it, put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. I don't have it on screen. Can you, can you watch it live on YouTube? Probably not. No, you need one of those channels. Yeah. Why is D. Hewitt going? <laughs> <laughs> because England made their kick and Italy probably didn't. I was just going to ask if you would bet me on something. Oh, God, here we go. Italy missed it. Oh, boy, now we're in trouble. Oh, boy. Looks like we're eating Raymond noodles, honey. Uh, you still got three kicks. <laughs> three more kicks. Joanne, hi. She's like, hi, Elizabeth, my cat friend. What's the matter? Mm, Joanne, you have no other cat friends. <laughs> you gotta wait for Elizabeth. She's like, Joanne, smiley face, cat, cat. I'll do it for you, Elizabeth. Here, meow, meow, meow. There, sold, Elizabeth. Sold, sold. $39. I could put it on screen, but I have to do private. I don't know what that means. Well, you can't broadcast it on the internet without paying for it. Oh, it's sold. Susie got it for $39. Susie, you scored. Yeah, that's a good lot there. Holy cow, Susie. All those brand new pairs of shoes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> what? The eyes and the rolls. To Hewitt saying, yikes. Oh, what is that? What's what that doesn't mean Italy missed another one. Oh, what's it going to be? Raymond noodles or Chinese food? Oh, that's okay, Brad. Las Vegas night on Donna's channel. <laughs> We're making bets, you guys. We're making bets. I like it. I like making bets. I like, I like, I'm not a big gambler, but I like this whole gambling thing. It's good. <laughs> oh my God, you need some more coffee. Oh my God, I, right? Am I acting weird because of the coffee? I'm coffee though. I need to eat something. Is what I need to do. Oh, this is a cute sign. Saxton, do you have it on? Let's see. England missed. Yay! Did did I win? Not yet, but England missed one, so that's good for you. Does Donna even know one player on the team? She's no, I don't. Italy I admit it. If Italy makes the next one, you might win. I don't know it. I don't know players. I don't know sports. I don't watch sports. What, what's the kick? What's the kick totals, Saxton? Tied back up. Oh, three-two Italy now. All right. 
Do people want jackets? Because I got one kick to go. No, you can show. I'm going to have myself something to eat. And then I need to take a nap, so. I'm not getting a nap today. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> All right, the last kick. Are you watching it? No, I'm reading the chat. England has to make this one in order to win. No, to tie it. Oh, to tie it? So Italy's up. Dun, Italy dun, wins. Dun, dun. You win. I you win? Get, you get to eat good tonight. I win? Seriously? Yep. Italy wins? We awesome <laughs> dinner's on Paul. All right, thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. England missed again. Italy won. Congrats, Donna. Oh, thanks, Paul. That was fun. I'm so glad that we did that. Um, yeah, now that you won. Yeah, now that I won. No, even if I didn't win, I would. I would have been glad. I'm. I'm not a sore loser. <laughs> You get Chinese, Joe, Lindsay Ann says. Awesome. Do you want Chinese? What do you think? What are you in the mood for? I don't know. What, do you like sushi? Not really? Oh yes. We could I don't order like the rice, but yeah. Well, you think about what you want. Okay. And we'll get it. We'll order it. And if um I mean we I can go out, I can run out and go get it. You know, everything is so local here. Donna and Schreiker, can I share an update on Robin? Um, Wes, you know what, honey? Listen. Um, so let me just let me just uh, let me just cover something with you. Uh, Jill's like rolling her eyes and starting to walk away no, from me. I just I I just I feel like I just need to get it out, right? So I wish Robin the best. Um, Robin and I had a phenomenal relationship. Phenomenal. She came down here, stayed here in Palm Beach for weeks and weeks and weeks. I went on her channel all the time. She was on my channel all the time. Everything was great. Everything was perfect. When she got sick, um, T and I, we spent eight hours raising thousands of dollars for her, right? You guys know that, right? We raised thousands and thousands of dollars for her. We gave up an entire day. And um, Wes, you came into the chat, in T's chat, not mine, in T's chat, and you dropped a link saying Sandy is, Robin is over at Sandy's giving an update on her recovery. And we watched the numbers go down. Everybody left. Everybody left. I called Robin before we went live to get an update. And I, they must have been sleeping. While Robin was in the hospital, Devin and Robin were calling me every 15 minutes. When they came home, Robin decided to go on Sandy's channel. And when I said to Robin, Robin, making the decision to go on Sandy's channel to give an update was not the right decision to make. And she said, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking clearly. Wes, you dropping the link on Robin being over at Sandy's channel, maybe you weren't thinking correctly either. That's not the right thing to do either. Um, when I called Robin and I said, Robin, why would you do such a thing? Why would you go over to Sandy's? She said, I wasn't thinking straight. And I said, I don't know, like, I think you owe T an apology now. And she said, all right, I'm sorry, goodbye. That was the last time I talked to Robin. She's never reached out to me again. She's living happily ever after with Devin. So <clears throat> if you wanna give an update on Robin, Robin wants nothing to do with this channel or with T's channel. She's washed her hands of it. I, on the other hand, have not, because if you go to my homepage, you will see I give Robin credit for that beautiful intro that she made me, but she's not reached out to me. So if you wanna give an update on Robin, honey, you can go do it at somebody else's channel. Robin has washed her hands of me. So with that being said, 
the truth is the truth and that's you know that's where it is and um you know that's it you can go live on your channel if you want and do a robin update and that's it you know when when and if robin ever repair our friendship you know because of the decisions that were made and the division that was caused because of it i mean some people think it's because she didn't say thank you to us it has nothing to do with that it has nothing to do with that so i wish her the best and um um that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to say, right? Yep. That's it. Just don't pick sides, you guys. You like me, come and, come and spend time with me. Don't give me a thumbs down because of it, because people are being very, very childish. I'm not doing anything wrong. All I'm doing is working really, really hard. And the ones who come into the chat, um, you know, you know that I'm working really, really hard. And that's it. That's all I've got to say. Are you up, sweetheart? Yep. Okay. And just stay neutral, you guys. Stay neutral. That's all I ask is just to stay neutral. Don't pick sides. Don't pick sides. Unfortunately, this sort of thing happens, you know, and um, I, all I, yeah, all I did was do a fundraiser. That's it. That's all I did. And then I was crucified for it. Okay. Go ahead, Jill. You go up, honey. All right, I'm going to fix myself a little something to eat, but just a little something, because we're having dinner on Paul tonight. <laughs> so I'll go out and get it. Oh, that's bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what is going, that noise? Keep going. Keep going. I'm okay. rolling over bubble wrap. That was bubble wrap. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move my um my slut, my glasses. Your stuff. Get your stuff, stuff out of the way. Get here. my stuff out of the way. Okay. I'll get my coffee mug out of the way. Perfect. Here's a pen. Do you need one of these slips like I have? Are you keeping track on a notepad? All right. I got it. Yep. You got it. Okay. So who's ready for some jewelry? I see Fancy Pinks likes it. Well, you did You did hear Carl's back, right? Oh, he is? Yes, he is. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get to that later. All right, I have some beautiful dangly 925 and abalone earrings. Oh, big ones. Yep. They're, they move. They're, what are they? Art, I guess that's articulated. What do you want to start at? Um, we can start these at 15. You might have to put those on the other camera. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because they're so long. Yep. Let me measure how long they dangle. Three inches. I got a three-inch dangle. Marilyn's in for 15. Well, thank you, Marilyn. Little K's here. Okay, she changed this up on me. Okay, let me see how it is. There we go. They are marked 925. And what else are they marked? Mexico. And they have TR something. TR dash and then a number. But I can't read the number. Hold on just a second, Jill. Uh, <laughs> Kirsty, you need to have a wrench before you can bid. I don't remember if you've uh, filled out the registration or not. If you haven't, I'll drop it for you. If you have, just say you have, and I'll take a look at it. Absolutely. Right, sorry, Jill. No problem. 
There's the back. See that it's like they cut right through the design number. They are pretty weighty. Let's see here what what they weigh. It's gonna weigh one and so each earring is around eleven grams. They were really pretty. And you did say that was inlaid abalone? Yes, inlaid abalone. So it would be over 22 grams, well, around 22 grams of sterling silver. Yeah, Christy, I don't see a registration. So if you want to bid, go ahead and fill out that form and we'll get you taken care of. Thank you. Thanks for the bids, guys. Appreciate it. Greg's at 35. Was there a maker? No, there's a um, Mexico and then they have the 925 and they have T. R, and then a dash and a number, um, but I can't read the number because it was like they cut it off in here when they. Oh yeah. See if we Got chalk. Yep. Yep. Uh, well, at least they're marked though, so somebody mm -hmm. can figure it out. They are definitely beautiful statement earrings. Very colorful. Yes. Little Martin's Nest at 37. Thank you, Lil K. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. Have you been here all day, Amy? I don't remember. Welcome in if you haven't been. I don't know. I heard, I thought I heard Donna say Amy Billings earlier. Yeah, I was talking about Cool Ranch, though. So. Oh, Cool Ranch. I haven't seen her be in here yet today. Hi, Amy. Well, I hope you do well with that, Paul. Especially if you're going to bet again. Have you shipped a little K before? Uh, yes. Okay. She still have the same shipping instructions as to where it goes? Yeah, probably so. Okay. And thank you for those earlier who sent me an email already. I, I saw them. A few people did. And most everything should go out Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. So you probably get an invoice from me later today or tomorrow morning. Hello, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Is 
That's right, Steve. She did. Okay. Thank you, Lil K. I bet they'd drag your lobes down a ways, wouldn't they? Um, I don't know. Only if you... I don't know. Some people are more prone to that than others. Because they were almost a full ounce between them, right? Yes. Well, they're 11 grams each earring, so 22 yeah. grams. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Susan. What do you think, Marilyn? You gonna go a little more? That little K at 46. Hi, MT. Case at fifty. Thank you, guys. What are you showing next? Um, next, I have a tie clip and two cufflinks that are Siam um, 925 silver. This is the match deck. Do they what? Do they all match? Yes. Yep. Yes, they all match. All right, we're going to count her down. Okay, great. So we're gonna do little little K. Little K for fifty. Thank you guys. Awesome. And thank you, Lindsay Ann. You're doing a great job today. Yes, she is. Big job. It's been and we've been on a while. So okay. Next I'm going to whoops, here we go. That is the tie clip. I can take it off. Let me show you. And the marking is right inside there. It says Sterling, S I A M. What is that on? What's it look like? It's it's like a Kind of like a mermaid genie. Okay. I'm sure it's something more. Does it have a horn on its head? Is that what I'm seeing? Um, it does, but I think it's like a genie hat, I think. Yeah, it's like a genie. Yeah, that's what it is, a genie. Okay. 
So I've got the, the tie clip and then the two cuff links. All right. And where are you going to start at? Um, I'll start these at 20 $20. $20. That's all some writing on the back of the clip. Do the uh, cufflinks have anything on them? Yeah, yes, they do. They do. They're, they're all matching. They say Sterling, uh, Siam, and let me weigh them. Siam, can you spell that? Yes, it's S-I-A-M. All right. Jewelry people should... Um, you know, probably familiar with it. It's 17.83 grams. It's a, you know, it's a nice tie clip too. I'm in order. And then the cup links. And they all match. They all have the same design on them. Maybe I can get them closer on this over here. I believe she's topless. Let me see if I can wipe this off. Looks like it has dust. Yes, dirt is always free. It's back on the other one. They are 925 sterling silver. Oops, I got them upside down. All right, we got Greg at 30. All right, Greg. And that's right, Greg. That'd be difficult. What do you say? Uh, Donna's popularity is undeniable. Most of us have spent our entire Sunday here. Very oh, few yeah. sites can pull that off. She's amazing. I don't know where she, how she does it every day. So this, where the dark is on here, is oxidized. Yeah, it needs a little cleaning, doesn't it? No, it's supposed to be oxidized. Oh, is it supposed to be that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it really doesn't need any cleaning at all then? No, uh-uh, these are clean. I mean, the back, she could probably polish them up a little bit more, but they're not bad. All 
Okay. Looks like Greg's going to get these. Oops. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everyone. Awesome, Greg. Okay, let's see what we want to do next. I have I have a sterling silver. Yeah, you did. You won it. It's Navajo sterling silver. It is a vintage bracelet. It's marked sterling T-A-H-E, which is a usually means it's Navajo. And I'm going to start this out at 25. Marking is right in there. really pretty on just little case in for 25 thank you okay what's it gonna weigh out as ah good question Uh, fifteen point two five. Heavier than it looks. Yes, it is. It's definitely a solid piece. You can see the thickness there. It looks pretty nice and clean, no? Yep, I polished it up. Oh, a you bit. cleaned it up. All right. Good. Stuff like this, I'll clean pretty easily, but um, with the stones and stuff and oxidized stuff, I, it not as easy to clean it up. I polish it, but yeah, these, these are pretty collectible, the Navajo bracelets. Thank you, guys. Donna and I had so much fun uh, thrift store shopping yesterday. Yeah, you were out for a while, weren't you? Yeah. Was it any different than where you're used to going? Uh, yeah, I liked that store. We don't have a store like that. I mean, I don't think it was Goodwill. So, something different. 
Okay, Judith. Awesome. Yeah, we did find some good stuff. Oh, uh, let's see. No, D was in at 44, then Judy came in 46. It's right, T. No problem. T, making sure everything stays straight. Whoops. Yeah. No, Lindsay's doing a good job. Yeah. Um, Donna? Donna? Okay, your phone fell out. The phone fell out? Mm-hmm. It fell out. Okay, coming. No problem. Thanks. Oh, oops. I guess I wasn't solo layout, wasn't I? Keep us on our toes, T. Yeah. What is on the inside? It's just pretty plain on the inside and it? yeah it's plain on the inside it does it is marked there um let's see let's see if i can show you we won't let judy outbid herself it's marked 925 t-a-h-e i can't figure out how to show it to you yeah, those round ones. Like <laughs> yeah, it's very tiny. Looks like or it's actually marked Sterling, T A H E. It's not 925, it's Sterling. You can try this camera, see if they, if they can see it on that camera. Hold on, let me put it on the screen. Oh, yeah. So that just makes it a little bit older if it's marked mm -hmm. Sterling instead of 925. Hey, T. I don't know. The writing is right in here on the inside. It's too small and it's, yeah. focused, it's not focusing. Yeah, I, I don't think they can see it. It's more on the, the that side right there. there. You probably have to hold something under it in order to get that sharp. Okay. Yeah, you see a little bit there. You can see a little bit of it. Okay, let's see. Okay, thank you, Judith. And that was for 46. Thank you, everyone who bid. Appreciate that. Let's see. Okay, this is a ring that's a size nine. It is marked sterling, and I believe it is marked CFS. I know that's... Hello? Yeah, you don't have to mute that one. Hello? Okay, there we go. And here it is. Those are pearls. Wow. And I'd like to start this one off at 30. It's a size nine. Now is that black or brown or red? Yep. It's um it's kind of a a, a purplish color. Okay. I don't know if that would be like what's considered a black pearl. Yeah, I can just kind of see the edge. It looks a little purplish. Yeah, they're both they both have the grittiness to them. I'm sorry, Judy. Uh, sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. <laughs> mm. She likes to be called Judy instead of Judith. Okay, Judy. Let's see what else I wrote here. I can't get my paper out. 
Yeah, 925 Sterling CFS. Let me do this. Does have a nice thick band. Greg's in for 30. Yeah, Lindsay Ann, we're at seven hours, 11 minutes. So that's hollow cut. It's not solid. Or is it solid? No, I mean, I see through it. Okay, yeah, there's yeah, one. yeah. And it's marked. Oh, T, you emptied the whole thing? <laughs> wow. You get a lot done in seven hours. Size nine. I'm not sure what the initial C F J stand for. That's for the buyer to research. Yep. You probably could. It's pretty solid. I was going to say you might be able to make it larger, but I'm not sure about that. Well, if you had the right tools, I'm sure you could easily enough. Yeah, if you can heat it up. Yep. It's very, um. Uh, it may not look quite as nice if you enlarged it. Yeah, because I guess you, those. If you made it smaller, it'd probably look fine. Squeeze mm -hmm. it closer together. Okay, if we just have Greg in. Hi, Swamp Picker. Hi, Elizabeth. All right, let's count her down. No one else is coming in. The Greg for 30. Got Marilyn at 32. Thank you. I'd say you've been very productive today, T. I always like to see the profiles of rings. So try to show you from all angles. Except my hand won't move the other way. Yeah, we talked about uh getting a, a lazy Susan for the table there. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. With a battery so it just spins itself real slow. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen those. Yep. It's a nice piece.
What are you cooking, Marilyn? All right, going to count down to Greg. Thank you. Luan chicken paninis. Oh, that sounds good. Is that it's Luan? It's Luan? Not sure what she's saying. It's Sulan. It's Sulan? Yeah. Not sure what that is, but it sounds good. Okay, so who? Uh, Greg. Greg's getting this one. 35. Great. Thank you, Greg. It, oh, the Italian chicken. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, we were trying to make something up. <laughs> Yes, we were. Okay. I'm going to do a costume piece, a costume piece of jewelry. <clears throat> Thank you. This is Monet. It's a Monet brooch, silver tone, it's marked on the back, mm, Monet right in here. So what would you call that exactly? Is it supposed to be a flower? Yeah, or yeah, I think so. Hi, Leon. It's abstract. Yeah. Abstract. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to start this one at 18. Monet brooch for 18. What is that, about three inches across or so? Yeah, it's definitely a big one. Let's see here. I'll measure it. Yes, you're right, Shriker. Three inches. Too bad that's not sterling. Yeah, right? I haven't looked it up or anything, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I know Monet has a good following. Yes, it does. And this is a quality piece. And if you're not interested, you can just write pass and we can go on to something else. Oops. Hi, Hollis. Hi, love, Hollis. Who's that pet D's fella? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> he keeps following me around everywhere I go. There he is. So it's a sea anemone. Okay. Pat D's. You can see that down on the bottom of the ocean, just moving yeah. in with the surf. Yep. All right, we're going to do a bitter pass. Okay. Give me a 10-second countdown to pass. All right. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we are passing. All right. No problem. Okay. I have a Silpata brooch. 925 sterling silver. Let me pin it on here. It's another pin. Let me weigh it real quick. Oh, here, I'll show you first. Okay. That one's certainly got some writing on it. Yes. It is Silpata. Is whoops, I'm not sure what I did. There we go. Whoop. Okay. It is thirteen point six two grams. And it's little children holding hands. And I'll start this one off at 15. So how do you spell that? Silpata, S-I-L-P-A-D-A. -A. And it has, a, it has the Silpata mark above the 925. All right. Marilyn's at 15 and Judy's at 17. Thank you. You can see if I hold it this way, you can see the shape of the way. Yeah. It looks like it alternates between gold and silver. Um, it doesn't. It's just, it's all, the, yeah. It's all silver, yeah. Yeah. There must be something, well, there's more light on the left side. That's why it's shining brighter. Yes. So yeah, it's it's boy girl boy girl. Why that keeps freezing up? Well, that means it's about time that it goes out. I see. It starts freezing up. But it's done fairly well today. It's only went out a couple of times. Mm-hmm. It usually goes once an hour, so. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad you all have hung out with us today. And that's, what, about three inches wide and three quarters tall or so? Pretty good size. It is about two and a half inches long and yeah, and three quarters of an inch tall. Two and a half by three quarters. Two and a half by three quarters. And she might be Hollis. We haven't seen her for a while. She's not allowed to. <laughs> it's 13 and a half grams. Judy in at 25. Summers? Yeah, I haven't seen Summers for a little while. Yeah, I haven't seen her like this week. Yeah, I think I, it's been about two weeks probably since she's Yeah. Been. She's probably doing okay. She's, I hope. Yeah, that's not too long generally. Yeah. People take breaks. People like snappers are more, ones I'm more worried about. You haven't seen for months and months and months. Yeah, that's true.
Okay. Right, we're going to call her down to Judy at 25. Okay, great. Awesome. Elizabeth saw her last night. Okay, great. Good. And that was 25, right? Yep, 25 to Judith Daly. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Whoopsie. Thank you, Judy. Okay. I've got another brooch. This one is sterling silver with the stone. Let me weigh it. 16.6 grams. And there you go. I'm not sure what the stone is. I was going to say the obvious question. What is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's marked 925 Mexico. And I'd like to start this one at 30. It's actually not as yellow as it's looking on the screen. More of a cream? Yeah, it is more of a cream. You can kind of see the variation in the color. I guess it's a little bit more yellow tone on the sides and through here it's a little less. It's all very beautiful silver. And yeah, do we know who the maker is? I don't know who the maker is. It does not have a maker's mark, but it is marked, like I said, Mexico 925. There you go. Yeah, it is pretty. So I can see the two uprights. They're like leaves, right? Mm-hmm. With seeds coming out of Yeah. One. With the little there we go. Let's see. There we are. It's like a it's swirl. Cool. Now it's a stone, maybe a fruit or something, you know, growing out of it, or I don't know. I don't I don't know. I'm just making things up, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I Sometimes I see things. I think you do. <laughs> Trying to find the sweet spot here and uh chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm glad you love it. Maryland's in a 50. Thank you. Thank you, Greg.
Oh, okay. Fancy says it looks like Bumblebee Jasper. Yeah, her and Elizabeth both say that. Cool. And they are rock people, so. Yes. Rock people. Yep. Our stone specialists. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there, thank you for dropping my link. If anyone would uh, like to subscribe to my channel, I'll be having an auction soon. I usually do one maybe once a month. I work full time as a hairstylist and sell on eBay and YouTube auctions. So they say this is a Bumblebee Jasper. Oh, pretty. That's beautiful. Hi, Love Hollis. Welcome in. Hey, Fancy. I'm in the back room organizing. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Rocker Chicks Gone Wild. There you go. All right, Sweet. Sugar Vision. Just let us know when you're done with the form. Yep. We'll just verify that we have. Don't forget to add the city, state, and zip code and your phone number. Please. I've been listening to Donna for so long, I actually know it. That's right. No, Donna's not. She didn't nap yet today. And it's too late for her to take a nap now. She's going to stay up tonight with me. <laughs> okay. All right, Greg. You in or out? It said uh, 925, right? Yes, it's not, um, It's marked Mexico 925. Yeah. All right, let's count it down. Maryland at 50. Thank you. I'm going to do a turquoise Native American ring next. Turquoise Native American ring. Mm-hmm. And sterling. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Are we we're not quite done? Almost. Okay. Leon, it's five fifty three here. Bumblebee Jasper. I'm glad to have learned that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, this ring is a size eight. And it is marked uh, on the band and the back of the stone. It's marked 925 Sterling. So it says both. Mm-hmm. It does. 
And I'd like to start this one at 25. You can see the band has design on it. Yeah. That's the Navajo part. Mm-hmm. And there may be a signature in there also. I did not bring my loop. I forgot it. And so I can't read all the way. Leon is across the ocean. Six hours or five hours ahead, ahead of you. So we're pretty sure about it being turquoise. Yes. And it was a size eight. It's a size eight. Yep. KP's in for 25. Thank you. All right, Sugar Vision, you're welcome to bid if you like. And we'll get you a wrench here in a minute when Donna comes back on. I really like the design of it around the piece. Yes, yeah, unique. The turquoise, yes. around I don't know if you can read that I can't really read it oh it's upside down almost it was close yeah I can make out Sterling, and I'm assuming that's 925. Five, yes. KP's at 50. Thank you. Christine Rose is back. Oh, hi, Christine. Yes, we're still at it. Good night, Leon. Good night, Leon. Have a good night. Did we ever get a weight on it? Uh, no. I don't know how much turquoise weighs, though. Yeah, it's not too heavy. It's five grams. Go back to this one. It's nice to have the two different options to go from screen to screen for the different lighting. Yeah. And that's showing up real nice now. Mm -hmm. Getting the hang of it, right? Mm hmm. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Karen's at 55. Anybody else want to come in? Thank you, everyone. Gonna go ahead and call it down. It's a size eight. Christine asked a question. Yeah. What size? Let me measure also the It's about three quarters of an inch. Um, the stone or the whole thing? In length, the whole thing. Yep. So it's a nice size ring. It's not too big. It's not too little. It's not going to knock into things. 
Yeah, it doesn't stick way up. Where's it going to no. Yes, I brought my scissors, Steve. I'm going to be cutting away. Not yet, though. I think we need to do that live. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> that way we all get a vote and how short it goes. Oh, boy. No, Donna's not going to go for that. <laughs> no monkey business when it comes to the length of her hair. Oh, thank Marilyn. you, Marilyn. For sure. But people still want to know. What do you mean you'll be you here? You get an idea of how thick the metal is and, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Okay. See, Heather's all for it. Live haircut. <laughs> well, Donna's the one getting her hair cut, so she'll have to vote on it. What's that? They want to do a live uh, haircutting session. Oh, yeah, we'll do it. Thank you, Karen. Absolutely, we'll do it. Tia, you back home? Yeah, she cleared out a whole unit, she said. She what? She cleared out a whole unit. Oh, good tea. Awesome. Thank goodness. Only 20 to go. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Now, this is something a little bit different. Oh, my gosh. We're going on eight hours. I know. I, this can be my last lot if you're okay. Why? I don't know. Okay, these uh, you can you have one last lot of uh Carl. You got a whole box right? of stuff here. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. What'd you say, Striker? Uh you, you got Carl's uh thing to show still yet, right? I don't I don't think I'm gonna sell those. Oh, okay. All right. All yeah, right. I'm sorry. you you've okay. become attached already, huh? Well, I'm gonna sell them, but I'm gonna sell them on eBay. Other place. All right. Yeah. Okay, so these, I'm not sure what the stone is. Oh, it looks nice. They, yep, they're gold tone, and they, but they are 120th, um, 12 karat gold. So I believe that means they're gold plated. But that's a green stone. Where are you going to start these at? I'll start these off. Uh, let's start them off at fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Maybe people can get in and bid on them. Let me measure the length of the each one so you know the proportion of the size. And they are about three quarters of an inch long this way. They're clip-on also. I'm sorry. They're clip-on. It could be jade. I, I just am not sure. It, it kind of looks like it. That doesn't do very well. It's not enough light. There we go. They are too, truly green. I got these um, at an estate sale in a big jewelry box that I bought. And there were some 
other high end pieces in the box. So they're one twentieth gold. Mm-hmm. One twentieth, twelve. Plated. Yes. We get sugar for fifteen. Thank you, Sugar Vision. Now, did they just register today? They did. Oh, awesome. Well, welcome. Our clip. Yeah, the um, markings are right along here. Yes, they have a mark. Whoops, got to change the camera first. Yeah, Jill will invoice all the winners, but if you want to contact her, we'll put her email address out. Oops. There, you can kind of see it. Yes, Karen. She'll send you. She'll send you an invoice through PayPal. Yes, I will. Not sure, if that's upside down or not. There, that's even better. That look like it's upside down. No, see, there you go. One twentieth, twelve k g f. G s. G f. I think that means gold. Yeah, yeah. No, Amy, we've we've already got that in the registration. She doesn't kind have to send anything. Kind of get an idea on the size. I should have checked the hardness of the stone. You have a tester now? I, no, I know Donna doesn't have a diamond tester. I left mine at home. You can see the back, though. They're cute little earrings. All right. Anybody else interested? We got Sugar Vision at fifteen. No, Amy, you you can email her if you want to to give her her your information, but she's going to get it all from Donna. Yeah, if you don't email me, I'll get it from Donna. Probably would be easier if you emailed me though. My email address is jillp4 at yahoo.com. Sandra at 17 and Sugar at 20. 
Thank you, guys. And all of yours are free shipping, correct? Yes. They are. Yeah. <laughs> well, Greg, I guess there's a first time for everything. Absolutely, Greg. Well, that's that's sweet, Carl. All right, Sandra's out. Anybody else want to come in? What lot do you have this written down for, Jill? Um, a lot 20, but I didn't count the one that we passed. You've done more than I did. Yep. Yeah, that's what I have as well. We never count those past lots. Okay. Sugar kisses? Is that what Sugar it is? Sugar vision. Sugar vision. Yes. Sugar vision. Welcome. You can uh, give them a wrench if you have your YouTube up, Donna. All right, I will as soon as I sit down. It's all right, Lindsay. I, I went back trying to figure out where we were off, but I assumed that's what it was. No problems. Eighty-nine of you still hanging tight. Wow, you guys, thank you. Thank you, Greg. Oh wow, Nancy, you're doing great. It's been five weeks since she bought anything. It's been five weeks since I stopped eating sugar, too. Thank you. All right, woman, get up. Okay, I'm up. Well, congratulations, Sugar Vision. And yes, we'll, thank you so much. We will send you an invoice. You don't have to do anything else. Absolutely. Except for pay the invoice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're back. Where oh, are you hiding? I was in the back room, like trying to dig up some stuff and bring some nice things. Let me go over to my YouTube and give Sugar Vision a wrench. Welcome to the family, Sugar Vision. Did everybody say welcome to Sugar Vision? Hi, Sugar Vision. Why is Jim saying you ladies are killing me today? What did we do? So we've been going and going and going and going. We've done 33 lots and it's only taken eight hours. Mm -hmm. Changing my name to Mr. Spends a lot, Greg. <laughs> well, right? I appreciate your purchases today, Greg. <laughs> Look at sugar. Everybody's welcoming you. Look at that. See how nice everybody is? What lot for Donna? Donna is on lot number 14. Get all you junk I out am. of here. It takes me five go, seconds. Go, go, go. Did someone pass on this? Yep. Oh, my God. Is this silver? 
No, it's Monet. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful brooch. Yeah. Yes, it is. Thank it's you very much. It's a beautiful much. brooch. I found your little black things. Oh, you did? Where'd you find them? On top of some stuff over here on the shelf. All right. Well, we'll put them with all of the other jewelry stuff. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what I've got. I've got that and that. Let me just fix this so it goes taller. Are those clips, Vera Bradley? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why is Jim saying hush to Saxton? What does she say? Hmm. Is Saxton being fresh? No. Not that I've noticed. It's got a matching pen. Going to start at 30 on this one? Sure. And then it has a little pocket, pocket papers. And it has a cute little Vera Bradley keychain. And this cute little Vera Bradley tote. It's got a price in it. Okay, got a tag, no price, just the tag. So this is what you get. That's a spiffy looking turtle. Let me see what's in here. Price tag. She paid $85 for this. The ball volume pad, the clips, the sleeve, $90 with tax. Okay, so you get this clear pouch. This looks like an iPad holder. The clips. Let me just move this a second. There you have it. So you get the iPad holder, the clear pouch, the clips, the notepad thing, the pen, and the Vera Bradley keychain. Now, are those just regular old paper clips? Yeah, they're just clips. They're not made for your hair or anything? No, nope, like just that. clips. Nope, just clips. Just binder clips, they're yeah, called. They're all binder clips. It's a nice lot. Cosmetic case. Tablet sleeve. Sun Valley retired, yes. Oh, you can retract, Greg, if you want. There's not a purse. There's a tablet sleeve, a cosmetic bag, a pen, paper, and clips. He's in for 47. All right, Dees, thank you.
We're having trouble streaming to Facebook. This may be an issue with Facebook's end. It's possible the stream has ended or deleted on Facebook. We'll try again and let you know if we resolve. Please check Facebook to ensure the stream looks okay. If this continues for a while, try creating a new broadcast or just remove this destination from the broadcast and then re-add it. We'll just say remove. It probably just a long time, eight hours. Yeah, yeah. it's at eight hours. They probably stop broadcasting. Right. Okay. All right, Greg, you coming back in or are you leaving us? Greg is out. Greg is out. Let's call her down. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greg. Jill, will you bring me a big box of detective magazines that are on the table right there? Thank you. Detective magazine. Detective magazines. What is that? I don't know. I just found them. I I kind of remember them coming out of a storage unit. Kind of, sort of. Well, if that maybe is a yes or a no, you better hurry, Greg. No, Holly, he's not staying. He's just coming. We're going to just go meet for lunch. When are you doing that? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I got to talk to him sometime probably in the afternoon because I got to get shipping done in the morning. So I have to work in the morning. <laughs> Rummage Raiders with the eyes. <laughs> I'm sold, sold, sold to D's collections. Thank you, D's. For $47. 47. Oh, Shopaholly. Camille, if you're watching, if you're available tomorrow and you want to come down and have lunch, or Steve, if you're available and you want to come and have lunch, a it'll be like, meetup. huh? A mini meetup. Yeah, a mini meetup. It'll be between lunch and dinner because I, I have to work in the morning. So I can't do anything tomorrow morning. We'll see what's good for um for Jim, too. All right. All right, so I have this big pile of detective magazines. They came out of a storage unit that I think the woman was a paper hoarder. Um, I've had these for a really long time. Some of them are a little bit you like, you know, where they were folded and, you know, I took them out. I don't know if there's a market for these. I know that uh, ma uh, magazines are trending right now. Um, I've been told more than by more than one person. It's uh, so this one's 1992. This one is Inside Detective, and it is 1990. Where do you want to start it at? Uh, 30. This one is 1983. 
you can see like this one's ripped right here. I don't know if there's a, a market for these. This one is 1990, 92. There's a big stack of them. Let me know if there's an interest, you guys. I won't bore you with them if there's no interest. Lethal Lovers. Deadly Crash of the Two Beauty Queens. Stripper in Cement. God, I hope Courtney's not watching. True Detective. Oh, yeah. This is tame compared to what you've already shown. Karen says Pass. Headquarters. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's getting a little more. They Haunted Human Prey. Camille says she's oh in. Oh my goodness. You read that. Read that, Donna. Lesbian <laughs> panties snarred a sex slayer. YouTube, miles miles. YouTube is going to shut me down. Texas copycat strangler. Hollywood's murdering ghost. Yeah, I imagine they'll sell for sure. Okay, awesome, Camille. This one's 1988. It looks like 1988. I don't know. I'm thinking that looks more early 80s rather than late 80s. <laughs> it says these titles are gold. <laughs> Detective Files, Headless Hooker. The, the case of the Headless Hooker. Oh my gosh. These are so funny. New York's Zodiac Killer. Is that a real thing? Yes. Yeah, Zodiac. Was it? Oh, yes. Pedophile trolled for young boys. He used three as experience, experiments in torture. That's terrible. Front page detective. Sex fiend went to the gas chambers too late. Amy's in for 35. Official detective bashed in the beauty's brain. My God, can you imagine the stories in these things? Where do they get them? I don't know. Someone has to write them. Front page detective, the body in the well. You think she dyes her hair? Um, yeah. <laughs> now look at the headband. <laughs> yeah, so it's a pretty, pretty big stack of them. Yeah, um, I'm sure they're all just mostly fiction, Sandra. <laughs> Hitman, lethal couple, three knives, one cold corpse. Evil witches killing frenzy on a naked man. Violated stabber and strangled by two kinky lovers. My God. Did they sell these in supermarkets? I don't know where you'd find these at. <laughs> Long Island's Romeo and Juliet murder mystery. Is it? I think so. How do you know all this stuff? What'd she say? She said it's true. Uh, Topless dancers trek to torture. Well, the Zodiac Killer is the only one I've recognized so far. Yeah. Official yeah. detective. A whole family screams for a child killer's blood. Oh, my gosh. Illinois' white sex slave shocker. Oh, my gosh. Death of a sleigh man. I know, right? It's awful. Desert dished out five servings of death. Defended. 
The bear fly lost her head to a ninja nut. Yeah, why isn't Detective Steve bidding on these? Right? Where is Detective Steve? He's right there. Inside Detective, murder of the Playboy photographer who dumped Susie under the cherry tree. Who dumped Susie under the cherry tree? Bashed in the head with a steam iron. <laughs> T. T's like, what are you selling? <laughs> Babysitter and the tot were plunged in scolding water. She took five minutes to die. Eddie's four jealous lovers. Good time girl called baby love. Baby love. The hairy toothless man paddler. Teen boys were her victims. She's look at how young she is. She can't be more than 14 years old. What? Oh, to me, she looks really young. I'm not going to read that one. This one's true police cases. All right, we're sitting there with Amy at 35. Anybody else? These are hot, Robin Schneider says. Carol was cut up into 200 pieces, ground up, then cooked. T, you left her unsupervised. <laughs> you should see what she's been sewing today. <laughs> she was like, sell it fast. Indiana's sex animals, detective cases. Official, a sex killer is loose in Bergstrom AFB. Air Force Base. Air Force Base. Arizona's a fatal attraction slaying serial killer went on a four whore orgy. <laughs> uh, you never know what I'm going to find in my back room. <laughs> the unknown horror behind the pretty pixie slaying. Not quiet, Lindsay. Who's oh. singing killer? Mama's little killers. She's so young. She's a baby. Look at her. She's 23, 25. She is not. She is. Yeah, she's 30 something. She's definitely older. And this one's a baby. Look at this one. She can't be more than 16 years old. Come on. I want to see them all, Shriker. <laughs> Sexton's enjoying them. Yeah. Slain for having one lover too many. Bizarre case of the lethal Lolita. Why isn't Sexton bidding on these things? <clears throat> you think they're the same girls with different? No, they're all different. Yeah, some of them are probably rerun. Production line, sex led to manipulate to... Molitation? Mol Molitation? I can't write. I can't say that word. Top cop charged in black hooker murders. A sharp knife for a pretty love theft. Official detective's crime yearbook. Wisconsin's most shocking crime detective cases. Creature became a born again killer. <laughs> huh. She devil's wicked slay pilot. Another yearbook. Front page detective. Fiend who beheaded Nancy Joe and revenge teen was forced to eat dirt. <sighs> and that's all of them. Roman Trader was like, okay, fine. I'm going to bid on them. <laughs> good, good, good. That's a pretty big stack there. Yeah, it's a big box. Big box full of them. Awesome. My comment slipped by Donna. Let's see what Carl said. <laughs> Carl? 
She can hold my gun. Kyle, <laughs> you just wanted me to read it. <laughs> He's fresh. Carl's fresh. Carl makes fresh comments. Carl, did you see the book I sold earlier? I was going to keep it. I should have kept it. Who won that lot? Maybe I'll ask them if I can keep that stupid joke book. <laughs> They're all stupid kid joke books. Oh, that was Pat. I'm sure he'd let you. Oh, yeah, that was Pat. He'll let me. Unless he wants it for his own material. <laughs> he might want it. Did you see any water damage on him? Huh? Was there any water damage on any of them? No, not that I can see. Just some creases and folds. Yep, just some creases and folds. All right, we got Amy at 40. What do you say, Sexton? It was 50 cents in its day. So they must have been able to buy these on a newsstand. Yeah, grocery store. Grocery store? Probably. Didn't you think so? On, what's it say on there? Huh? What's that sticker say? It says... Hold on. It says forty dollars with Amy. Ken's appliances. Appliances, huh? It says Ken's appliances, fifty cents. An appliance store sold these. Right. <laughs> really? That's weird. In let's see, this one doesn't have the date on it. It's got cut out, I guess. Nineteen eighty. I don't remember stuff like this coming out I don't published in 1980. But it obviously did. Watch your fingers. Oh, you like don't mark them up? <laughs> Is that what he means? I think they pretty marked up. All right, we're going twice. Last call. Shelly says maybe they were selling battery powered appliances all right don't sell it yet lindsay carl's carl picking them up carl's in for 45. it's gas station fodder yeah that probably makes sense quick trips oh so you didn't tear the cover oh yeah how many? I see 10, 20, 30, 35 ish, 30 to 35. Amy's at 59. Carl comes back at 65. Okay, so if it um, rummages out, if it reaches 70, I'm also going to include, and I have more in the back, and I don't know if you want them, but you might be able to sell them as ephemera. I have this many that don't have um, covers, yeah. that don't have covers. They're just just the books and i have a lot more of them and i'll ship them all together in one box carl you want to up it to 70. get some reading material because this is going to be you know an expensive lot to to ship out including all of these because i have just as many without covers as I do with covers in the box. Yeah, but she says she's not going to add them until she hits 70, Carl. And I, I probably have another stack just as big as this one in the back. Again, with no, um, you don't want the coverless ones? All right, honey, no problem. There you go. 
No, just get rid of them. Count her down at 65. I'll use them to um to stuff in between people's uh orders. So if you get it, so if you get a page for one of these, you guys, when I'm stuffing orders, don't think I'm weird. I'm just Open it using, up and read it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just using it to stuff uh Carl, she's not gonna sell the Pokemon glasses, honey. I'm sorry. She's going to list them. Yeah. <laughs> a page with boobies on it. Yeah. So you never know, you guys. Don't be shocked if you get them. I'll make sure that I don't put any in Courtney's box. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think there's any actual photography in there, but maybe some wording. Oh, God. I don't know. Camille's like, Donna, don't do that. <laughs> okay, Carl said to send. Um, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Carl said when you when you list them to send the link to him. Um, he just maybe he wants them for personal use. I don't know. They are in yesterday's video, Holly, at the thrift stores. Welch's jelly glasses. He wants his jelly glasses. Okay. So that sounds like a good solution. Think, yeah, are you planning on putting them on auction? Is that what you're planning on doing? Oh, goodness, I don't know. Joe? I'm not sure. Oh, she's not sure yet what she's going to do. She'll figure out a price and talk to Carl. All right, Carl. Thank you and congratulations. All right, here's my next piece. $50 start. What kind of purse is that? American West. American West brand new leather, leather for lifestyle. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's all hand tooled. I sold another one like this. Remember? Um, is that floral on the leather flowers. What's that? Is that flowers on the leather? Um, oh no, it's just general tooling. American West. This was the jewelry that I had. Remember, you guys? The American West jewelry. Karen says it matches my travel bag. Here's the inside of it. That was the name of the jewelry, American West? Yep, it was American West. Okay. Yeah, it's all leather. It's got three compartments. Yeah, brand new with tags. Starting brand new with tags with the with the thing. There's the little American West. It's got side pockets. It's beautiful. It's all leather. It's a beautiful bag. Why KJ? Don't leave. I won't do any more purses. Almost time for more comics. I'll do more comics. I was going to do a game lot next, and then I have some clothing, but then I also wanted to do some plush. It's um, The color is black and brown. I don't know. Don't make me make promises. Jeez. It's got a pocket in the back. I know, right? It looks like it would have a matching holster. The craftsmanship is amazing on it. 
It really is. Yeah, I was going to say it kind of looks blue. <laughs> 100% genuine leather, handmade one at a time is what it says on it. So this whole thing, you guys, was handmade. I didn't look it up, but I imagine it must be very expensive because it's beautiful. It looks like a saddlebag that you would have, like, on the side of a motorcycle. Or a horse. Or a horse. The rivets are so pretty. You see the rivets, the detail all the way around it. That looks a lot like Brighton, like a Brighton bu buckle. You don't suppose that's silver, do you? Oh, gosh, I don't think so. Well, you know, a lot of that jewelry was pretty nice. It was silver, wasn't it? That tag might see. tell you something. No, I don't see any writing on it. Let me see if this has anything written on it. Really shiny. I don't see anything. What'd you say? Is it really shiny? Uh, no. It's not really shiny. It could be like tarnished, like silver. Um, why are you looking it up? Well, come look at it, Jill. Okay. I mean, you know how you know what silver feels like because you've handled it enough. I think I I've handled it enough too. No. It'd be tarnished. Sandra's at seventy-five. Heather's out. Karen comes in at 80. Oh, I don't know, Camille. Sandra's out. My um, my son showed me a really funny ad um, that someone did on like TikTok or something, and it was um, it was a guy he pulled up in front of um, he he like he, it was just a guy pull, he pulls up with, with a car driving really fast and he stops and he goes uh, he's a, on it it said Facebook potential customer and he pulls up really quick with the car and then he goes hey is that table and dining room set up for, that you have on Facebook marketplace for sale and then someone in the background says yes he goes okay thanks <laughs> and he <makes> things off. <laughs> that's like so typical of Facebook marketplace oh my god when you when you list something it's like you get 15,000s, is it available? And I yeah. usually respond, yes, when are you going to pick it up? Silence. No, <laughs> silence. Absolute silence. I don't know if Craigslist was ever like that, but Facebook Marketplace is so like that. It's no, Craigslist is the other way, generally. You know, oh, no, that's been sold for weeks. You know, I just never oh. took it down. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Enjoy, honey. It's absolutely beautiful. $80 for the American West 
purse. All right, that was lot number 16. Elaine wants to know where you were yesterday. And, what um, you and with who? Elaine, we went to the grand opening of um, Habitat for Humanity. It was like, you saw the, I don't know if you saw the prices, like we were showing the prices. I did get a really nice office chair for really cheap, but only because they, it wasn't an office chair. It's like a, it's like a manicures chair. Like I, is that what it is? She's not sure. It has like all these features on it and stuff. And I only paid $10 and I spun the wheel. They ha they were having 20% off everything in the store. And I spun the wheel and I got um, another 15% off. So I got $35. And then um, I bought my little lady scrub brush that I love <laughs> from my kitchen, which was a dollar. So I found that, which was really cheap. And then I, I bought these pillows from my, my front like living room, when you first walk in, the kids want to make it like a Zen room. So, um, oh, are you tired, honey? Go lie down in the bedroom. Go ahead, go lie down in the bedroom and be comfortable. I got these two pillows for the front Zen room, which are really pretty. And she only charged me $10 she only charged me $10 for these and they look so awesome in the front room because in the front room, there all these colors are in the front room. So we got those, um, but everything in that store was ridiculously overpriced. Like when I tell you ridiculously overpriced, oh my gosh, it was crazy. And, um, and then from there, we went over to um neighborhood um thanks we went to neighborhood neighborhood thrift i think it's called i think it's called neighborhood thrift it's right on military trail right near jethro's heroes you know where i usually donate um and jill got you can see the video like she found so many awesome things didn't you you did so good she said that she doesn't usually find, and the prices were really good. She found a lot of great stuff. We just, you know, searched around for a little bit just to get out of the cottage for, you know, a little while because we've just been in here working, 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 working. So, yeah, it was nice to get out for a few minutes. All right, so 16. Lot number 16 went to Karen. I'll do comics next, you guys. I'm going to do old comics. Karen B for $80. I'm going to grab. Great. I will check out Neighborhood. Thank you. I love junking. Yeah. I, um, there was really a lot of junk in there. Like, I, I, w I couldn't say that, that you know, I, I would be like rushing back there. And it was funny because. Jill said to me, um, when I said, when I said to her yesterday morning after coffee, hold on, I need to put this in the shipping room. Get it mixed up. When I said to Jill yesterday morning, cause we hadn't, we hadn't been out of the cottage. I said, do you want to go out and go do something just to get out for a few minutes? And she was like, I'm happy with just going junking in your back room. <laughs> going shopping in your back room because I have so much stuff back there. Donna is done. I'm in now dancer. Donna is done. What dinner. is she talking? Dinner is done. Oh, dinner. I thought I saw Donner. <laughs> <laughs> dinner is done. So, yeah, so we, we just went out for a little while and I hadn't put I hadn't put any content on my channel in a really long time. So I really wanted to use the excuse to maybe do a little bit of a video. Getting for the boys first department so I won't feel so bad if they leave their stuff behind. Oh, yeah, well, they had some really beautiful stuff at Habitat for Humanity, but be prepared to pay. Um, 
you should go check out my friend um, Joey over at Jethro's Heroes. His prices are very, very reasonable. So, and make sure you tell him that you're friends with me if you go there. Maybe he'll give you a little bit of an extra discount um, because I bring him things all the time. Okay, let's do it. Little Archie. I think I need to adjust this camera. So let me just, um, let me put this on the tripod. Just give me one second to get her set up. Welcome back, Lindsay. Hold on, you guys. Let me just set her up. Let's see if that's will stay. Looks like it's falling. Okay, I think it's gonna stay. Oops. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not going to stay. Let's see if I do it this way. I've got like one of these there. That's going to stay. All right. But I need to plug it in. Christine is leaving. She's saying bye. Yeah, she's got to go study. Oh, bye, honey. Maybe we'll see you later on. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so there's the first one, little Archie. This one is 60 cents, um, 538. There's no color on this one. You think it was just made that way? No, it got sun faded. It got sun faded? Yep. Look at the difference. Oh, there's a new person I've never seen before. Meet Rob and T. <laughs> Coming in on the old cooking channel. Hi, you guys. This one's 180. I'm going to go kind of quick on this, okay? They're mostly all Archie's. This one is number 90. This one's 97. Then we have 95, 221, 2, 126, number 90, number 151. These are in great condition, 119, 161, 122, 109, one five zero number sixty nine Christmas with Archie doesn't have a number on it number forty nine cents this one's two oh five I figured you'd catch that, Carl. What? She you did. said 69. You know, I, you know what? I knew he was going to make a comment yep, about that. I, do. I just knew it. He's so fresh. Typical man. Typical. Oh. He'd get along great with my husband. 228. 230. Always one thing on their mind. 240. 242. Are you sure? 500 that he would get along with them. <laughs> that there's only one thing on men's minds. Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> 579. Every man I've ever met in my life, that's for damn sure. Wow. <laughs> 579. <laughs> Jill heard the conversation between my husband and I today. So, <laughs> uh. number two, so she can vouch for me. Um, number 68, 
Number eight. Number two. Number 231. Here's Betty. Number 13. Betty's so cute. Yeah. Number 12. Oh, I love Betty. Number 10. She's she's bagged. This is in meticulous condition. She's beautiful. T, did you need some subs on that channel? Is that why you came in like that? Number 11. Number 21. Oh, I love this one. Number 7. Look at how cute this is. Love it. That's adorable. First issue, collector's edition, April 1st. Betty's Diary. So cute. Thelma's back. Hi, Thelma. You remember these comics? Awesome. Number eight. One for you and one for a friend. Number 13. One for you, one for a friend, one to sell. They're like brand new, you guys. I don't think these have ever been opened. Look at them. They're in perfect, perfect, perfect condition. Look at You need to bag and board these right away. Well, when you find multiples like that, they probably never were opened. Yep. They're awesome. Um, number 14, like brand new. Number 32, again, like brand new. Number 35, I don't think anybody read these. Number 17, Veronica. Number 21. Number 22, here's a Veronica bagged. Number 30. Number 31. Number 32. Number 49, 49, Carl, not 69, 49. Thelma, she's in the chat right there. Who is? T. Yeah, T's right there. This one's brand new. Number 52, brand new. Brand new comic. Let's see what year this is. I'm curious. I hold on. It's so fine print. Yeah, pretty small. 1996. 1996 on that. Number 53. Number 56. This is so cute. This one is number 86. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. This one's number 92. Look how adorable that is. So cute. My kids would love these. This one's number 200. Now we're at Jughead. Number 77. Number 74. Number 50. Number 57, number 41. Yeah, they're in great condition. I have been I have been really, really careful packing them. I do. I pack them really carefully. I don't know if anybody's gotten the most recent orders, but we bubble wrap them all the way around, bubble wrap them on the bottom, bubble wrap them on the top. Number 74. Number 66, number 24, and they all get wrapped in plastic so that in case they get left out in the rain on your porches. Um, number 32, you know, I take that extra measure just to make sure that they don't get wet. Here's a number 32 for an extra. Here's number 26. 
13, 46. Here's another 46. Here's 38. This one's 12 cents and it's number four. Number 43, 25 cents. Number eight, 12 cents. Twelve cents. This one, the cover's been damaged. It's not as pristine as the rest of them were all in great condition. Number 73. And let me grab a couple of more. Number 168, number 60, here's number one, number three, call stop being so bossy, 106, 43. This one's awesome. The Archies, Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> Carl. Carl, do you like this one? Carl? Carl. Carl, I'm talking to you. Do you like this one? Tenth Archie, the married life anniversary. Right? The married life. This one is Riverdale and it's marked five dollars. And it's all bagged and boarded. Here's another vacation special. Another vacation special again. 25 cents, little Archie. These are bagged and boarded. No, no boards, just bags. 166, 163, 173, 166 again, and 527. And that's all of them. And I'm going to go get a box to put them in, and I'll give you a count. There's quite a few here. All my boxes in the back room, so I have to go into the back room every time I need to get a box. All right, should I bother counting them? Are we done bidding? One, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I won't bother if Greg is winning. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37.
38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, ninety-five. I'll put five more in and we'll call it an even hundred. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. 98, It doesn't have to be that way, Greg. Just bid a little more. What's $10? Well, what, what did he say? I'm over. Over? Over, zero, four, no wins. Oh. Uh, you just got a bit higher. Just $10 more. I just added five more comics. It's 200. That's less than. That's a dollar seventy-five a comic shipped to your house. Where are you gonna find these comics for a dollar seventy-five a comic? That's a pretty good question, actually. I know. I mean, I've seen comics out there in like thrift shops. First of all, you never see comics like this ever, 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 ever. These old comics and the ones that that you do see are usually like three for five dollars, and they're Valiant or whatever that name is. Well, I mean, even if you find these particular comics, they're going to be torn up. Oh yeah, probably. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Sandra. Congratulations, Carl. We're calling it.
Go, Carl. Go, Carl. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. Why not go, Greg? Go, Greg. Go, Greg. Oh, well, same thing. Go, Greg. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to show, I didn't mean to show favoritism. Well, you did. But exactly. Well, because Greg said out. So yeah. That's why she was chanting, go, Carl. 175 for 100 comics. All right. So we've been on for nine hours. Eight hours, 56 minutes. Oh, we Almost nine hours. <laughs> By the time we're done, we're going to be on eight hours. We're it going feels to like 12 be, hours. <laughs> right. Congratulations, Carl. No one I know Lindsay's me. suffering. She no. probably thinks it's been 24 hours. Poor Lindsay. I'm sorry, Lindsay. You didn't have to be here the whole time, the honey. First time she mods. And she's on for nine hours. Oh my goodness. She's okay. A couple of things I'm going to go over. Um, the clothing lot. The clothing lot was 10 pairs of pants. No, I made it 11 pairs. Didn't I? Yeah, I added the white ones in. 11 pairs of pants and five shirts. Um, I can duplicate that order all the same. There might be an Ann Taylor thrown in there or like a Banana Republic. But nevertheless, they're, they're always, you know, all brand name stuff. $65 for 11 pairs of pants and five shirts. Any, any takers for $65 shipped? It's going to have to come to you in two bundles. Because it's going to be heavy to wet, uh, heavy to um, to ship. I actually would. I will T. I actually would prefer to just do because I have some really beautiful sweaters. I actually would prefer to just say I'm going to retract that, and I'm just going to say that you will get 16 pieces of clothing, all designer, for $65. Yes, great job, Lindsay. Thank you so much. Sandra, they're all size small, some mediums, but for the most part, they're all small. They're all size small. It's a great deal. Even if you know somebody who's a size small, they're all new, but most of them, almost all of them, she removed the price tags off of them, but none of them have been washed. Um, they're all in brand new condition. Don't everybody jump at once. I don't know. They're excited. My gosh. Um, okay. So as far as specials for me, I have that. Um, I have my plush lots. I can do my plush lots. If anybody wants to order a plush lot of mixed plush for $50, it will be a mix of Disney, some old, some new, Build-A-Bear, um, I haven't advertised that I have, that I do that in a long time. I can't do Build-A-Bear, all Build-A-Bear anymore. That's for sure. Um, and I can't do all Disney. I can only do mixed for $5. And the dog lots. The dog it's lots. For $5. Huh? You said for $5. For $50. Um, my dog lots. For those of you that are new, I have dog lots. And my, what my dog lots are is a big, huge mass of stuffed animals that may have a little bit of dirt or a little bit of a tear or a missing eyeball or just stuff that I probably wouldn't post on eBay, but um, I sell them as dog lots to give to your pets. But you sometimes you do find treasures. Good night, all. Thanks so much, Donatella Violino, Jill, and Schreiker. Carl, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carl. Send me an email. And that's really it. That's all I have for specials right now. That's all I can do is the clothing and the and the stuffed animal lots. I'm not going to take any orders for Dibble Lots because they stress me out wicked bad and they take me too long to put together. Um, for those of you that um, are new to the channel, some of you have heard me repeat this before. We're having um, 
uh, Pam, the $50 lot, it depends on whether or not the pieces are big or small. It could be anywhere from like 15 to 25 pieces on the plush lots. Um, if you get some smaller ones or some, you know, bigger ones, it, it just all depends. But you guys can see, like, I have really beautiful plush all the time. So you just get a mix. You just get a mix. Usually my kids put them together. So um, you get a mix of them. Could offer uh, lots of kids. Books. Here, give me that Elvis thing. I want to show them this. This is like, this is unbelievable. Like, it's got so much. What's this made out of? Porcelain? Yeah. Yeah, it's made out of porcelain. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll get. It's missing the bottom cover, but. Um, I don't know. And don't forget we got teased lots also. Cat lots. Um, I've got one cat lot that's almost built that I've been like trying to build. It's so hard to be so specific. Hi, Susan. This plays so many songs. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And the sound is great. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is it going to stop now? Hold on. Get searching for the next song. Oh, it has to hit rewind. I have a secret cat lot. No, you don't, T. You guys, did you see T specials? She's got all those specials going on. Email her. Sandra, I can't do an all cat lot right now. It's too hard. I don't, I have to like dig through and try to find all the cats. I have one cat lot. I think it's for Deborah. Um, oh my God. You with all your music, singing, moving things. Yeah, she likes that. I like that. <laughs> oh, T can do a cat lot. No, it doesn't work. You're probably pressing the wrong button. Wouldn't that be play right there? No, that's stop. That's play. Oh. Hold on. Let me rewind it some more. Yeah, I agree with D. Scott. Don't play too much of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Copyright. Copyright. Thanks, Turtle Trader. So what am I going to lose? A dollar fifty six? <laughs> right. That's your ramen noodles for tomorrow. Oh, we have to decide what we're going to have for dinner. Oh. Paul Suckling's um, uh, treat. Who wanted the cat lot? Does somebody want a cat lot? Pam Henry wants a, a cat lot. Who asked first? T's probably only got one. Right, Carl? Dollar sixty-nine. It has a whole bunch of music on it. It's really it's really amazing like how much music this little this little like it's not what is this? It's not really a music box. It's kind of like it has it must have a built-in like tape inside of it. Yeah. Can't open it up anywhere. It's kind of cool. I just found it in the back room. Amy Biller says, T, I'd love a cat lot. <coughs> well, she's already sold it to Sandra. Okay. Can she do can she do another one? I don't know. I, I can't. I know I can't. I mean, I can try. I can write it down. It's taken me forever. What is a cat lot? A cat lot is um, a, a stuffed animal bundle of just all cats. Just all cats. I can do Beanie Babies still. <coughs> 50 plus Beanie Babies for $45 if anybody wants Beanie Babies. I'm down to one, two, 
two and a half totes. I'd say full. So no, I can you've do got that. Three totes because there's more down there. Oh, there's one on the floor. T, can you do more cat lots or just the one? All right, you guys. So we're going to go get some dinner. I want to thank everybody for being here. Could you do the superheroes behind you, including the big one? Ooh. Is that a Power Ranger? Yeah, it's huge. And there's no way I can. It's like, it's. she can do two of them, you guys. We can do it tomorrow. Um, it's going to be expensive to ship, ship Karen. I'm going to have to send him um ups so i'm gonna if i do him with the other ones i will have to start it at i will have to start it at i don't know shriker what do you think it's going to cost me to ship this out just in how, shipping how heavy is it shipping alone it's not the weight it's the volume yeah well it's going to be what 20 inches or so for the box oh well, more than that before you think. let's see i'll tell you shriker can help me figure out does that it, arm fold down mm, yeah the arm folds down and it is 31 and a half almost 32 inches that's going to be a ups for sure oh yeah it's going to be ups can't send it United States Postal. So you're probably um, looking at 30, 35. I'm, I'm thinking 40. Depending on where, you know. I'm thinking $40. Does it fold in half? No, it doesn't <laughs> fold in half. Fold his legs up. He don't need them. Well, does he bend at the waist? Oh. <laughs> that might help. That ship might them, help. Ship them that way. Right? That might help. if uh, I ship them. Well, it's still going to be at least 24. So really 24 is the magic number to try to keep it under if i bend his legs if his legs go flat on the bottom of the box and it's, it's 18 inches yeah. yeah so i could ship them like this i could probably ship them for about 30 dollars if i ship them like this karen if you if you want it donna i bought one of your coats it was black and it had buttons under the collar like a hood it was supposed to be there but no hood if a black hood appears on the bottom of the pile you know it's mine marilyn i remember that coat and i mentioned when i showed that coat that the the hood was missing honey i remember showing it it was when um megan was here mm -hmm. yeah and remember mm -hmm. The, yeah, it was missing. So I don't have the hood to that, Marilyn. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, but I, I did. I mentioned that it didn't have it. Okay. Sorry, honey. Okay. So um, the Power Ranger, the big Power Ranger, we can start it at 30. And then you'll also get, in addition to that, we'll, we can bid on this in case there's anybody else interested brand new in the box this marvel let me put myself on big screen <laughs> right ozma is so funny i'm like what is she saying this marvel don't know who he is oh he's captain marvel oops sorry i don't know my i don't know my people and then there's this power ranger brand new in the box as well and then there's the marvel hulk brand new in the box and then there's this batman my daughter displayed them all with their arms up i thought that was cute cesarina she works so hard on this display behind me with the barbies and the precious moments and the marvels so um yeah karen i can do them now 30 dollars start 30 dollars start for all of these these and this big boy oh my goodness huh well. that's cool good lot yeah it's nice it's real nice i was gonna put him on ebay forever and ever ago and uh yeah never did 
Karen's in at 30. Anybody else? All right, let's close it to Karen. Karen wants all the Power Rangers and all of the superheroes. Go, Karen. Go, Karen. Okay, let's close up. This mama bear is done and tired. We got KP for 35. Who can, oh, you saw that way before I did. Well, you, it, it goes back and forth. Which one updates quicker, YouTube or huh. StreamYard? So Karen's at 40. Power Ranger. You see yeah, how we, Yeah, Lindsay Ann, don't worry. Oh, kitty toys? Oh, is that what she's talking about? Is she wants kitty toys? No, the lot she won earlier. The first lot. Or what lot was it? The brand on this is CDI. CDI Power Rangers LLC. And then it has a 1983LK07 on it. CDI is the name on it. Thank you, T. May the force be with you. <laughs> Don't even say I never watched Star Wars. This is not matter. She know Power Rangers isn't in Star Wars. Wait. Uh Oh, oh, they don't say that no. on Power Rangers? Uh, no. That's, that's a Star Wars thing. Chazzy, there's my baby. Chazzy, I, Chazzy I, I sold your display, Chazzy. It's gone. I sold all the, I sold it all. I'm sorry. And now I'm, and now I'm selling, I'm selling your Power Rangers and your, you did such a good job on the, on the thing. She's like, yay. She's happy. Oh, good. So you'll have to come tomorrow and redo the display. Mm -hmm. I didn't sell the Barbies, though. I didn't get to them. She'll get to de design something else. Yes, she'll have to design something else. She was, like, rummaging through the back room. And I did some more in the back room today, Chessie, too. I sorted through a whole bunch of stuff in the back room, so you'll be really proud of what I got done. The back room is looking so good. Out here, not so much. No. No. I've got to bring some stuff back into the back room. I went downhill in here. Sold, sold, sold to Karen for $55. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, sweetheart. Awesome. And I'll save on shipping because I'll put your purse together in the box and it will come uh, UPS. Um, it sold for 55 to Karen. All right, you guys. So thank you to everyone. Lindsay, thank you so much. Riker, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. It's great to see you here. You guys were here for nine hours and 14 minutes. You're Woo! such troopers. We'll probably put Lava Lamp live on tonight because I'm going to be staying here. And um, I got to figure out what my friend here wants to have for dinner because we're hungry. Mm -hmm. Did we talk about Christmas yet? No. Christmas in July, you guys. It starts on my channel on July 24th. Um, it will go from my channel to Mr. Buys a Lot to Tease a channel. We'll take an overnight break, um, and then we will resume on my channel. Brian's. Brian's channel. Thank you. I always mess that up. I'm on, Brian, yeah. on Brian's channel the next day. If anybody wants to sell anything, um, after the first hour, the first hour, the hosting channel. So I started. So the first hour I'm selling. 
on the second hour and the third hour, um, we're going to be inviting people from the audience to come in and uh, sell some stuff. You can sell three things. You have five minutes for each item to sell. Um, I suggest you bring multiple lots. So for example, if you're selling this, I suggest if you search through your inventory, let them bid on it. Once you get a bid on it, you can say, okay, I can fill five orders so that you can get more orders. Um, your camera needs to be working and your volume needs to be working. Um, we'll give you a couple of minutes um, to try to get that figured out. If you don't have it figured out, then I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put the next person on because we can't spend the whole time trying to figure out your camera and your microphone. Your camera needs to be on. When I drop the link in the chat, your camera needs to be on in order for you to come into the stream. I need to know who you are. It's not going to be just any random person. It needs to be someone who's a regular in our chat so we don't get scammed or spammed or whatever. It's going to be your responsibility to get um, the people's information, to put your information out there and the person buying the items. Um, it's going to be their responsibility to get in touch with you to pay for their items. You can do pay now if it's better, or you can invoice whatever you want. I suggest that since you're not regular at um, doing auctions, that you do pay now. Make sure you ship your items. You are going to be an example of us. If there's a problem with an order, people are going to contact me or T or Mr. Buys a lot. We're doing this as a service to our community and our viewers. Um, we have nothing to gain, absolutely nothing to gain. We're putting in a lot of time. So is Schreiker, so is Lindsay, so is Janine, who's going to be modding for Mr. Buys a lot. And who else is going to be modding? Uh, I'm sure Mama G will fit some hours in. Mama G wants to mod? Okay. Well, Mama she has G to I'm sure she will. I don't know. Mama G might be here. I hope she's well. I know that she had surgery and she was taking some time off. I don't know if she's back, um, you know, modding and doing that kind of stuff. So, all right, you guys. So that will be on July 24th. And um, yeah, watch for the streams. Um, do you have a start time? We'll start my channel at nine o'clock KJ. That's, that's not what he's talking about. He's oh. talking to T and their stress test. Oh, 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 okay, sorry. And um, and so for those of you that are thinking about joining in and showing something, you don't have to show just Christmas. You can show anything you want. We'd like it to be Christmas themed, but you can show anything you want. You can do one-offs. Um, we do ask that everything be free, sh free shipping. So make sure that you price your items accordingly so that you don't lose money shipping out your order. If your order is going to cost $12 to ship out, you know, beforehand, go do your address, do Seattle, Washington, or Vermont, wherever you are in the country, pick, a, pick an address, McDonald's, whatever it is, calculate your shipping on the item with the weight, the dimensions, so you know where to start. Um, okay. Did I cover enough? Sure. Is that no, good? We have, we have two weeks to keep it up. Yeah. So we'll talk about it some more. I'll go over it. You won't let me s sell because I won't show my face. Hmm. I'm sorry. Yes. How, how am I going to, how are we going to, well, nose picking. If you can, if you can set yourself up something like this. The third camera, second camera. Yeah. A second camera. And you know, you come on the screen with your camera like this. As long as I know it's you, I'll let you sell that way. Absolutely, I will. Okay, nose picking. You think about it. T's having her stress test tomorrow. So prayers for T that she gets a good test. She's in... 
I, I told her like to have her to have a stress test right now is like the most craziest thing in the world. She's under so much yeah, stress. Like, what's the point? I already know I'm stressed out. I, she already knows she's wicked stressed out. We have no camera, just a laptop. Does your does your laptop have a camera on it, Saxton? I can do a run with you if you want behind the scenes. And you have plenty of time to get a camera. You can buy a cheap, you know, internet camera. Yeah. You just plug it, you know, USB, you plug it right into your computer and plug and play. Right. Yeah, I thought most uh, laptops these days had cameras built in. Yes. All right, you guys. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us all day. Please don't forget the thumbs up on the way out the door. If you can. Jill? Uh -huh. Are you okay? Uh -huh. What happened? The shelf just fell. Oh, in the closet? It did? Which one? The one on this side? That's okay. I was just trying to hang the coats back up. You were trying to put the coats back up? We'll just put them in a bin. Those coats are heavy. That's why. Those coats are really heavy. That's all right. We'll fix. We'll, we can have that fixed. It's just stuff. Yeah, it's okay. She was. I. I. She had pulled down all the coats because we were going to do some coats because I've got so many beautiful coats and um, and she was just trying to put them all back. So Jim, call us in the morning. Let us know what your schedule is, sweetheart. And um, any time in the afternoon would be great. I don't know what time Jill is planning on leaving, but we'll probably have a late lunch and then she'll probably get on the road. I'll get up early and try to get some of my shipping done. Thank you, Shriker. Thank you, Lindsay. We'll thank put, you, everyone. Jill says, thank you, everyone. We'll put Lava Lamp live on a little bit later after we have dinner. Mwah. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll 